Can you guys hear me now? It seems like it's okay. So, oh my god, this is so dumb. I found this thing earlier, which I know is supposed to like go in front of your microphone to like muffle some noises. No, it was plugged in. Um, and so I was fiddling with this to see if I could get it set up anywhere, but this cord is really short and like the closest things that I can attach it to. Because I have my mic over my head like this, there's no, I'll have to like zip tie this to the mic stand somehow if I wanted to do this. Oh wait, maybe I can put it like that. But then it'll be so in my face and stuff. I don't know. Basically it became a problem for another day to solve. But apparently there's a little button on the side of my microphone that mutes it and I guess I inadvertently hit that. So it was user error. <sighs> Good grief. Okay, but we're all set. Good shit. Let me scroll up and see what I missed. Oh, hey, a new print. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Nice to meet you, Adelaide Skyheart. Good shit. Hi, Amanda, Chris, Ray, Zaros. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Yay. All right. So, I'm hella excited for like three different reasons. I'm prepared. I have a sweater. I have two jackets. I have a sweater and then a jacket because it's been freezing here. I already have socks on. I have another thick, fluffy pair of socks that I can put on if it gets cold. The only thing that I didn't prepare was... I didn't finish microwaving my food before. What are you doing? Stop chewing on my jacket! No, this is nice! Oh, are, are you stuck? Okay, it's okay. Sorry, baby. She had her claw- Oh my god. There's teeth marks in my jacket. Oh! So that Discord, that Discord thing is... How do I get back in here? This? No, what did I click on? Oh, here, here we go. It's this. It's extremely helpful and it shows time relative like to whatever your um, computer is set to be. So it'll show you in, yes, I live in a swamp, I'm a witch. Um, actually, I'm gonna make fizzy water before I get settled in doing art because otherwise I will forget. Yeah, fizzy water. And I also did some like, I can't believe she put teeth holes in my jacket. Um, I did some nice like ice blue 90s makeup to match the, uh, there is some blue in this, but there's also blue. Yeah, like soda stream, but no flavor, yeah. The blue matches one of the sweaters that I bought in case of cold. Yeah, I really like mixing sparkling water with juice of some sort. Lemonade. I like sparkling water by itself too, with like powdered drink mix or something. Um, but juice by itself is too, a lot of times too intense. But with sparkling water, it's just like light and refreshing and nice. And then I also have hot tea in case it gets cold. And I put a good spot for tea. Chalula, sorry. Tea will go there. Is that visible? No. Yeah. All conversation topics are welcome. Um, sometimes I have people on and talk about things. The past few streams have been mostly like pretty art focused, just chilling, just vibing, talking about random stuff that comes to mind. Um, but I have some topics in the future that I want to like reach out to people and talk about, but I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, mostly we just chill, do art. You can talk about whatever you feel like talking about. I like learning new things. I like when people talk about stuff that they're interested in and passionate about because that's, I feel like that's the best way to learn about stuff. Short of engaging with it yourself. What is the best potato? Ooh, ooh, purple. Those, those little round purple potatoes are fucking boss. Baby reds are also good. Okay. So what 
colors are we going to go with this time? Oh god. Okay. Oof. What do you guys think of these? There's a potato judging team at the school? Small I know is are Jesus Christ, the Shrek lore continues. I could do, let's see, hang on. I need like a notepad file or calculator. Here we go. So I could do, can I make this calculator smaller? No, it's as small as it goes. I could do that, that those two greens and a purple. I could do the blue and a green. I don't think I want to use teal because I did that mint the last one. So I feel like it's either a choice between these greens, but these greens are too similar. Do I have to do, I guess I could do purple, blue, teal, and that'd be kind of icy, but I feel like that's too close. I'm gonna roll an extra color because that teal is too close to, that's also kind of close to last time, but not exactly close because those greens are too, so, oh God, this is gonna be a rough color scheme. Okay. The center three? No, I don't want to use the, I don't want to use that mint because it's too close. I feel like I've done a, a color like that, but I haven't done like a deep royal blue. So that does seem new. And the fuchsia, I could, I feel like I could do, why are two of these rolls so similar? There's like two purples that are ton tonally the same and two greens that are kind of like tonally the same. So if I use like darks and lights of that, it's going to be like too similar. It's not going to seem like three colors. I'm going to roll one more color just in case we get some. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Absurd. So the only colors. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's, uh, this is trolling me a little bit. Um, can I get rid of colors by clicking on them? No. No. Okay. I wish I could, I gotta find another random color generator. No, this is the best one. I remember looking. Um, okay, so we're gonna do something in the magenta fuchsia family. Definitely using this royal blue. That for sure. Uh, where's my swatches? Colors? What is this? Where did my color wheel go? Okay, that's weird. All right, I'm gonna add that to the swatches. I guess a lime green to the swatches? What was the color scheme I used last time? Okay, so it was pink, teal, oh, and then like that swamp gold, and then I picked a dark teal. Pink, teal, swampy gold, dark teal. This green is kind of close to that swampy gold too. Life is difficult. Ooh, irises, oh, that's such a good idea, Amanda. Okay. So, all right, just gonna look for the last color. I guess it does need to be this kind of like, um, this green, I guess. This is gonna be a weird color scheme. This might not be pretty, but we'll see. I'll see if I can make it happen. Oof. I'm gonna roll one more color and see if it is something outside of this. Why does it only <laughs> give me greens? And purple. These are all... Okay, a brown. Let me see what that looks like with these colors. I feel like that would be a little bit more unique than, than these. Okay. I'm going to do two little color demos and we'll see. Oh, wait, I need to open the, uh, ouch. Oh no, I have it right there. Import file, import image. Oh, she's, oh wait, let me move my jacket. Oh, sorry, is this in your spot, Nusha? My bad. That was my bad. I know. I was a terrible monster and I had, um, my jacket on Nusha's cat bed. Here too. 
All right. It really wants me to do those colors. Man, it, it heard about the Shrek lore and it, and it wants us to, it's a dedicated Shrek fan is what it is. Can't get, I can't escape. Oh, what did I do? Okay, interesting. Everything's fine. Also, well, I already fucked this up, so interesting. Okay, vertical, there we go. Yeah, that jacket is incredible. I will be wearing it later when it gets cold. It's one of the best things I own. I don't know if you could tell that it's entirely like brocade. Brocade? Brocade? Hey, be nice to each other. Hey, can you see them being assholes? Stop it. Hey. Don't make me come over there. Do you guys see Delilah like cleaning her instead of biting her? As if that's... She's like, I'm a nice lady. I wouldn't fight her. Never. <gasps> you little shits. Okay. One of you is coming over here. Okay. This little lady's hanging out with us for a little bit. And then Delilah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why are you being such a bully? What the fuck? Illegal. Instead of fighting thumbs, she just picked on butter instead. Yeah, she wouldn't do anything bad ever. She's such a nice, innocent lady. Thumbs, why do you want to go pick more fights with her? No, you're just going to stay right here for a second. This is the smart thing to do, little lady. I promise you. She's going to try and leave. Don't step on my tablet, though. Oh, my God. Why are you just... What is your deal, Delilah? What bee is in your bonnet? This is gonna be a cat fight centric stream tonight, it seems like. She is. She is being a little shitster. Okay. Now I can sit down. And we can try and do some some actual painting. What a concept. Alright. Oh Marina. Why? Why do you always knock over the food bowl? Oh god, no, 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 no. I don't wanna have to sweep it up. Okay, this is cat chaos. My god. Never, never a dull moment over here. Jesus. Okay. Where did I put my pen? Oh, here it is. I thought I lost my tablet pen in the uh. You were in a wild mood too. I have cat hair in my mouth. No, never mind. That was my hair. Okay. So maybe I'll fuck around and try and find a new brush today also. Wow, that's interesting. Why did that end up with so many colors? That was so cool. I wish I knew. You leave, leave Nusha alone. She doesn't want to play. Huh. Wow. Oh shit, wrong layer, okay. Okay, so first I'm going to try a blend of the blue fuchsia and this like soft brown, and then I'll try a blend of the blue fuchsia and green to see which I feel like is actually like viable as a, as something that I want to deal with painting, basically. <laughs> Don't chew on my foot! 
That hurt. My God. What the fuck is up with these cats today? She tried to kill me on the stairs when I was coming back up with my tea and juice also. They're being monsters. I don't understand. I'm really liking this one. This feels like nice and soft and lovely. What's interesting is that brown when it's by itself looks like a warm brown, but here next to these other colors it looks cool. It looks really cool. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. Please ignore me. All right. I am really vibing with this so far. That is a really good amount. Oh, fuck. Okay. So Purple is a wizard, and she, remember my horrible Shrek, Shrek cat emote? She made a better one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it and upload that. It's, it's really good. It's, it's, you guys should prefer this one, honestly. Oh yeah, we'll keep the OG one for sure. I don't know how many emotes I'm allowed to add. Maybe we'll have to cull some at some point, but uh, we'll see. Free standard emotes or free tier of emotes? Why can't I add more? Oh, I need, oh, that those are the ones that I have to add for, uh, that I need instant upload eligibility for. This is so fucking cute. What? It's too- f image file size is too large? Bitch, what are you talking about? Ridiculous. Downloads. Must be under a megabyte? Okay, well, I'll- I don't want to have to open Photoshop. Okay, I'll just show you guys this and then I'll add it later at some point. Isn't this the most excellent thing that you've ever seen? Wait, what's a glitch? You can also add them in the Discord? Oh yeah! That's true! That's an interesting glitch. I didn't see Queen Dishonest message, but it showed up on the on-screen chat. Weird. Huh. Yeah. Isn't this- it's fucking great. Purple is a gem. She's she's amazing at emotes. This is like I, I aspire to actually being good at art like that. Um, so yeah, I will be adding that as an emote. Also, uh, what did she she suggested last week? A thumbs doing a thumbs up emoji. That needs to happen for sure at some point. Was also known as pressure artist. <sighs> yep. Oh, the terms that we have coined here. That was a weird noise. That sounded like my roommate, my old roommate's coffee machine, but that is packed up in a box somewhere. So. Yeah, I'm not feeling this color scheme as much. I feel like the other one felt better, right? We are among the elite now. Infamy is also fan. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this set of colors is all too saturated. It's too much. It's far too bold. Every color is in your face, yeah. This makes me feel like uh, it's the school colors for somewhere. You know how school colors are always kind of jarring and awful and saturated because they need to be on like uniforms on a field or something so they need to be hella bright? That's what this reminds me of. Oh, you know why this reminds me of that? Because this blue and this green are exactly the colors of my elementary school. That's so funny. Not the purple, thank god. Yeah, this is not as good. It's 90s tracksuit color. Wow, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Oh, this is so lovely. I like this. I like this one a lot. Um, okay, now, we're gonna try this. Oh, wait, okay. 
Copy. We're gonna look for flowers. We're gonna do this again because I feel like I struggled with this last time. Search. I feel like the Google image search ones weren't enough. Why is it not letting me filter things? No. No, did they change it? So now I can't- oh, okay, phew. Wait. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm just about it. I'm just being a boomer. That's all. Cool. Oh, there you're right. I should just look up irises because this would be perfect. Uh oh. No one saw that. Okay. Maybe I should search this on another window. Just in case. Of shenaniganery. Flowers. I'm just gonna look up iris with this color. Oh, that's gonna bring eye. Oh, no, it's not. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, lots of irises. People like taking really blurry pictures of irises. Interesting. Like, there's... My choices are... Super macro shots of irises or blurry shots of irises with like really weird depth of field and focus. Interesting. Okay. What were the other things that I looked up before? Hand, person, hands. I could just do all irises because I just looked up this color and it ended up bringing up irises too. There's probably like a hide not safe for work stuff setting I can I can do on these searches. I don't know. I don't see it though. Green and purple are only for like the Joker fan art and retro Taco Bell. Yeah, 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 it's true. Let's do, this one seems nice and it'll combine the flowers with it too. That's excellent. Could do that. We'll have two sets of flowers, just like last time. I seem to be doing a lot of stuff with multiple flowers. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I have a couple options and then I'll pull them up and show you guys in a sec. Ooh. might go kind of perfectly with this. Yeah, I think it will. Okay, I think I... I think this one is going to be the hands one that I do. I think that'll be awesome. Because it has those colors up above in it. I think that'll work nicely. Okay. There's the hands. Close all these other ones, because that's not important anymore. Oops. I think this one will work for the... For the irises, maybe. Flowers are colorful in various shapes. That's why I need to get better at drawing them because there are too many kinds and I do not have nearly enough experience painting basically any of them. Wow, irises come in so many fucking colors? Oh my god. Wow. What are you- 
Why are you literally trying to climb the walls? Absurd. This one, this one, this one, this one. I want all of those. I want to try growing all of these. Because they're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, they're not like the best shots for this. But, although that one could... That one has the purple and could... No, it has too much pink in it. But I could do this one. I'll open that in the other window and see if I can find a better shot of it. And then maybe we'll use that one. Because that would be really pretty. What are you doing? Oh, she found her weird toy. Okay, interesting. Thumbs is, is really on a, on a tear today. Okay. These are gonna be so, irises are gonna be so fun to draw when they're that fluffy. Oh my God. I'm excited about this. Is that really the only picture of that kind of flower? That is truly the only picture. Okay, so this will be a secondary reference, I guess. Um, this will be just for a secondary color reference. And then maybe this one will be the first reference. Yeah, I think this will be I feel like this will be interesting. Although, do these look like they're just flipped? No, they're not. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the second. This is gonna be the irises. So we have hands, we have irises. Oh, I remember what I was doing for the third one. Sketch a day. What's the theme of sketch a day? Was that not the name of it? Sketch daily, that's what it is. Bad hair day. That sounds boring. Alternative thing me theme megaphone? Neither of these sound good to me. Yesterday's was tea set. I absolutely want to paint a tea set. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do tea set. Have you guys seen those beautiful, um, have you guys seen those beautiful, like, Instagram photos of, of drinks, of, like, tea and, like, all the interesting glasses with light shining through them? Because that's kind of what I want to do a little bit. Hmm. Instagram tea photos. Maybe that's what I need to do. No. Mm. Oh, no, no. Hmm. Let's see. Teapot. Oh, it'd be so funny if Teapot was here because we're searching up teapots. That's cute. Hmm. Why is finding references to draw from the worst part of painting? That could be pretty. And that's kind of that color. Okay, I have one option, potentially. Hmm. Also, I went to the farmer's market yesterday and I carried home a bunch of stuff and my legs and arms are both sore. So if you see me like going like that a whole bunch, it's cause I'm slightly dying a little bit. I need to get out and be active more. Yeah, this is terrible. Okay. Um, Maybe that'll bring up something better. No. So 
the bathroom. I feel like whenever I'm looking for stuff, yeah, I think we'll just go with this one maybe. Okay. Maybe I'll look up a different glass or something, but I think this is, or is this too static? Okay, here's, here's one of the options I was thinking of, but I was trying to look for a better one because that's just too static. I like the light on the glass and I think that'll be fun to paint, but do you guys think it's too, boring and still have any I literally was trying to that's what I wanted to use um mid journey for I was typing in prompts for me to like create references that I couldn't find elsewhere um but whenever I tried to get I couldn't get it to do it, it doesn't do lighting accurately which is a problem because I want to learn proper lighting so it was unfortunately incorrect maybe over time when it gets better it'll get better but it was not good enough in its current state, unfortunately. Tea. Maybe just tea. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was still searching by color for tea set. Maybe I'll find better ones this way. Oh, that's very cute. Okay, I might have found a better one. Let me try this hex color. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't realize I was searching with like a an incorrect hex color. Also, do you guys think I should set a time limit for finding these things too? Because I feel like I'm doing that thing where I'm being a perfectionist and I... We could do both hands and tea in the same thing. That could be nice. I feel like it was so easy to find references for the first uh, painting I did. What are you doing back there, Thumbs? What a crazy little baby. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. That's beautiful. So we'll do this one, we'll do hands and tea, and then I'll pick another like face to paint for one of the one of the other ones. Okay, let me upload these. This needs to be sweet if I do. Okay, so this one. And this one. We'll do this one first. So the first painting I did, the, the hand was in the top, the last time it was in the bottom, so we'll put the hands in the middle for this one, and then last time the flowers were on top, no, no, last time, yeah, last time flowers were on top, first time flowers were in the middle, so then flowers will go on the bottom, so then a person will go on top. Cool. I got this shit all figured out. Something like that. Let's see. You guys think these are good good references? I'm maybe adding still life to the query. Ooh, that's true. Oh, maybe flinging some ice cubes toward the viewer. Yeah, I think my brain gets bored maybe fast. What are you doing, you little goblin? You little tra strange weirdo. What I didn't consider is that if I get my tea at the start of the stream, then it's gonna be cold by the time I start remembering to drink it. I'm a brilliant genius. What is... Okay. Thumbs just fell into a box, by the way. I just want you guys to, to know that. Now she's trying to claw her way out of the box. Do you need help? Oh, she made it. Okay, good job. I swear. 
Okay, so the time lapse is on. Set a timer for tea break. Ooh, that's smart. At some point, I will have to go down and switch my laundry. So my laundry machine and my... Um, at the beginning of this, we're going to take a quick... There's going to be an inter interlude to make a brush. Because remember last week, I was like, I don't know. I want a brush that's like chunky like this to draw with. Ma'am, what is your deal? Oh my god. She was literally jumping on the walls. Is there a moth that I can't see? Like, what are you looking at? So I want a brush like this, but this, it doesn't really change the... It changes with the tilt of my stylus, but not the direction. I want it to change with directionality. And I don't know how to do that in this app. And I also want it to blend. Tip tilt. Can I choose? Rotation, pen rotation. Follow trajectory. Is that what I'll... Ah, okay. Well, that was easy. Okay. So that's good. Now I just have to get it to blend. Okay. Smudge quick strokes. I don't know what that means. What have I done? that option does so I'm just gonna not have that we'll see oh yeah what I was gonna say was my uh, fridge and my laundry machine both started fucking up at the same time uh, paint mode paint and blend paint and mix So what did I have it on the what did I have on the brush that I like? I hope I won't lose my settings if I do this. Okay, so okay, so mix is like that. And paint is like that. So mix goes in between that. Okay, it, it did save my settings, that's good. All right, so mix, mint, like something like this. I want to say, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, and then paint, mint. I want to say like that, something like that. All right, let's see what happens. So I want it to blend when I use light pressure and then give me the right color when I use high pressure. You know what I might do? I might bring this a little bit forward over here. And for paint, a little bit like this. Maybe that's too close. Well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's this. You're going to have to catch it in a Pokeball before you can get it to do what I want. The machines want to destroy us. It's probably what's a Rotom haunting? What is that? Okay, this is kind of blendy, and I can get the full color when I want to. That's positive. Paint crush. Oh, that's why. Maybe it's that. Okay. Okay, that blends really nicely, and I can still get the true color. Okay, good shit. I think that one works. Now for paint and blend mode. Paint, what the fuck? What is happening? Oh, I didn't mean it. Okay, there we go. Didn't mean to delete it entirely. Everything is uh, totally fine. Everything's going great. Sheesh. Okay, so it's kind of like this. And then like that, and that, that, and then blend was like this, smoosh, 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 and then like that, and like that. Oh wow, it's very blendy. Okay, I think this is my new favorite brush. Yes! 
All right, this is my favorite brush now. Follow trajectory. Bitch, I swear. What are you doing? Crazy baby. Max loading, max smudge. I don't think I even want to fuck with any of these yet. I think these are pretty good. I swear, this little bitty. All right. Let's leave it. It's a ghost Pokemon. You're gonna have to catch it. It might require a few gym badges too, it's too high level, won't listen to my commands. It's a ghost Pokemon that haunts electrical appliances. There's an official Rotom washing machine version. Oh yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Anyways, my uh, fridge and my washing machine started dying at the same time. Uh, the fridge apparently can die anywhere from two weeks to two years from now. So thankfully my landlord is replacing it so I don't just have to wait for it to randomly die. Um, very nice of them to do that. Uh, not very nice. It's literally like what what landlords are paid for. So, um, visual settings. I want less depth to this. Two, three, two is good. Um, but then the washing machine was fucking up too. And then the I was playing like repairman tag with the landlord, and they were supposed to come by on Saturday, and they didn't. And they just showed up randomly yesterday. But they fixed my washer, so now I can wash clothes again, but it's been like two and a half weeks since I do laundry, so I'm doing a load of laundry, like the backed up laundry that I had, so I will have to stop and switch the laundry at some point. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Yeah, I was getting there. I was deeply running out of clothes. So, very happy to have a working washing machine again. Absolutely ridiculous. I had, I have a bunch of uh, towels and stuff from when Ferbert was sick, so that was nice at least. Um, but I was even running low on towels too. Maybe we'll make this teapot pink. Pink and cream colored, I think will be nice. I hear you, Thumbelina. Why are you crying to the universe? One use towel person. I'm a multi use towel person, but I also live with a lot of cats, so I can use it like maybe two, a couple. Two to, th two to four times maybe before the amount of cat hair on it just gets, you start just coating yourself in cat hair uh, at the end of showers instead of drying off and that becomes suboptimal. I don't know if you, if you can hear the chaos going on below but there's a, there's a significant amount of chaos happening, my goodness. She's absolutely going goblin mode right now. She's a maniac, an absolute maniac. Okay. Oh, now I have that song stuck in my head. God damn it. How could you do this to me? Or maybe this dude will wear a pink striped shirt, who knows? Something like that. Wait, did I get that stuck in my own head? I did get that stuck in my own head. Wow. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna pick as an accent color, like probably a soft cream for the light. it be gone in two minutes or two weeks. God, what did I have stuck in my head last night? And I found the entirely wrong song, but it was also good, so I was kind of okay with it. It's, some, it's one of the songs from the movie Game Night, which is a fun movie if you guys haven't seen it. I, I enjoy it. Um, um, it's the one with Queen and David Bowie and something else. I don't remember. It was very cool though. It was, it was a good song. So this platter is gonna be blue gonna be the rich blue color, which will be nice. And then the 
dark blue will be carved into into it like that. Alright, maybe I need to make like a human color. Um, or maybe not, maybe it's Shrek vibes only. Holding the handle there, his arm is kind of receded in the background there. His wrist bone does not look like that. Okay, so there's a brief good little color story for this area. And then I can blend the, the background a little bit. And then the top one, we're gonna do. No, the bottom one, we're gonna do the irises. That's what we're gonna do. Oop, no, no, no. And then the top will be something. Some sort of face thing. We'll find out. Okay, so how do I wanna do this? Maybe this will be the primary background color. Or it'll be a chunky blend of all of them. And then the foreground will be pink and purple as the irises. And then I'll just do the detailing of the background in this brown color, maybe. Let's see. It's good that I picked out that blue already because it looks like I'm going to need it. And maybe also a little creamy, the creamy color can go here too. Maybe it needs to be more yellow. I feel like I used a pale, creamy yellow color in the last one. I don't wanna be repeating things a little bit. We'll do peachy, creamy instead. All these fluffs and ruffles are gonna be so fucking fun to paint, you guys. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but it's exactly the kind of shit that I wanna learn, so. Kind of okay with it. Yeah, I love challenges. I feel like I talked about this a little bit last week, or not last week. Monday, or maybe it was last week, about how when I um, try to go to college, I was just going and being like, okay, well, I know I'm supposed to get a degree, so I'll just pick something that's easy for me, and that means I'll just be able to like burn through it, get a degree, and then be done with it, which was the stupidest thing I could have possibly done for my ADD brain. It meant that I didn't want to do any of it. All of it was boring and terrible, and then when I started getting my nerve pain stuff, I was just like, there's, there's no way. I'm sticking around for this nonsense. No way, no how. Challenge or death. That is the only way for my brain to be, apparently. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty. Boy, I'm gonna murder people for walking outside like that. Somebody did not raise them right. Should I 
leave the top until I finish these other two and then do something? Or do you guys think I should have a plan for that before I illustrate these two? Also, hang on, I have cat hair in my eye, maybe a little bit. I think I can still feel it in there. Oh, I can, it just floated across my pupil. Why is that so cursed? God, as much as I love these cute cats, the cat side effects are... Four minutes of planning for the top part? All right, I can do that. Oh fuck, I forgot to charge my watch so I can't yell at Siri. Maybe it's in my eyebrow? Is that where it is? No, it's just in my eyeball. Apropos of nothing, there's a huge hole in the middle of the street, like a block from here. That sounds hazardous, a little bit. Let's see, actually. I think I downloaded a pretty picture. View, medium icons. And maybe this would work. Could be. Could that fit there? No, it could not fit there. Sad. I meant to make a channel in the Discord for XXX references because it wouldn't let me post them in the main ones, which I thought was extremely rude. Fuck, but I never posted them all. Oh god, that means there's a billion on my phone that I have to scroll 10,000 years back through to find. That's a curse. It would definitely eat a small child. <laughs> Gnarly. The earth demands a blood sacrifice. It's the only way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had, well, I don't know why it said it was not safe for work. One was like, maybe because one of the references was lingerie, um, was from a lingerie website, but it's because they had really good lighting. It was like partially like over the shoulder. So it was casting light from the boob and the lingerie across the stomach and cutting across the hip. So it was like bright sunlight and then carved out by shadow and it looked really fucking cool. Yeah, lingerie is amazing. One of my favorite things in the world. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't let me post that in the regular reference pictures channel, so I had to, I had to post it in a different channel, and that was enough for my brain to shut down and forget to do it entirely. So. Very, very, very helpful brain. It's good stuff. Where's that reference picture website? Did I close it? Why would I do that? Oh no, here it is, okay. See if I can get a pretty person. Let's see. Something with interesting lighting, ideally. Pretty lighting. And then portrait. People. One person. Okay. I guess I could paint a little kid. I don't really want to though. Maybe I'll explore that later. Maybe I should get good at painting kids because there have been times where people have asked me to paint their kids. And I could do that with reference. It just doesn't... It's not as fun for my brain when I'm doing art in my own time, I think. Ooh, that's a pretty picture, but too abstract to, to make sense for this. Lots of pretty pictures. I think that the best one, though... I liked in that first one the super harsh angled lighting on it. I just like really super harsh angled lighting, I think. I wish I knew more about photography so I could look for that. Like, like via search, like a search term, because I can't think of what I would ask for to get that.
other than like writing harsh lighting, but that doesn't seem like it would be as effective. <gasps> I found it. This. This is what we're doing. Oh my god. You guys, I'm so excited. It's perfect. Look at this. All those little lights are going to be so fucking fun to me. Oh my god. I'm going to die. Like, happily. It's going to be a happy death. Paint demon kids. Kids equal people with big heads. Yeah. Ugh. I... I love when people paint lighting like this, and I've wanted to, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So now, now is when I'm getting around to it. I think it's gonna be excellent. And it'll still have more flowers in the background for me to illustrate too. That shade under- Yes, exactly! I'm so excited about the shade under the hat. You have no idea. That's like my- literally, I'm so, so hyped about it. Actually, maybe I should have her more over- I should put her over on this side because the T focus is going to be on that side, so it needs to be light over here. Yeah, that's all I'll do. Okay. She's going to be over here. I should browse our part portrait. Ooh, that's smart. That's a good thought. I will definitely have to do that. Oh my gosh. I do have a cat hair in my eyebrow. I can feel it. Oh, and there's like a hand holding a flower too. This is going to be good practice for like seven different things. This is amazing. I'm so happy I, I looked a little bit more for a picture because, oh my gosh, this is going to be so, so good. Fairly small as far as subs go, but has a lot of great portrait photography and sometimes charcoal, watercolor, and graphite. Image balance talk is like art class PTSD. I'm sorry, but it's important visually. Like you want, you want there to be a nice flow across the painting. And I think that I'm already a little bit worried about the teacup and this flower conflicting a little bit. So I might shift one both over a little bit to either side. We had to learn fundamentals and you just wanted to draw pretty pictures. The prettiest pictures when you know all the fundamentals though. Listen, I'm just being a brat. I'm sorry. Ooh, I think I know what the other accent color is going to be. That, because that's going to go, that's going to look beautiful against the blue, it's going to look beautiful against the purple, and it's going to look good contrast against that. Yellow is the color that attracts the eye. Green? Bitch, we just spent like an hour cycling through colors to try and get get rid of green. Good grief. I thought I had escaped it. Now you're telling me I should put it back in? Got green PTSD. Iambic, pent Iambic pentameter of colors? At some point I have to do Shrek. Yeah, 50 subs will do Shrek. Oh, maybe I should do at, sh at 50 subs I'll paint Shrek and then at like 100 subs I'll paint me as Shrek, which means I would get to put off painting myself as Shrek for even longer. That's allowed, right? I'm the streamer, I can decide the, the goals. <laughs> no, I already said I'd do it at 50, so. Oh well. She's moving away from Shrek, yes. Right, no! This, this color, this color is still, it's Shrek adjacent. Was the last, hold up. Did the last study have any Shrek colors in it? Oh yeah, I did the Shrek hands. Yeah, I forgot. Yep, 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 yep. Shrek forever. Shrek lives on.
these flowers are going to be so beautiful. But, you know what, this should also be, this is going to be an exercise in painting self-control because in the reference photo, the flowers in the back are blurry and out of focus. And my brain is telling me I want to render all of them, but it really does contribute to her being the focus and the lighting and the hat being the focus if I don't do that. So maybe I should switch sides of this actually. Hang on, let me see. Let me finish blocking in some color stuff and then we'll then we'll see whether I should flip it. Because if he's going to have like a cream and white striped shirt, then there's a lot of cream on this side of the painting. Or not a cream and white, a fuchsia and cream striped shirt. Then that's... I think she should be flipped on the other side. And maybe then, then it'll flow. Why am I painting, pointing at the screen? Maybe then it'll flow from there to the teapot, then back around to the shirt, and then to the flower. I think that's how the eye will be directed visually, in a better way. Yep. I think that sounds right. But yeah, I absolutely want to over-render the entire background for sure. You like the ref as a whole, but the longer you look at it, the more I scrutinize it. You're not a photographist. How, like, in what way are you scrutinizing it? Like, you're thinking of ways that it could be better? Because since we're painting it, we can make it whatever. We don't have to follow the reference. If there's ways you can think of of making it better, let me know. Um, all ears. Literally, my ears are quite big, so I can I can listen for sure. Alright, what's the selection tool? Go away. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be better. I think I might also make her a little bit bigger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just so that I'm able to detail the um, the light on her face more. I think that'll be better. Yeah, I think this is better. You, oh, she's holding the flower weird. Her facial expression is give, like giving a different vibe than the image should in your head. Yeah, her facial expression does kind of look like a haughty queen looking down over her like peons or whatever. Um, I don't mind the flower holding so much. If there was going to be more focus on that, I feel like it'd be more off-putting, but since it's kind of out of out of focus and choppy, I'm not bothered by that so much. But yeah, her penis, damn. I feel like, is there like a way, so I know with stream elements, I, there are like stream element points you can get also. Can I actually give people points for making good puns? Cause I feel like if there should be anything that people get channel rewards for, it should be that. That seems like a necessity honestly, for this channel. Puns are the reward. <laughs> oh, I didn't save yet. So three. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna work on, now that I've got these all sketched out a little bit, okay, they need a little bit more, that's what they need. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the shadows be more artistic and be just a blend to, to the dark shadows. That'll be really good. I think that'll be nice. Um, I think I'm gonna paint the, f which is gonna be the most difficult, which is gonna be the most boring. I'll paint the flowers first because it's in between fun. Puns are evil? Oh no, you're gonna have a rough time here then. <laughs> Wait, do I have the, oh shit, I forgot to re-add the, to this one? There we go. Now we have a, is it partially cut off? Oh, hang on, let me, let me adjust that in OBS a little bit. There we go. Hi Thumbelina, what are you talking about? Tell us all about it. Yeah? Oh my goodness. Can you guys hear her when she does her little Or is that just is that just for my benefit? It's very cute when she does it. Also, I'm putting on my first sweater because it's cold. What dialect of cat is that? Who fucking knows? She's a weird goblin. She makes like alien laser beam noises pretty regularly. Oh, that's so nice and cozy. Okay, that feels much better. Oh, and I can put my fuzzy socks on too. I'm gonna put my fuzzy socks on. It's like the sun starts going down. And, oh, I almost knocked something over. The sun starts going down and it just gets fucking freezing. Now I'm cozy. But see how this, ooh, that's a bunch of cat hair. This uh, sweater jacket matches my 90s eyeshadow and also kind of the irises in this, so that's pretty tight. Okay. Tea? The tea is probably cold. Let's see. Uh-huh. Old tea. I do have a um, mug warmer that I need to set up. Um, that would make life easier. Whoa! Why was it rotating like that? It did a little dance. Oh, I hate this. Why is it? Oh, Jesus. Please. Good as we're gonna get. Okay. Mm ago I made my own um, blends of tea and I was gonna make like I was debating about trying to get uh, enough of a clean setup in my house like quarantined away from cats that I could make and sell tea um, because I have I was having so much fun making number one the blends of the flavors but then also making them a rainbow of colors so like I put a little bit of between butterfly Butterfly Pea Blossom, um, what's the hibiscus, and then like, there's so many yellow colored teas, but also you can add a little saffron. There's a great tea place named here called Random Tea Shop that has fantastic custom blends. Nice. Yeah. But between those three ingredients, and then you can have like raspberry tea, there's a bunch of teas that can make things red. The only tea I know that can make things blue is the... Unless people put, what's that powdered spirulina? I guess people could add that. Um, that's more like a blue-green kind of weirdness. Um, 
But yeah, I was having so much fun making... You only like the Mexican hibiscus drink? Bruh. That's delicious. I do love that drink. Um, there will have to be a darker shade of this color, I think. You don't really like the hibiscus flavor in other things? Really interesting. Do you not like tart things that much? There's some joke about you not liking tarts and implying like tarts as women. There's something there, but my brain can't find it. It's a pretty color. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the reasons I like it too. I feel like if it'd be better if somebody else had said it so I could make that joke about them because I can't be like, oh my gosh, you're so puritanical and you, that's why you hate tarts. It doesn't make sense directing that at you. You like tart, but you like its flavor on its own. Got it. All right, I suppose, I suppose that's valid. Oops, I fucked up. No, 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 no. Probably better in tea than coffee, though. Ugh! That sounds awful. Maybe that's just because I don't like coffee in general, though. So maybe that's... I, like, I, I would like... I like coffee... I like a splash of coffee with my, like, sugars and cream, basically, is how I feel about coffee. Uh, I am one of those people. But actually, you know what? I think I was reading a thing... And they're like, oh, super ta super tasters can't stand bitter stuff. And if you if you can tell like different flavors of bottled water, you might be a super taster. So now I'm just gonna use that as my excuse for not uh, liking coffee. Sorry, I'm a super taster. I'm just too refined. My tastes are just too refined. I can't drink this horrible bitter bean drink. That's my excuse from now on. Yeah, anybody, you're basically a bitch who likes celestial seasonings. Yeah, celestial seasonings are fucking great. I mean, there's a reason they're 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 in lots of places. Oh my gosh, she's doing her little rooster yells from atop the stairway. Oh my god, she's such a weird dumb baby. Oh, Thumbelina, why are you crying? We're all up here. I think sometimes it confuses her when I'm talking to people, like on Discord or on stream or something, because I'm talking and not paying attention to her. And normally, like, I'll be, I talk to the cats, like, a lot. So she's like, why are you talking But I'm not getting pets and attention? <sighs> and gets all sad and huffy about it. She leads a very difficult, terrible, terrible life, clearly. So stressful for her. How could I do this to her? Oh yeah, you can absolutely taste the different brands of water. Yeah, anybody, I, I used to feel like anybody who said that water brands tasted the same was just straight up a liar. Um, but now that I know that there's like, I guess different taste buds and ways that people can taste things, now I'm like, oh, maybe you're not a, like intentionally a liar. You're just ill-equipped to tell the difference. You just don't know any better. God, everything I'm saying about like super tasters and not super tasters just sounds so douchey. That's how it said. Every article I've like heard about it also sounds super douchey as the thing, so it's not like I'm not being true to the source material. Those colors are gonna be so pretty down in there. It's a complicated little area. 
Interesting. Okay. That's what I should do. I should sketch some of these darks up here too. You know what sucks though? I was so mad. There was a few years back there was like that glitch that shut down a bunch of airlines like all at once. But a few years back, I feel like this was like more than five years. Maybe like ten? I don't know. Um and I was delayed by some like I don't know, I want to say like six to eight hours or something ridiculous like that. And um they were giving everybody bottled water. And I already knew that I liked Kirkland brand bottled water. I don't really drink bottled water ever, but um, if I had to, it would be Kirkland brand. But then the airlines were giving out fucking Nestle brand bottled water. And I was like, man, this is like the most cursed because Nestle is like the fucking worst cursed. Um, but Nestle brand water tastes so fucking good. And it makes me so mad because if I like lived in an area where the kitchen water didn't taste good. I would get a water filter. I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't give Nestle money. Never mind. But if I couldn't afford a kitchen water filter, then maybe, maybe I would get bottled water. Cause like I remember as a kid, we lived in a place that didn't have great um, tasting water at one point, and my mom would get like Crystal Geyser, and then occasionally all that would be left at the store would be Dasani. That shit is the worst. What a curse that is. Nestle water tastes awful to you? Interesting. I wonder if we have the child slavery is what makes it taste so good though. Cursed. Um, that's interesting. Maybe it's changed recently? That was like a decade ago. So. Who knows. But yeah, I like very minerally salty water. Maybe that's why. Smart water tastes the best to you, and Essentia. I know that I've had smart water, but I can't actually recall what it tastes like. Which means it was probably good and inoffensive. Um, Cause I feel like I only really care about or remember waters when they taste awful nowadays. Cause I don't, I don't drink them that often. It's only like, I don't know if they're like offered at like a appointment or something somewhere. And usually if they have something else like tea or. Bro, I got my nails done at this place and they were on with my friend when she was in town. And uh. <laughs> with purple when she was in town and um they were like do you guys do you guys want some water or some some tea or anything um we have white claw and we're like you have white claw <laughs> amazing so we ended up getting our nails done and drinking white claw does smart water have electrolytes it do have electrolytes it got what the plants crave nice I need to drink more electrolytes. I need to just put electrolytes in everything I drink. Oh man, I just realized I'm drinking a whole bunch of stuff without electrolytes. Listen, it's a process. Um, because I took one of those tests um, and my sodium is still too low despite me like eating handfuls of salt every day. Not handfuls, but like at least like, um. Maybe like a tablespoon or two. I feel like I should, um, for the amount of salt I eat, it's wild to me that I don't have enough water or I don't have enough sodium in my system. Should get a salt. I literally, at one point, I did have a block of Himalayan rock salt, um, but it got kind of gross and I felt just kind of gross licking a weird block of salt. Um, so now I have little salt pots full of interesting flavored salts. And then I take little yummy scoops out of there and I eat them and then I'm happy. It's still weird and people still give me shit about it, which is fair, uh, honestly. But 
I think it's better than the uh, than what I had a salt with. Salt licks for humans seem uh, seems like a hard sell for a lot of people. Would low sodium mean all the different kinds of sodium? I don't know. Amy licking a salt rock is like Lisa licking rock slime in that episode of The Simpsons. I don't know that I've seen that one. But I feel like Lisa is great, so any comparison to her, I'm not super mad about. And I don't know what different kinds of sodium, but I know that I need to work on electrolytes for sure. is gonna be so pretty. All these beautiful folds in this flower are just gonna be so fucking fun to draw. I think I will have to add a couple more shades in here though to make it work. House of Horror episodes, the school bus goes over a cliff and they end up on a deserted island and Lisa won't eat hunted meat out of principle. Oh no. Yeah, that sounds rough. I have no such qualms. Give me all the meats. Ooh, that can be misinterpreted. Give me all the meats that I want. That's a better phrase. That's what we'll go with. Give me all the edible- no, that doesn't work either. Man. Any window sure makes things rough. I'm still mad I couldn't find that. I, I looked earlier to see if I could find that Tumblr thing with the Manic Pixie Nightmare Goddess or whatever it was. But I know it's not, I don't think it's Manic Pixie Nightmare Goddess. I think it's, um, I'm pretty sure it's something else. Um, so it's very annoying that I can't find or recall it. I searched Manic Pixie and then in parent not parentheses, uh, quotation marks, Nightmare Goddess to see if that would bring anything up and my Google Foo is just failing me. That was very sad. Depressed Demon Nightmare Boy. Oh yeah! Yeah, it was Depressed something Nightmare Goddess maybe. Or maybe it was Sarcastic something. It was something. It was something and it was good. And I, I was like, this is why the internet exists, for content like this. This is good stuff. Okay. Alright. Ooh, you know what? This is probably gonna take the opposite of Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Oh, yeah. If people remember me in their nightmares, I think that would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... I feel like a lot of desire there I got in an argument with uh, an ex about this about like is it bad that I that I would prefer men fear me rather than like want me in a lot of ways um, and it's because a lot of times you don't get respect when you're just wanted um, and people respect what they fear a lot of the time. And so sometimes that seems like, I think that's the appeal of a lot of the like revenge kind of movies and stuff like that is like, oh, people are finally, they're showing why you should fucking respect them kind of thing. Is that a lot of times women just don't get respect, unfortunately. I'm not saying I want to murder people to get respect, but I think part of that's part of like the appeal is that we see things that people fear are given are afforded more respect than the things that they uh, 
want to claim as their own, I suppose. Speaking of revenge, good movies I can never watch again. A promising young woman. Oh wow, this Manic Pixie alignment chart says that Ellie from Up is a Manic Pixie and whoever made this chart should feel bad. <laughs> Ellie is like, is that the wife that died? You personally don't respect people I'm afraid of, but if you're intimidating, that can be kind of hot. I don't know if maybe... Maybe respect isn't exactly the right term. No, I think some levels of respect is afforded. Like, you treat things that are dangerous, like you... You may not respect them in like a wholesome way, but you're not gonna fuck with them. That level of respect, not like a like, wow, this person is like a good human being and I respect their character. It's not a respect about character, it's a respect about consequences, I think is, is what it is. And I feel like men are afforded the benefits of that a lot in society, unfortunately. Um, but women, not so much. This like satiny velvety finish on this flower is so fucking cool. Very, very, very cool. I like it a lot. That's called fear? Yeah. I don't know that I would call that respect, but I get you. The implications. Yeah. <laughs> alignment chart wars you should post the alignment chart because now I'm curious what other stuff they have on it if that's the case this is going to have a soft shade of this in here somewhere too I think it needs to yeah I think that will work I love painting set anything. Oh, it's in memes? Alright, let me check. Oh, there's more stuff in cats, cats, cats. Oh, I haven't looked at the for Thurston. Thurston Waffles! Why do I know this? I, I know who Thurston is, but I don't remember. Does he yell? I feel like that's where I know Thurston from. Manic Pixie Dream Girls only defined by shallow traits. So main characters is a male character's romance, and that's how far their role goes. Interesting. Male characters romance but can have more active role in the story. Any character's romance and maybe the main character. More shallow than a real human could have some distinct traits and light complexity. Can be defined by many traits and be a complex full character. Oh! Marianne is very cool. That was a good movie. I like that. What is the- what are the- is one like- is one chart manicness? Any characters romance and maybe the main character. So one is romance and one is trait complexity? Okay. Interesting. I feel like I want to make a different chart. You only know the left side. 
that's unfortunate. There's a... Um, do you like lesbian love stories? Because the bottom right one is an extremely good one and I watched like a whole uh, YouTube breakdown on why some uh, like representation of women lesbians in media is ends up being pretty suboptimal but that one kind of nailed it a little bit um, I can't remember what the one, portrait of a woman on fire I think that's what it is it was very beautiful Lesbians. Yeah, the lesbian gaze. Wait, is that the name of the... I think that was the name of the thing that I watched. Is that what... No, maybe it wasn't. Um... I linked it to my friend. Is it this one? Have I watched that? Oh my god, there's so many. The one I watched was like, like at least a half an hour long. I know I linked it to my friends, so I'll have to look it up and I'll post it later. You take issues with them calling Emily Shallow. I've never seen that movie, so I can't judge that at all, but I will, I will take your, your word as law on that one. If they're rude for that, they're rude for that. You get recommended that Neutral Milk Hotel record all the time. It's a great film. You'd also say she's manic but not pixie. Interesting. What makes the pixiness? Is that just being, um, just the relation to the male character and the place in the storyline? How, like, their only function is to be a pixie for the male character? How alt they are. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Being in the neo colloquial for lesbians in Japan after the term les was sullied for pornography. Plus, I think it's cute. Aww. Pixie to me is like the superficial shallowness. Mmm. Who is the first man of Pixie Dream Girl? Interesting question. I don't know. That's out of my depth. I don't know enough about media to answer that one, but at least not like classical media. I feel like there has to be something like something in like Greek or Roman mythology or something like that where uh, there's somebody who's just the uh, a kind of manic love interest for uh, some god or something. <laughs> Never have I wanted more to be an expert in ancient myth or European folklore. Mr. Wikipedia will teach me. Nice, yeah. A hundred pun points. Is that what we're gonna call them? No, that's terrible. Um, what a hundred Streamlabs points, whatever it is, to whoever figures out who the first Manic Pixie Dream Girl was. Manic Pixie Dream Girl is a star character type of a film critic Netherum who coined the term after observing Kristen Dunn's character in Elizabethtown so that he's a solely in the fevered imaginations of sensitive writer directors to teach brutally soulful young men to embrace life and its infinite mysteries and adventures. Well that's like the first where the first term was coined, not where the first Manic Dream Girl Pixie Dream Girl ever was. I need to cut this tag off. It is stabbing me in the side and bothering me. 
Manic is like energetic or enthusiastic to me. Yeah, but maybe I'd rather from mania and mental health conditions. No, that's what I've thought too. Dense body is a character type I like to call manic. Because you're like slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's definitely where the first term was used, but that archetype is probably everywhere in history. Isn't there something about how there's only like, there's only like 30 stories or something, or like 24 storylines total? Baby Cub points to Catherine Hepburn's character in Bring Up Baby as one of the earliest examples of the arch archetype. Maybe in film, I would say, but I feel like there, there absolutely have to be more shallow than a real human is every character, characters not people. But there are some, there's obviously, I agree with you, but there's also a, that's a spectrum. And things like the, the Bechdel test, Be Bechdel, I feel like I've seen that written more than I've ever heard it spoken. Um, Bechdel test, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Exists to kind of like illustrate that sometimes women are only represented as in how, in terms of how they interact with men in the story. Yeah, you're, yeah. That's how it's written. I don't know how to say it. So additional always plays many pixie dream girls. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's so funny. I know so many men who love Zoe Deschanel stuff and anything she's in. Not that I don't. She's cute. She's great. It's just very funny that <laughs> how consistent that is. It's a very funny thing. I think that a lot of people do wish a manic pixie dream girl would come into their life and bring fun and joy into their life and stuff like that. She is the quirked up shorty though. Yeah, she does get typecast for sure. What's the sexy lamp test? I don't know what that is. Say more. one shade lighter of this color too just to get all the contrast that's available in for this I definitely need one shade. One more shade for this. Citation needed, but some critic some critic credits Ray Bradbury with creating the archetype. I don't think anybody like created the archetype necessarily intentionally. I, I feel like it's I don't think anybody like necessarily I think the Manic Pixie Dream Girl existed as a an archetype before anyone did any critical analysis on it and aimed for that archetype to be a specific thing. I think it probably just existed as like a desire fulfillment character. Um, that's why I'm convinced that there are representations of that in like ancient lore because the desire for somebody to sweep into your life and give it meaning is as old as time. So. I'm sure there are definitely ancient examples that we could find of that. V 
If you can replace your female character with a sexy lamp and the story still basically works, you need a draft of your story. Yeah, that's an excellent test. That's hilarious. That's really funny. I love, I love how, um, how many little like things like that there are. Like the various rules of the internet, um, things like that. Just little, little rules of thumb that absolutely make sense. <laughs> and it's like a little bit cursed how, how much sense they make. Uh, good grief. Amazing stuff. Okay, that's gonna go like that. I think I'm spending too much time on these flowers, but these are... So something that I need to get better at drawing is like fabric and folds of fabric, and I feel like this is gonna help me with both of those things. So... I'm gonna be self-indulgent with these flowers. And I'm gonna paint them to my heart's content. Maybe. I would at least like to get one panel finished before we do Jackbox. So maybe I should chill the fuck out on these flowers, actually. I want to do, I want to do a bunch of flowers. Life is difficult. The satirical sexy lamp test by comics writer Kelly Sue DeConnick, co-creator of Pretty Deadly and Bitch Planet. Oh, nice. Is the easiest test. If your female character could be replaced by a sexy lamp without the plot falling apart, you're a fucking hack. I don't have to justify it to you guys. Draw those pretty flowers. Yeah, but I like, I want to also... I feel like I'm constantly at war with what my goals are here. Because one of my goals is definitely to be less fussy about art and not hyper fixate on details and getting them just right because that is something that my brain does and fixates on to a, I think, detrimental degree. But I also really like things to be beautiful and just right. So... And when I'm doing studies on stuff, I want to learn how to get better at something. And so, like, fussing with it until it is how it's supposed to look seems to be the way to learn. So I think maybe as long as I'm working on studies, I will mentally allow myself to fuss with things as long as I need to to make them look proper because that's how you learn maybe that seems right right I'm not just conjuring up bullshit logic to justify spending time on these flowers I hope <sighs> that would be funny it wouldn't be very funny actually that would be a bummer do you ever feel like you you're like your brain is too smart for its own good sometimes, where you're like, am I actually being logical? Or am I just like twisting logic around to suit my internal purposes for what I want in this given moment? So manic, so it's Manic Pixie D Dream Girl is just like a sexist trope of some fantasy girl who's, so who's solely there to help the boy, basically. Whack. Yep. Your three best examples are Zoe. <laughs> yes, man. I haven't seen Yes, man. 500 Days of Summer and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Her personality in all three movies is quirky and nothing else. Yeah. Yep, that tracks. Ramona Flowers on that chart is a good one for sure, too. Look at that pretty beautiful leaf. Petal, not leaf. Whatever the fuck I'm drawing. I'm artist. Something like that. I've really just tricked all you guys. I am three cats in a trench coat. I'm not an artist at all. Five cats in a trench coat, maybe. It's probably more accurate. Ramon is a great example. She's just a sexy lamp, though. Do those count as things that can be replaced with a sexy lamp? Do all- I feel like some Manic Pixie Dream Girls could be. But could every Manic Pixie Dream Girl? Because some are like, their whole thing is like... 
You're like a boring guy with nothing going on in his life. Let me show you that life is worth living again. And she has to have some level of like, these are the quirky things I do in the ways that I enjoy life for, for that to be functional. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know enough about the mechanics to be making pronouncements like this. Man, I'm so happy that I made this uh, new brush. It is doing exactly what I needed to. Good blends, good, good chunky crispiness. It's good stuff. A sexy lamp with seven deadly X's. You think Manic Pixie Dream Girl could be a whole depth of character beyond what was initially incepted as? But then writers would actually have to be good at writing, and that's just too freaking hard. Well, I think that that's like the thing, though. I think is by definition, the character doesn't have any depth outside of that. That is all that she exists for. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you trying to sit up here? Do you want to sit on my lap? Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, I'll pick you up, buddy, because you're going to jump and it's going to be weird. Come here. Oh, fur. Please make this easier for me. Oh, oh big fat fur is here to say hello. Hey, buddy. Okay, let me scoop my tablet up so you have room. Oh, God, I moved it. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Hey, you going to get settled? Furbs hasn't been on stream in a while. Here, let me see if I can... No, look the other direction. Don't look at me. Look over here. Oh, he's my good old man. He's a good boy. Now he's kind of looking at the camera. You could be a manic and bubbly deep character instead of a trope. Yeah. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're such a good boy. He hasn't been on stream in a bit. Yeah. He's my little cancer man. Good little dude. My little in remission cancer boy. That's who you are. Good boy. He's gonna be 14 this year. Can you guys believe how old he is? You're an old grumpy old man. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. He's still my smartest cat. You can hear a purr? He has the best purr, too. Mm. He's very resonant. That was one of the things when the first, the first oncologist I got for him was fucking grim. Uh, she was basically like, yeah, so most cats um, will put on chemo and it'll work for like maybe like six months and then it'll start working less um, and then we'll switch him to a different chemo. And that'll work for maybe like four months and then we'll switch him to another chemo and that'll work for maybe three months and then by that time usually you know some other comorbid thing will will end up um causing them to die anyways um and so the first chemo that Ferbert was on lasted only like three months <laughs> before it started um, becoming ineffective and then the second one it was the same thing three months and so then when i went to Thankfully that oncologist moved her practice uh, way out into the boonies. So then I had to get a different oncologist. And when I went to that oncologist, I was thinking like, this is probably his last round of chemo. He's probably gonna die this December, this past December, I was thinking he was gonna die. Yeah. And then when I talked to the new oncologist, she was like, oh, no, no, no. No, there are plenty more things we can try. There's like, no, 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 no. We're gonna try and get him in remission. Like, not, don't prepare for his death. And I was like, Okay, I don't know whether you're being overly optimistic and the, or whether the other one was being overly pessimistic, but I've been preparing for my cat's death for months now, and I'm not fully ready to like trust and believe that like this is gonna be as solvable as you think. But yeah, she put him on this like crazy, crazy chemo, 
Yeah, I did not know how to process it at all because it was just like, listen, I've been trying to do my best to prepare myself for his eventual death and I don't want to like take down the safeguards that I put in place for that. I don't want, I like hardened my heart for a reason. And put that, nope, he's in remission. He's a good boy. He's got arthritis now. Yeah, she is. He's very, ow, hey. The one thing is he's on prednis prednisolone now forever, and it makes him a little bit more bitey. He's never been a bitey boy before, but now he, um, when he's not getting the attention he wants, it's not like a hard bite. He's not like being actually mean, but it's not pleasant. It's rude. And I've tried to like, kind of like not give him um, attention when he bites or like remove him. But I did that for like six months and it didn't make a difference. So now I just like scold him and just let him do whatever. Hell yeah, arthritis? Oh no. That honestly, of his meds, that is the most expensive one, annoyingly. I need to find some other alternative for it. Because I feel like gabapentin can't be the only thing for... He gets arthritis and muscle spasms and I know that it's helpful for mus muscle spasms, but I feel like maybe he wouldn't have the muscle spasms if he wasn't sore from arthritis. So, oh my god, I have his cat hair all over me. <laughs> also, the other weird thing is the prednisone and chemo changed his coat color a little bit. He's not as, like, dark silvery now. He's got kind of, like, russet tones. Oh my god, you just made a cloud of hair come up, buddy. It's okay. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. What a good gentleman. Oh, see? With the paws. He's a good boy. One of my favorite moments from the old stream was, um, oh shit, I can't hit the key, was that time that he reached up and managed to hook his claw in my nose ring when he was trying to get attention. That was still just so impressive. Just ridiculously impressive. Okay. Hi, buddy. I gotta paint, too. You gotta let me paint. I'll paint one-handed for a bit, I guess. Jesus. Demanding old man. But that's the thing, like, he's- I'm happy he's alive to be a grumpy old demanding man, so I tend to let him get away with a lot of shit. Cause he's a good boy. He is a possum cat, yeah. Yeah, the clip of him hooking my nose ring. I think I have it on Instagram somewhere, I'll have to post it in the Discord, cause it's- It was very impressive, honestly. I know, I need my hand to pick colors, buddy. Hang on. I, I am allowed. I need my hand to pick colors and change brush sizes. I need it for all sorts of stuff. Good grief. I probably won't finish this panel before... before Jackbox time. Also, who's playing Jackbox? Ow, Fervor, no biting. I know it's Amanda, me, I know Purple wanted to, um, but I don't know when she gets off work today. Let's see. Yeah. Oh good, okay. I feel like it needs like a minimum of four people. Why are you sitting under my arm like this now, Ferber? This is significantly less effective to paint. Why? Why is this happening? What are you doing, Ferbert? <laughs> what is he? <sighs> okay, you're such a goober, dude. I think he just wants big giant hugs. Um, and pets. Popping into disc and sharing your screen is the optimal way to connect your Jackbox thing. Yeah, that's true. Hey, how's it going, Lynn? What's up? Yeah, I'm doing some art studies. I'm trying to get good at being an artist again. Len or Lene? My brain says Len, but I could be wrong. I feel like I'm so bad with names. In every possible way. 
thinking about with nails. Buddy, I know you want more attention, but he's like pacing and pouting his little feet on my lap. Ridiculous. You're bad with names and faces. I'm great with faces. I I can draw people's faces when I can't remember their names half the time. Which is not that helpful, honestly, unfortunately. It's only helped like a couple of times in my life. Like if I had to do a police sketch of somebody, oof, I'd be so fucking good at that. Yeah, you think I'd be good at that? What are you doing? You good boy. Why are you pawing at me still? My goodness. Ferbert thinks I'd be a good police artist, but I would never. Ferbert probably supports the cops because he's a grumpy old man. That would make sense. That tracks. You're bad with names too, you're better with faces also. Yeah. The host screen is for viewers, shouldn't be a problem for anyone playing. Nice, yeah. Hey buddy, hi. I need to have my hands for painting. Sir. My goodness. A little baby. Just that. Ah, oh, the texture of this brush makes me so happy. So floofy. Okay. I need some like medium tone saturated of this blue. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's nice. He, uh, because we had to go to the vet so much for his chemo, he got really good with car rides, but he still did not like, you know, the whole process being poked and prodded by people. That's, that's never super fun. Um, so he got in the habit of like, always tucking his head into my elbow. <laughs> into the crook of my elbow or trying to hide under my arm. And it was so sad and cute. The sweetest, saddest, cutest little boy. You forget faces and voices really easily too. If you learn a name though, you'll probably remember it, but you can't if you only hear it once. Yeah! Oh, you've been using Rebel? Rebel? I don't know how to say that either. I'm bad with apparently program names too. Um, yeah, it's. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of the brushes in it. I made this one and I'm I'm really happy with it. But previously I was I had made one and it worked better than like the default setting. But I just wasn't wasn't loving it, you know. So, but now I think I do love this brush. It's a good brush. L because it's stylized as L. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll believe you. I'm gonna use that as my justification. And if anybody is like, that's wrong, I'm gonna be like, listen, go take it up with Rain. She told me to do this. I'm blaming you. You'll fight them, send them your way? Alright, noted. Will do. Your language learner, come at me with your shit grammar. Nice. Oh yeah, true, true, true. They wouldn't know what hit them. I feel like I recognize- Okay, you gotta go? Alright, goodbye buddy. Thanks for visiting. Do you need help? 
can you make your way down there? Or would you like me to scooch over to the bed? Here. Okay, we'll go on an adventure. I have so much cat hair on me from him. I'm gonna die. Okay. All right, back to painting. It's so nice to have my whole desk. Oh, why did this happen? Oh, cursed, absolutely ridiculous and cursed. Oh, why won't it just let me? Okay. Save. Oh, smart. Yes, thank you. Okay, I save. I saved. So this needs. Go like that. I feel like at this rate, I'm gonna get like one flower done this evening. But it's a really fun to draw a flower. Oh, wait, I'm drawing this in the wrong area. I fucked up. Okay. That has a swoosh that goes out to... Uh... Oh, save the cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got arthritis, so sometimes he gets he gets special treatment and I'll ferry him around the room because I don't want him to have to just like you know when cats are like old and you hear them like thump when they hit the ground and you're just like, oof, that sounds like it's gonna hurt your own old bones. I just don't want to hear that, so. He gets special fairy service. Fairy service? My brain was thinking fairy as in, like, a fairy boat, but then my brain got hyped about the idea of me being just, like, a transport fairy. As in, like, with wings. Um, and I think I like that better. I think that's cooler. I think I'm gonna go with that. That's my new headcanon for my role in these cats' lives. Transport and food fairy. That's me. Oh, also, anybody who is enjoying the music? This music is by Tears in the Rain, and if you like lo-fi stuff like this, you can find him on Spotify, and there's a link in my bio. I need to add a link to Streamlabs still. But I have not done that yet. Manic Pixie Fairy Fairy Service? <laughs> Perfect. Very excellent. I'd be a manic pixie dream girl for forever. I would show him the joys of life again. I have. I set up a catio for him and he like watches birds again and is like super thrilled about it, about it, so. Already fulfilling my fulfilling my destiny. So that goes like that. This needs to have this is what needs to happen. And then this needs to go like that. Sneezing back there. Butter. My 
are you sneezing? Illegal. No sneezing cats. I still have been unsuccessful at getting the cat hair out of this eye. I'm gonna be real sad if I have to like run my eye underwater or take my makeup off or something. Cause it is feeling extremely cursed. I am not a fan. I'm an anti-fan? You get really anxious these days about being a Venus Venus death trap? Oh. I don't think that's necessary. I'm a, what is it called? Woman of the Blade or whatever? And... I fucking swear to God. Or is it just my hair from my forehead that's tickling my eye? Lady of the Blade. That's what I am. It's so fucking cool. Um, and it's pretty great. So, highly recommend. I think being the get a face lint roller. Honestly, is that a thing? Because it feels like it would be extremely beneficial for me to have one. <laughs> I guess I could just take some tape and roll it around my hand and just like stick it to my eyeball. That'd work, right? That wouldn't be a horrific experience at all. Jesus. I don't see any way that could go wrong. You think they make small ones that would work? You've been single a long time and all your friends have partners, it's really annoying. Yeah. I feel like it's important to, you might have this already achieved, but getting a partner should not be like the be all and end all goal of everything, it's not. Um, being happy with yourself and having a wonderful life that you can integrate a partner into is best. And finding a partner who is also happy on their own, but uh, can integrate their life with yours. Find that or be single. Because just having a partner to have a partner, trash, absolute trash. perfect, but I think I like it. I think it's acceptable. Oh, how did I fuck that up so bad? Okay. Life is about winning the lotto. I think I'm definitely going to kill the next partner. I hope they're ready for the fight of their lives. Solid plan. You know, excitement is is important in a relationship, and it sounds like you're gonna have that covered. <sighs> Never a dull moment if you're worrying about getting murdered. Life's at wing water. Working on the self-love thing still. It's very hard. Yeah, that's that's true. It can be for sure. Um, it sounds like you're on the path to making it easier though, and that's good. You need a Gomez Adams. I mean, everybody needs it. That's like, that's, isn't that like the best archetype? Honestly, I want to say no though, maybe. I don't know. But I think that, that they are one of like a very healthy kind of TV romance as opposed to all of the horrible, horrible sitcom ones where the couples are just like, where it's always like the idiot dude and the like super put upon harridan of a wife. That, that shit fucked me up. Like watch, growing up watching stuff like that, oof, yeah. Not positive. Very grim. K 
casual attempted murder between lovers gets the blood pumping? Yes. If you're saying I get to be Elvira, a baddie only visible in black and white, then yes. Yeah, I would love to be Elvira. That would be tight. I'd be on board with that. It's just attempted murder. Just for funsies. Apparently. Do you know what's wild? Is there are some people who, um, I knew this couple back in the day who uh, both really liked being manipulative to each other. Like it was like a, chess game that they played together against each other like they were each other's opponents and i was like that sounds so fucking stressful for a relationship that sounds fucking awful um they're like no no i love my brain being engaged like that it's just like man there really is to each their own somebody for everybody however many more tropes like that there are because that shit is insane to me My killing partner just picked the right one, Jess. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for there to be like, uh, um, shit like in Black Mirror, that one movie where they, uh, you take like a blood test or something or, what did I do? Uh oh. No, did it crash? Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was about, but okay. At least it came back. That was a little bit stressful. Jesus. Thought my image was gone for a second there. Um, what were we talking about? I don't even remember. That was too scary. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for there to be like the, uh, you take a quiz and it like finds your like ultimate partner according to like a billion algorithms, that shit, because none of the current ones seem very, very good. Maybe if I just like cry, maybe I'll cry the cat hair out of my eye. It's going to be a sad stream now, guys. I do use Procreate. Whenever I use my tablet, that's what I that's what I paint on. I actually was thinking I want to I want to figure out if I can like do some plein air painting and somehow stream that, or whether that's something I just have to like record and then upload uh, after the fact. Because I think that would be really lovely. a rust color. I like rust. You love Procreate, but you like infinite painter for the br brushes? I've never used that. Um, what program do I use again? This is Rebel or Rebel. This is Rebel 5. 
Um, but they just came out with six recently, and apparently the color blending in that is even better. But I have not upgraded yet. I need to uh, save up the Dota upgrade. Oh yeah, this will be beautiful. This will add a lot color-wise. Good, good. It definitely needed that. So I actually got, um, oh, Infinite Studio, Painter, download the App Store. I would have to try that, that sounds really cool. Um, the version of Rebel that I got, I got during a sale, but it's the, it's the more expensive one. Uh, it's like the Pro, Rebel 5 Pro or something. Now they have Rebel 6. Yeah. The pro one is 150. Um, I like it more. Well, no, I don't know. I don't actually know if I can say that it's better. I think the, the way it mixes colors can be at times. And I do like some of the textures that the brushes can create better. Um, the blending feels really, really good. And Procreate does really good blending, but not... I don't know. I, I would say they're pretty on par with each other. If Procreate had a PC app, maybe it would be better. Um, maybe being able to access more... Uh, utilize more of the hardware available because you're kind of limited um, with an iPad a little bit in terms of what processing you can do. Um, not like a lot, not by like, but iPads are still pretty, pretty good and beefy at things. Better than some computers like five to 10 years ago. Oh, okay. um, but I feel like Color blending and texture wise, probably this would win. But it's a very tentative win, I would say. Like, if you have Procreate and like it, it is not worth spending uh, $150 to uh, get this instead. Just get like Krita or something. I think Krita. It's so weird about your little food bowl today. I had to get them a slow feeder. And they've used it before, but they're being bastards about it. Krita. How much is Krita? I don't remember. Du -du 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 -du. Free, it looks like. Store version? No store? Paid versions if you're not other platforms. Uh, $15. App Store? Is it for, can it be, is there one for iOS or something? No? Okay, this is only computer, I guess. Um, is it? They have it on Google Play, but not on, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there are comparable ones where if you if you are happy with one of those then it's not worth the cost but i feel like i never end up happy with the color blending that the programs have so i wanted to be picky and get the best one and they had a sale and i was like sold it's mine jesus all sorts of noises happening all at once
probably a way to summarize this, it's not $150 better than Procreate. That's what I'm trying to say. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Is Procreate free? Uh, I don't think so. I don't actually remember. It's been a while since I put it on my iPad. Maybe? Maybe not. But it looks like Krita for PC is free. Krita? Krita? I don't know. Oh, you love Procreate for the simplicity? Then... Yeah, maybe you wouldn't like this one as much. I like this specifically for some of the complexity of it. So, different goals, different needs for sure. You know that it comes at the cost of an iPad? Yeah. <gasps> Did I get it? Oh my god. I got one cat hair, but I can still see one that floats in front of my eye. That's annoying, but maybe that one's less bothersome. Okay, how's this looking so far? Beautiful! I love it! Okay. Why is it not letting me pick up colors? Okay, there we go. I think what I might do is have suggestions of these shapes and maybe not render them quite as much as the as the main flowers that I want to render. Because I think that would be a good balance between me wanting to over-render it. On Procreate, if you have a layer with lines and make next layer to fill the colors, it will not work. That's what annoys you. Yeah, that sounds unfortunate. There's stuff like that. I don't work with line art that much, so I don't run into those same problems. But there have definitely been other problems where I'm like, I could do this in two seconds in Photoshop, but it's like being a bitch to do in Procreate. So, I feel you on that. I swear, why are you flinging sand everywhere? I. I need to build like a cardboard cutout for the side of the litter box because for some absurd reason Thumbs, uh, I think she thinks that it's like a toy when it runs on the cycle because she goes and plays and then tries to dig to find the, the toy but it's really just like the scoop that levels out the litter. But while she's digging to find the toy she just flings litter all around the edge of the litter box. Which means it's all over the floor. Which is gross, and I don't want to deal with it. I'm going through fucking so many Swiffers, and I have to sweep so much. All because of this little tiny idiot. Whose life I saved. She's got no respect. Again, no gratitude for saving her life. Rude. I get my face stepped on at night. I get my jackets bitten with holes in them, and I get sand everywhere. That's what I get for helping this dumb little cat. But it's worth it. What's the extent of the image adjustments? Does it have an equivalent to the liquify tool in Photoshop? Um, in this? No. I don't think it does. And that's why I end up having to pull it back into Photoshop. It has some of the color adjustments, but I don't think it has liquify. Yeah, I, it's not a replacement for Photoshop, certainly. Um, there are some things that I like that it does better that are geared specifically towards art stuff. Like it has a function that I found the other day where it just, um, it can just, in Photoshop to take a grayscale image and just take the dark parts as, um, as the only opaque things and have like a graded opacity to it, you have to do so much shit to get that to happen. Whereas here, you can just say, 
make white alpha or black alpha and that and it works super well and was super easy when i tried it and i was very pleased about that that's an excellent feature that i wish photoshop had um but there are a lot of features that photoshop has that this doesn't so it's one of those things Okay, I like that. That's a good in-between for me, like, obsessing over colors, I think. Oh, I didn't even finish the top part. What am I thinking? I was like, all right, moving on to the next flower. No. Oh, God. Why is it like this? <laughs> okay, now it's centered. Good stuff. Okay, saving. Do I have a lot of artist friends? Not as much as I would like. I used to. Um online and in real life but um a bunch of people a bunch of my IRL artist friends uh the city is too expensive so a bunch of them moved away and then a bunch of my online friends the communities that uh they were part of a lot of them kind of fractured or just don't exist anymore one of my favorite uh art places art communities that I was a part of online was like in back in 2000 fucking like four or five or something and uh it's just been non-existent for decades since then but that was one of the that i my art improved so much when i was there i would love to find a place like that again i need more art friends because i i have a couple art friends that i trust to like send my stuff to and be like yo tell me if this is shit tell me what this needs and i would trust them to say the right thing um and be able to like give an end up like i feel like most people can look at a painting and be like well no i feel like a lot of people have the capacity to look at a painting or look at two versions of a painting and, and see which one is better which one is more correct but they won't necessarily have the knowledge or the verbiage to tell you why um like like an art friend would um so i need friends that can do that As I would like at the moment. What about you? Shrardist friends? I don't have a I'm the I'm purple and I are the only shrardists we know, as far as as far as I know. For anyone <laughs> new here. A shrardist is a Shrek artist because I seem to unintentionally be doing a lot of Shrek colored things. And then last week I did, or not last week, but Monday I did some intentionally Shrek things because I had a subscriber goal. So that makes me the best in the field. Ooh, you're going to doodle a Shrek and become a Sh Join our ranks. There need to be more of us. It's perfect. Unintentionally. So was, fuck you. Yeah, it's hard because, like, um, finding art friends can be difficult because this is going to make me sound like a shitty kind of, like, elitist artist. There are some people who do art and even if they say they want criticism, they don't actually want criticism. Um, and any critique you'll give, they'll be like, well, that's just my style. And it's like, okay, well then your style isn't reading properly and it sucks. Your style makes it look like you don't know anatomy or composition or something like that. And it's like, if it's a conscious choice, that's one thing. But like, I know it's not a conscious choice. And it's like, if you're asking me for feedback on your piece and then you get mad at me, like why even, why even do that? I feel like I've had a lot of artist relationships that went like that. And it makes me kind of gun shy about art, art friends sometimes. But then I've had just as many like good art friend relationships. So I don't know. It's one of those things. It's, it's, there are some pitfalls, but overall it is, having art friends is super fucking worth it. Please critique my art, but don't say anything mean. Well, that's why in the Discord I have, I have three different sections that are like, no critique, just enjoy the pretty thing that I made. 
um, that I had fun making. And because sometimes I'm in that mood too, where if it's something, especially if it's like something I know I have no intent intention of working on again, even if somebody does give me good criticism, I might post it there. Um, or maybe I'll post it in one of the other channels and be like, for one, you critique this. I'd love a critique on it, but I'm not going to work on it any further. So, uh, don't look forward to seeing an improved version kind of thing. Um, but yeah, and then there's the other two channels that are going to be for ripping people new ones if they want it. I just want to find somebody to rip me a new one, art wise. Do you get attracted to Artist Man more than any other guys? No, for that same reason. I feel like I've dated a few artist guys and it's always gone that direction that I just described of them being like... Uh, it being more like competitive and less wholesome and me having to not say how I honestly feel about their art because it risks hurting their feelings. Um, I do like crafty dudes. Uh, I feel like at this point in my life, if I dated an artist dude, he'd have to be like kind of a fucking good artist or he'd have to like not care about criticism. He'd have to be a person who genuinely wanted to get better at art and wouldn't be like a little bitch about it. Um, but a crafty person, um, like I briefly dated this guy who was like a woodworker for a while and that was really cool because he could appreciate what I did and I could appreciate the creativity of what he did. Um, but it was different enough categories that like I don't think we were judging each other too much or like too interested in being like but you could do this so much better like if you did this kind of thing um i feel like that happened to me. oh god that was another horrible thing when i dated an art dude was he would get mad when i wouldn't apply the changes that he wanted me to make to my art and i'm kind of like it's my art bitch let me alone draw your own kind of thing what about a girl artist i mean same problems unless it I feel like if you're going, if you're an artist trying to date another artist, both people have to be of like a very good specific personality type to make it work because otherwise it's so fraught with potential like ego problems. Like both people have to have pretty chill egos. Um, otherwise it's just a fucking dramatic nightmare. But maybe I've just dated whiny babies. I don't know. It could be. I will say I've never had like a long-term serious relationship with, with an artist, so, with another artist, because they've all crashed and burned. So maybe if I like found like a healthy relationship with an artist, maybe I would have a different tale to tell. But so far, my experience is that it's not, <laughs> it's not a good idea. It's such a strange thing to be so specific about to me anyways. I don't know, it's one of those things where I'm not good at giving false compliments. I'm not really good at lying and just like saying nice things to maybe this is the autism i don't know but i've always it feels it feels like it's super obvious that i'm being like um like placating if i say something that i don't mean and maybe it's not but to me it feels that way so being like oh wow babe that's beautiful if it's like not would be the death of me Honestly, most artists are just crazy egotistical. The real trick is self-awareness. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like, I feel like most creative professions, you have to have some level of ego to be like, I'm making something beautiful and other people should also think it's beautiful. Um, and I think artists that don't have that struggle with the confidence to show their stuff. And I feel like I used to be more that way, but now I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what, even if it's ugly, fuck it, whatever. I'm learning. I'm getting better. Deal with it. Kind of thing. Um, but I feel like artists with, uh, you can have an ego about your art, but there's a difference between like having an ego and having it be a very fragile ego and having an ego and having it be like a, yeah, I can take criticism and it's not going to like destroy my feeling that I am a true artist kind of thing. And I feel like that's the problem I run into with people, where anytime you criticize them, it's like an affront on their identity as an artist. And that shit is exhausting. And I don't want to deal with it. 
I feel like this is like the shit on artist relationships hour and I don't mean for it to be because I'm sure there are plenty of wonderful wholesome art relationships, I just haven't been in one. Like if I could find a nice art boy who, who was like chill, that would be cool. I just historically have not found that and I'm very wary of, of, of it. <laughs> That makes sense. You have to be at least a little confident in your craft. Yeah. Wait, did I miss something? It's like if you were a teacher and only wanted to date a teacher, it seems odd. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I... I wouldn't... I, I would love to date somebody who was also a creative of some sort, not necessarily an artist, um, because I do think that that's... Even a, even just to create a person who like appreciates art but doesn't necessarily like create art, um, I feel like that's nice because then there's a lot of things that I can share in, in more in depth um, that I could with like a layman basically. But there's like a lot of shared experiences of like trying to make decisions on a piece or like being frustrated that something like you have a vision for something and it's not turning out. Um, making creative decisions just like small experiences like that that it would be fun to know that somebody has experienced experienced them in a similar way as you have um that seems like that would be cool but not enough to like actively seek out a relationship that had that more than any other kind of relationship if that makes sense does that make sense I feel like I've been rambling a lot this this stream. Oh hi Nisha, what do you have? Did you bring something? No, oh, you gotta go bring a toy if you're gonna yell about it. I guess for an artist girl, it's so much more fun to date a guy who is opposite to artists because for that person, it can also be exciting to date an artist girl. This is like this goes back to like the manic pixie dream girl conversation earlier. <laughs> I do feel like uh, as an artist, I do have people kind of try to typecast me as like this. Uh, as something that I'm not always necessarily. Like, I am a free-spirited ADD weirdo, certainly. Um, but I am, I don't know, I don't think I'm a good Manic Pixie Dream Girl and it annoys me when I get treated like one. But I feel like that happens a lot with artsy creative types. You're a contractor, so I have to deal with pretty boring and creative people frequently. It's kind of exhausting. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, having having a good group of I'm even though I don't have that many close artist friends currently, I am happy that I have a lot of friends who are creative uh, and like art. So I feel like that fills the void very nicely. I'm doing that thing with this where I'm like kind of trying to make it close, but not exact. And I'm trying not to stress about the fact that it's not exact, but I want it to be closer to what it actually is a little bit, but it's going to be fine. I will tolerate this. Something like that. Why is Photoshop so inept at what I'm trying to do as a shared experience? Yeah, yeah, that's... Man, like, Photoshop is such a... There's so much shit you can do with that program that two Photoshop experts might be experts at, like, two entirely different things and not, like, know what the fuck the other is doing. Which would be pretty cool in a relationship. You could maybe like fill in the gaps in each other's experience and maybe fully utilize Photoshop. Is there any one human that full? is there any one like job or position where you would fully utilize Photoshop? I can't see that. Well, maybe. I don't know. I just feel like there's so many different features for so many different things um, that I feel like that would be tricky to find. Like, they'd have to be an animator, somebody who does 3D, somebody who does 2D, somebody who does design work, topography. 
Man, that would be a fun project to try to do a project that utilized every feature in Photoshop. I would rather die. Gosh, I missed some things. Maybe because I don't really want to date someone who is too much like me, I just don't get wanting someone who has all the same experiences. Yeah, I feel like having some shared experiences is really good because you can understand um, parts of why somebody is maybe the way they are. Um, a shared understanding of experiences I think is really good, but also different experiences so you can like broaden your horizons and learn new things. I feel like that's way fucking awesome and is a, a very cool thing. I think being too similar to people sometimes means you'll have the same neuroses also and that can be really fucking bad. I feel like I've been in a couple relationships where I was too much exactly like the person I was dating and it was suboptimal. So, like, you would think it would make it so you could understand each other more too, but sometimes if you both have the same responses to certain things, it increases the misunderstandings, which is super chill. Do you think a 2D artist and a 3D artist would make a really good artist couple or a really bad artist couple? I mean, in terms of what they could create or like as a couple. As a couple, it would depend on like, like earlier, like we said, their ego, their, their, how tied into their identity um, they are as an artist and how much criticism impacts that and whether they want their partner to be like just a kind of yes man complimenter or whether they want and what their partner wants to be. Like if their partner can just be like a, a yes man complimenter, maybe that'd be fine. But in terms of like what they, I feel like that's a difficult question to answer and is so highly specific to other facets of their personality um, than just like 2D artist, 3D artist. I feel like there's a whole bunch of shit going on there that would need to be delved into. Um, but in terms of what they could create, I feel like that'd be really cool. They could create a bunch of cool shit if they teamed up. Now I'm trying to think of like what the coolest artist pairings would be. I did a software engineer for a while and I was hoping he'd help me. Um, we could like make some cool apps or like games together or something. But uh, that didn't happen. But I think like, I think a, uh, like a game developer plus artist combo could be pretty solid. I think that would be neat. Oh god, what is happening? Okay. Probably not feel like efficient. Let's see why is he going. PS is weird because it has a lot of tools, but at the same time its development feels slower stagnant. Absolutely. You can grumble about it missing something in Adobe feeling unresponsive to the needs of an entire market segment. <laughs> You're a 3D artist. His DMs are open, folks. Let's be honest, you can find a partner of any field, any race, any whatever really. As long as you IBE, what's IBE? Oh, vibe, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Artist OTPs, that's funny. Good shit. Yeah, I feel like artists should always be secondary to other like personality aspects of, of things. Maybe like an interior designer. Ooh, a textile artist and a woodworker. They can make awesome furniture. That'd be really cool. Cause I've done both of those things and sometimes I like both, both of the aspects of both of those, but sometimes woodworking stuff means hauling around heavy tools, heavy pieces of wood, doing a bunch of the boring stuff like sanding. I don't like that part. I like designing furniture and then putting it together in the end more than I like all the, the tasks in between. <laughs> so like all the important tasks, like cutting the wood. And I do like, I do like assembling it. God, like making Ikea furniture is so fucking fun, but that doesn't have the creative element of designing the furniture yourself, unfortunately. So it's not as brain, brain stimulating. That's one of the things that I wasn't sure. I was like, 
I was trying to think of all the things that I, I want to stream eventually on here. All the crafts I do, because I do... My goal is to learn like every craft I possibly can. Not even a goal, it just seems to power my existence, basically. It's like an undeniable facet of who I am is more, is probably a better way of putting it. Um, and so thinking of things that I could stream in that regard, like maybe a day where I tie-dye things or do shore stuff or a day of woodworking and building, like what would work well on Twitch? Because power tools, I would need to like mute my mic sometimes, otherwise y'all would die. So maybe that's suboptimal, who knows. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of boring parts of building wood, like sanding and stuff like that. I don't know. It's interesting. I have a lot of thoughts. I want to do a bunch of stuff. Sonic the Hedgehog artist OC of DPs. Oh my god, you're right about a game developer and artist couple. Although you also run into the problem where you're essentially combining home with work if you decide to develop a game together. Some people can handle it, some can't. Yeah, absolutely. That would be a huge facet of it. Um, working with somebody in that capacity and being like because some at some point there's going to be some decision where you want it one way and the other person wants it another way and if you're like the expert in that particular way and you're like hey i'm the boss of this part and it needs to be this way and we're doing it this way and the other person is like not chill with that like if it's like a game developer being like, no, you can't have like this be like an animated thing in this menu for this reason because it would take too many resources. Some shit like that. And I'm like, no, it fucking has to be animated and we're going to delete shit until we can make it animated. Something, I'm making up a scenario, but I can see that being a, uh, a difficult point for a relationship, for sure. So yeah, it would have to be, it's the same thing where people's egos have to be appropriate for that to function. Otherwise, it's disaster fuel. Okay. My artist goes really fast and is also a serial killer artist and also buys black hair with a red street. Fave interior design style? Oh my god. <sighs> Renee Sauce is your stage name? That's amazing. I don't- I can't- I, you wish you could live forever because you don't have enough time to become master in all the fields that I'd like to. Yes, everybody. Okay, this is a rant that I need to go on because there are some people who are like, God, like the whole like curse of immortality the vampires have, like that's awful. I would get so bored and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I would learn how to do everything. I would learn everything about everything. There's so much shit to learn about in the world. Like if you look at all the subreddits I follow, I would learn all that shit. I would learn to become an expert in fucking neuropharmacology, woodworking, plumbing, electrical. I would learn how to make cool fucking light shows. I would learn how to be a programmer. I would learn everything. I would learn like forgotten languages. Oh my God. I If I was immortal, I would just learn everything and then create everything. <gasps> God, that would be awesome. I, I used to like hope that uh, by the time I my body starts failing me, that we'd have cyborgs that I could transfer my brain into so that I could live forever. But unless like capitalism, capitalism changes a whole lot, uh, I don't think I could afford to get a robot body or live forever. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, I completely feel you. All the knowledge. I want all, I just, I, yeah. It's seriously, like, I had, like, a panic attack and, like, an existential crisis at one point in my 20s when I was, like, there's literally not enough time in the world for me to learn. There, I, like, won't be alive long enough for me to learn all the things I want to learn. And it fucked me up for, like, a good few months because it felt like my life got so small and I had to like choose and there that the choosing means that some things would no longer be available and I hate that that's awful that, that feels like death to my brain 
I feel like. But, like, you do only have so much time on this earth, and if you're filling it with nonsense... Every time I think about this, I'm like, I should never play video games again. Because they take so much time. But they're so fun and fulfilling for my brain, and I feel like I enjoy playing video games with people. So it, it is like a... it serves a good social purpose, but it does take away from craft time. That's for sure. Okay, I think this flower is done. Look how pretty that is. I really like irises. I want to paint more irises. I, ha I just realized I forgot to read up and scroll. The only thing that keeps me from doing more personal carpentry is the cost of lumber nowadays. Yeah, it's a fucking mess. Uh, you're really into vintage modern. You want to be 1970s CEO? Yeah, I love vintage modern stuff. Oh my god, I literally say I want to know everything about everything. Yeah, Chris, dude, yeah, all the knowledge. Tahani in the good place. Yeah! If capitalism is still a thing too, there's a question about who owns your robot self. Oh god, yeah, that would be fucked. You put irises in the reference channel? Oh, thank you! You absolutely cannot understand how anyone would be willing to grind in a video game. The only way I'm willing to grind in a video game is if there's like, like, incremental games where you have to like, grind your way through Oh my god. I had a conversation with somebody the other day about what they liked in Stardew- by the other day I mean like months ago. But what they liked in Stardew Valley was so fucking different from what I liked in Stardew Valley. They were somebody who liked doing like the daily tasks, the, re the repetitive daily tasks of like watering the plants. And I don't even remember what the other ones are. But that's the shit that I hate. I want to automate the fuck out of that as soon as I possibly can. I, that's just wasting my time. It's not a puzzle to solve. It's already solved. It's boring. It's shit. I don't want to do that. But I'm willing to do it for a little bit if it gets me the automation that I want. I will grind stuff for a temporary amount of time if it's on the path toward automation and I can gradually like automate stuff more. Incremental rewards or incremental progress, I, as long as I get some rewards and things change as things go, then, I, then I've then i definitely grinded in some video games for sure. Grinded ground? Aw. Will do. Bye, Chris. See ya. Yeah, that's the beauty of Stardew. It's variety. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just so funny how different, <laughs> what different people enjoy about different games. Grunt, yeah. You like that sort of thing. You're more referring to shit like World of Warcraft when you say grinding. Yeah, like doing weekly quests, I... That just sounds like signing up for the worst shit in the world. Like, I, pr I when I would do weeklies and stuff like that, it would be out of a fear of like lost opportunity for items, but not because I actually enjoyed it. And that always ends up being like the death of me playing a game half the time is when like the pressure, the the feeling like I'm going to be fucking up and missing out if I don't do this boring ass thing, uh, it kills video games for me for sure. If that makes sense. Cause yeah, I uh, I only want to do like enriching puzzles for my brain. Other shit boring and can die or like engaging dynamic encounters that's fun um and that's that's i think that's part of what makes certain things like doing dungeons with people that's that's acceptable because well sometimes i guess that can get boring and grindy too but it's different when you run with different people and then it's like a social aspect of it too that that's acceptable to my brain but some other stuff is not <laughs> This is gonna go like that. Carve that out. That works. Side note, that's the best part of Dragonflight right now. There's no need to grind, no need to log in and do a bunch of dailies to grind rep. Oh, that's nice. One well, second best. The dragon riding is super fun. Before you had to stop playing Final Fantasy, you really enjoyed doing the endgame content with your FC. What's an FC? It's 
to guild. Ah, got it. Free. Oh yeah, free company. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Got it. Flirty chalupa. Ooh, I want a chalupa. I'm hungry. Ooh, at some point I can get up and microwave my food. Cause I prepared like a brilliant genius. When I go get food, I'll change laundry and do tea also. Cause, cause I should. Fantasy is a game that my friends want me to play with them and it sounds interesting. Best game I've ever played, give your soul to Yoshi. Yoshi P. I feel like I've known a lot of people who have played it and it does seem like a, uh, out of like MMOs and stuff, it does seem pretty good. I can't attest to whether it's grindy or not though because I have not personally played it, so. So I don't know. I was also thinking it was Mario Yoshi. And realized that probably wasn't wasn't what Ray meant. What Dishonest meant. Tragically. He literally saves Queenix from bankruptcy. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who that is, but I'm happy he did, because that sounds like a good wholesome thing to have done. I remember back in the day I was so mad that uh, Square Enix became a thing as if it like changed anything at all. I don't even remember why I was mad as a kid about that. It seems like a weird thing to be mad about, but I certainly was for a hot second. Maybe it was just change. I was just like, ugh, change bad. Stressful. I, yeah, yeah. I did. I briefly played. I played like for, I don't know, like maybe a week, maybe a few days. I was. It was at a really fucking busy time in my life, so I had a limited time for engaging in new video game shenanigans and was my dance card was pretty full with rust stuff at that time and rust felt like kind of better in my head because the server we were playing on since i could like upload custom designs and like my own stuff I felt like the time I was putting into that was like for longer term goals that would like persist and whereas like a game is just a game like an MMO is just a game that I play with people and it's more about probably the people and social connections than the game itself whereas on the, the Rust server and making custom content for it, it was kind of like ooh this is good for my art brain too it's good stuff I stole a purple. You have so many games, movies, and books in your back burner. Yeah. You don't think you've watched a movie or show in probably a couple months? I, I watch a lot of movies and shows because I always need background like media going. Otherwise, my brain will distract itself with something and it might not be a thing that I can easily undistract myself from. Whereas if I have like dedicated shows and media for my brain to latch onto, um, usually I can get undistracted from those. But if it if I get distracted by like a craft project near my desk, 
that's a different story and uh, might be a problem instead. So media, media safety nets are my ADD brain's secret best friend. I stole a purple from you. I didn't. She was already on the server. I didn't steal her. She tried to steal me from that server and bring me to Final Fantasy. You guys tried to steal me. You didn't get a decent PC until after Rust was big? You wanted to play so bad? You should play... There's a server called um, uh, Rust RPG and Rust, like the, the normal like vanilla Rust ends up being like you wish you could do that, but you usually use YouTube and Twitch as background. Otherwise, I end up stopping to watch and I don't get anything done. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, Rust RPG is different from regular Rust. It's a modded server and everything is like persistent and permanent as long as you keep your upkeep uh, costs met. And that makes it feel very, very cool and awesome. And it also kind of encourages people to be less shitty and trolly because if you're like trying to build a persistent uh, setup on there, then persistently like having a reputation as somebody who's like a horrible asshole does not benefit you at all. So it ends up, the environment somewhat ends up being more wholesome. There's still some assholes here and there because of course it's a video game and also it's still Rust. Um, but I feel like there's less assholes per capita, vastly less than Vanilla Rust, like night and day levels. Like I remember the first time I, I had pretty much only played on the custom server I was on and then I tried, <laughs> I tried playing Vanilla Rust and immediately ran into a dude who was like, whoa, wait! You're a girl playing Rust? And that was like the first time I'd encountered- I ha hadn't encountered any of that at all on the custom server. So it's like that kind of level of like... Very kind of trash tier internet experiences in Vanilla Rust. But modded Rust? Good tier internet experiences. For sure. Oh god, and all the racial slurs in Vanilla Rust. It's just, it's bad. It's like a very toxic- Vanilla Rust is a very toxic game and I will never recommend it to anybody. Modded Rust for life is the way to go. Not using you to procrastinate from your schoolwork? Oh no. It should be, it should be, I was thinking of having like, um, doing like some, the worst race really is gamers, yeah. Um, I was thinking of having, doing some like Pomodoro kind of technique days where we all work on shit together as like accountability buddies because I can benefit from that and I know other people have shit to do sometimes, so that might be a thing that I do and maybe you could do your homework. Or not leave this petal. I keep calling it leaves, I don't know why. You can't, it's just reading honestly, it's so dull. Oh, bummer, okay. Yeah. Very tragic. Yeah, I feel like background listening and reading are not compatible. As much as I have tried before. You guys ever done that where you're like, my attention span is like not contained enough to handle reading this book by itself, but I also can't watch a show with it at the same time, obviously. And so you're just like, what the fuck do I do with my fucking attention span at this moment? Maybe this is like ADD shit. 
I mean, I know it's ADD shit, but like, can anyone really? You listen to music when you read? Yeah, that seems that seems like a viable, a viable thing. Yeah, there was one time where I was playing uh, a video game on my computer. Um, no, it wasn't. It was my PlayStation. It was when I was sick, and I was trying to play a video game on my PlayStation, but it had some boring elements to it, so I was also playing games on my phone while I was uh, watching a uh, movie at the same time. And my roommate was just like, Jesus Christ, dude chill the fuck out. And I was like, you know what? I wish I could. If I could, I would. But brains don't work that way. Reading in silence, but you can't sit still. Reading is like sitting still. It's just so hard, even if the material is interesting. Yeah, 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 for sure. I feel like I get reading done, um, when I'm trying to go to sleep or when I'm waiting for something else to happen. Like if I'm sitting waiting for food to microwave and there's like nothing else to do, then there's that. But like sitting down and doing it as its own like coherent activity feels difficult sometimes because it is so limiting. But honestly watching videos feels limiting sometimes. <laughs> I pick up feels limiting sometimes too because that's why sometimes I like listening to things more than I like watching stuff that requires uh, you to have your visual attention on it. Because if you're looking at stuff, like I can't watch stuff with subtitles because then that means I have to be focused on the thing the entire time. And if I'm trying to do something else at the same time, it doesn't work. Um, but if it's something I can just listen to, that's much easier. Why is this such a difficult little leaf here? It doesn't need to be. Not a leaf, a petal. How many times am I going to call these leaves? Probably a few more times at this rate. It seems likely. Nope, oh, too big. Like why read when, when you can goof off on YouTube? It's stupid. Twitter usually is what fills the empty minutes between it. Yeah. No, Twitter can... It, I feel like Twitter is kind of like Reddit. I feel like most social media, like TikTok and Twitter, um, if you just fill your feed with art or you just follow a lot of art, then it's not really accessible. Sometimes there's some crossover, but usually you can avoid it. You can also make lists. So you can um, only see, if you only feel like seeing one type of content that day, you can just look at that list of particular people on Twitter and it's a little bit nicer. I feel like lists greatly increase my, my Twitter uh, user experience. Utilizing them was a... Uh, you don't really use social medias. I mean, that's probably, that's probably healthy. I like social media though. I, I feel like I wouldn't get to see a lot of the art that I see or get a lot of the inspiration without going there. That's how, honestly, I see most of the art that, that I consume. 
Because, um, like, anything else costs money. Like, going to a museum or buying art books, going to galleries, all require money and leaving the house. And that's not something I can uh, do on a daily basis. Is this gonna work? Fluffy ruffles. The conflict gives me a sick kind of dopamine drip, the kind that you can't even really enjoy. Yeah. Drama- oh man. I feel like I go to YouTube for uh, people's like summaries of, of uh, Twitch drama or YouTube drama or Twitter drama. I uh... Going through it manually and actually experiencing it live is sometimes too tedious. There's too much content sometimes, so I wait for somebody to put it all together and then I enjoy it then. You do feel like you missed out on a lot, but maybe it's better for your mental health this way. If you can find a way to restrict your social media experience to exclusively wholesome people, then it's great. Yeah, I feel like, um, if I wanted to, I could curate my Reddit experience to just craft channels. That's what I want to do for my mom, basically. Um, is just only follow craft subreddits. And then I think she'll have a very, very wholesome Reddit experience. I think it will be lovely. Uh, and certainly better than Facebook, where she gets bombarded with, like, all this Fox News shit, or, like, even worse, the, like, alternative media, info wars, Babylon B, like all that kind of fucking stuff. And then she like reposts it and rages about it and it's like, oh no, this, this is bad for your brain. It's so funny coming from like a, gen a generation who was like, you can't believe everything you see on TV to just believe everything they see on an internet with a, like a moderately official looking website. That's something that I had to like teach my mom and she's gotten reasonably good at sometimes, but I think she doesn't have the time or energy to vet every source when she reads something on Facebook and, but she still like wants to share it. Um, which is what Facebook like basically trains you to do. So I get why she does it. Um, but yeah, like I taught her how to validate sources, but it doesn't always happen. But yeah, she, oh, that, that's where I was going with that. Um, she was, like, shocked when I, she linked something from this one website, and I was like, this website looks fucking ridiculous. This looks absurd. You can't find, like, any people who are connected to this. There's no, like, author names on the articles. There's no, like, about this news source. Like, if it's, like, a local news source, it would say something. Like, what, or if it, and if it's an independent online news source, they would say something like, okay, we're, like, dedicated to, like, providing unbiased independent media. There was, like, nothing like that. It was just a bunch of fucked up articles. <laughs> and then when I, like, Googled it, it was like, oh, this website is owned by this political funding group. And it's, uh, like, veracity rating was something garbage or something like that. People don't lie on the internet? Yeah. Of course not. I would never lie about being a shortest. Never. Facebook has almost zero positive effects in society. I am what promotes the worst kind of basically unmoderated content and worst UI experience. Yeah, it's one of those things where like, it, it has almost zero positive effects. It is the only way that I can reach certain family members because they make it easy enough for old people to understand. And because it was one of the original social media experiences, a lot of people have a lot of connections on there. And like, there's people who I probably wouldn't want to like go seek them out on other social media because they're not like a regular part of my life anymore. But it's nice to have like old school friends on there so that like if there is like a high school reunion or if there's like some reason for me to reach out to an old school friend 
then I can find them on there. Um, but some people, for some people, that's like the opposite of good. They would not want to be found. Um, but yeah, for staying in touch with old people, it seems pretty legit, but it sucks that that's like the main option for that when it's such a cursed option. I wish there were more wholesome, wholesome options in that regard. It's also where most of the worst people convene for a while. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that goes, <laughs> not to be a dick, <laughs> an ageist. But I feel like there is some truth to like, I don't know, a lot of boomers getting like lead poisoned or whatever. And now that they're all old and their brains are kind of fucked up, all the, uh, all the shit is, uh, the problems are arising. I don't know. It just seems like per capita there's a lot of entitlement there to be had. And I have a lot of boomer loved ones, but man, the entitlement is, is fucking real. I like that this flower petal looks kind of like a flowing skirt. It's so pretty. It's very nice. It's just a symptom of growing up in non-internet times. Yeah, I do think that there's- I think it's more than just that though. I- maybe it is non-internet times, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like if you look at some of the stuff, like, there's like so, so many of those like weird boomer memes about like um, millennial cashiers being like no problem and then being like, that's not how you say thank you, respect me, blah 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 blah. And I feel like there are truly different values and like different kind of a different level of entitlement to other people's behavior. Um, and I don't know like the cultural explanation for that. I'm sure somebody very smart has done some research or something on the topic and could explain it to me. But I don't know it. Adding ruffle skirt to your list of- yes, ruffle skirts are amazing. Get a ruffle skirt and get one- get a twirl skirt. Because twirling in skirts that bill out around you and go along the edge, it's one of my favorite things. I should move my computer chair out of here so I have space and then put on a twirly, twirly dress and then swirl, twirl on stream sometime. Because I have some good twirly skirts. You do spin when you wear short skirts for fun? Yeah! It's so, it's so wholesome. It's so, it feels so good for your brain. I don't know why. I feel like it's, I wish that skirts were more like acceptably a fashion item for men because spinning around in a skirt truly is like, I don't know what it does to your brain. It just feels so delightful. I recommend it. I recommend everybody get like a kilt at least. Or, I, don't know, kilt, I don't know if kilts spin that much. I wish guys could swirl in skirts. You can only wear specific skirts so it's got a flower. Yeah. Click. Let me go. Hell yeah. Ruffles are good. Ooh, another art series that I kind of wanted to do was... Um, so there are a lot of elements in fashion. One of my, one of my like rants that I go on every once in a while is how shit the fashion industry is for men. It's getting better. It's definitely better than it used to be. But largely, men do not have anywhere near the options that women have for for any facet of clothing. Um, like, women have so many different lengths of pants, widths of pants, like, guys have some, but and then there's like sleeves, sweaters, like, women have so many more options fashion-wise. And I wanted to do a series of art where I took traditionally elements that were traditionally seen as like feminine elements. Um, and illustrated them in ways that made them still look masculine or worked on like a masculine form. And I feel like that would do the, that would kill two birds with one stone because then I would be practicing drawing men um, and also getting to do that fun idea. 
fashion is a girl's game, so they cater to us a lot, right? You just want to be creative with your fit. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so hard to. Like, even if you're, like, trying desperately to be creative, like, my friend Brian, he's, like, one of the more, like, fashionable, creative dressing dudes that I know. And sometimes he just has to order, like, extra, extra, extra large girl sizes online to, to see. And then and then sometimes it fits weird because it's not designed for a dude body. Um, but he's gotten some sweaters that way, some overalls that way. He got like a romper that way one time, things like that. And finding places that even make dude rompers and sweaters, that's it's a challenge in, in and of itself. It's ridiculous. I feel so bad. Men's fashion could be so interesting and cool. But alas, it is getting better. It is, it is, it does seem to be getting better. We're trending towards more, more normalization of things. Cause that's the thing. Even if you want to be avant-garde and even if you had access to all those clothes, sometimes if you want to just dress in nice things without having the stigma of being like, ooh, they're trying to be avant-garde with their clothes you have to wait until society kind of normalizes things enough. Because some people will just be like, oh yeah, you can wear whatever you want. But I feel like that ignores a lot of context of how society treats people who dress in like alternative or um, avant-garde kind of ways. And girls can get away with dressing and a lot more things and not get any social pushback. Um, way more than guys can. You're telling me? Yeah. Yeah, this is one of my I mean, rambles. I've been, like, ranting about this since high school. Because it was one of the reasons I like drawing women more than I like drawing men. They're just more versatile with how, like, current society perceives them. Which is unfortunate and a bummer. I mean, not a bummer for girls, a bummer for guys. You wish fucks like Ezra Miller wouldn't have made it like, oh, I'm so mad about Ezra Miller because he was like, I was originally, I was like, oh man, this is like a, a cool, a, like uh, androgynous, interesting dressing dude who is pushing fashion forward. This is fucking great. And then he turns into this psychotic cult asshole who like breaks into people's houses and kidnaps people like Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And now that's, yeah, Amanda, that's the association. It's infuriating. And I'm so mad because he had such an interesting face. I wanted to paint his face at some point, and now I'm like, I'm not wasting time on that, dude. But I'm angry about it because I wanted to paint his face, because it's unique. He has interesting facial architecture. He just had to be a dick. He just had to be a dick so I can't enjoy his facial architecture. It is weird that they're still marketing. Uh, ruin it for other people. Yeah, one of the things that gave me a lot of anxiety was shopping for clothes that fit because it felt like I stuck out and things that I thought were cute just don't fit right. Oh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> I feel like that's... a universally shitty experience unless you're, like, the average size and the average build. Like, I... I'm not... I'm still not overweight, but I'm not as skinny as I used to be, but for most of my life... I was a pretty skinny person and could fit into most like fashion stuff um, off the rack, but my proportions are not the normal proportions. So uh, I've literally cried so many times in fitting rooms being like, okay, I've picked out like this whole series of stuff and this is going to look good. Like they look great on the mannequins. They look great on other people. I've seen this fit. This is good. This is how it's going to look on me. And then it doesn't because of how the clothes are tailored for body types that are not mine. And I'm just, just like, I just want a fucking pair of jeans, dude. <laughs> you always found it funny that the creators of the that Fantastic Beast movie gave him a character who's not supposed to be conventionally attractive. Oh yeah, same with, um, what was that show where, uh, fucking, um, it's like a, is it The Stand? The Apocalypse? Jeans are the way. Well, I think while well, it's a weird solution, but people making clothes for trans people will give more people form fitting and flattering choices. Yeah, absolutely. No, not the standard. The stand. Is that the show I'm thinking of? 
Yeah, his character in the stand is kind of terrible and gross also. Yeah, I really hope that we get to a point where, um, I need lip balm. Um, I hope we get to a point with technology, and I feel like we're almost fucking there, where it would be within, like, it could be a mass-produced thing, where we're not, well, we're not there yet. We're, technology-wise, yes, um, manufacturing-wise, manpower-wise, no, because things are still, a lot of clothes still require a lot of, um, human intervention and slave labor, yay. Um... But I think if we get to a point where people can put their phone on a little stand and have it like scan their body and then that measurement gets sent to a computer and then there are like lasers. Oh, I pulled another cat hair out of my eyelashes. Yes, I'm winning. Um, that those measurements and dimensions get sent to a computer that cuts out the fabric and then things are assembled that way. I feel like we almost have that technology. I feel it. And I know that there are companies that do do that now, but they're all for like, they're like thousands of dollars for like all the stuff and then a pair of jeans or you have to spend like five hundred dollars up front and then you have access to their like software and library or something like that i feel like in the next decade or so the thing is capital that doesn't that isn't good for capitalism is the thing but i think it could be Ugh, i just hate i just hate certain facets of how society is currently basically because there are so many more efficient and like better for everyone ways of doing things but they're not the most profitable ways it just drives me nuts i feel like anybody who makes policy or is in government should be required to play like a tower defense game and like learn about how you can keep upgrading some towers but it's not gonna do shit and you're eventually gonna lose the game if you just keep upgrading these one fucking set of towers you need to distribute things better so that there's more success and everything. Or like even like civilization. I feel like that would teach that. I don't know. I just feel like it's weird to me that there are people who play video games and will still defend billionaires and be like, this is a good allocation of resources. Yeah, it's totally normal for there to be like people who have houses with solid gold toilets, but then there's also people who like are working three jobs to make ends meet and then try to take a nap in a parking lot and then have a stroke and die in between shifts at their like three jobs. I remember reading about that when that happened and shortly like after that I learned that Trump had solid gold toilets in one of his like houses or something and I remember just being like the world doesn't make sense, I hate this world, the world makes zero fucking sense that these two things are allowed to happen in the same space. Late stage capitalism. It's garbage. Temporarily embarrassed gross millionaires. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I know that there are issues with like how to d redistribute the wealth and people feeling like they've earned it and stuff, but I do strongly feel that you really can't be a billionaire without exploiting people, and I feel like that's a pretty established fact. Um, just based on how there's literally jobs for people to find like tax loopholes for people. There was somebody who, uh, or tried to take a nap in a parking lot and get ticketed and have to pay a fine because apparently that's illegal in California. Yeah, shit like that. And I don't think they care about long-term, the corporate system isn't designed for anything but immediate lucrative action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing where like capitalism chases infinite growth um, and it's super gross. What was I gonna say? I don't remember what I was gonna say. I had a rant that I was gonna go on, but then my brain got distracted and I lost it. Oh well. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I remember. I was gonna say, um, I was dating a, a guy who had a decent income for a while, and this one, like, friend of a coworker of his or something was, like, trying to sell his financial services to him and was trying to be, like, yeah, I can make it so you don't pay like any taxes. Like, it'll be great. I'll like, I'll save you so much money on your taxes. I'll find all this shit. And, and he was like, so will, will it cost more to pay you than you'll save on my taxes? And the guy like, didn't have a good answer for that. And so it's basically like, wait, so basically I'm like paying you more 
just to avoid paying taxes? Like, why the fuck would I want to do that? Like, taxes help the fucking world work. And, but the guy was like, yeah, but like, no, da 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 It was so fucking weird and stupid. People are, people are insane. We have empty buildings and homeless people. People starving to death and throwing out hundreds and tons of edible food. It really seems like there's just no way to solve these problems. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. And I've talked to my mom about this before when she was like, what do you think people should do? And I was kind of like, if this was a video game, I would start over. I would just call this a fucking bust. Like this, this was a very poorly done run and we are too far in to the point where I think to make changes, like it's gonna destabilize so many systems, like people are gonna fucking die to make these changes because there's certain things aren't gonna happen fast enough and systems are gonna collapse and shit's gonna be bad. So this is a game I would just cut my losses and start a new run. You know, this one, this one is a bust. But we can't do that because that's because this is reality so oh fuck that's what i needed to do i still haven't looked at the ads panel i'll, I'll do that before next monday i need to make it here before i forget i'm gonna make a channel in uh i gotta organize this better um but I'm just gonna make it in the discussion section for text to-do list. Stream to-do list. Cause I am always forgetting things like making a, uh, like the ending screen for mine and looking into what the fuck I'm supposed to do with ads. Um, I said this Monday, but I, my impression just from watching other streamers was that ads didn't run unless you clicked to make them run. Um, and it was only when people started complaining about ads that I learned that that was not the case. Um, but since I learned about it, I also haven't looked into it much because I keep forgetting to. Because I don't see them, so it's not in my brain. But now there's a text channel in the Discord where things can go to be written down so that they can be in my brain. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing? Because yeah, I feel like the ad income is, has got to be like very incremental and like minimal. So I'd much rather people be enjoying my stream enough to like hang around and subscribe than to just plaster everyone with ads all the time, 24 seven. Like if I, if I end up blowing up overnight or something and getting a billion uh, followers or something, then maybe having a bunch of ads running all the time would be cost-effective and a lucrative business move, but that's not the case currently, so I don't need to be doing that nonsense. There's Twitch. It's fucking unalive me. Where you live right now, about a quarter of the houses on the block are empty for Airbnb rentals. That's what was happening at, um, I used to live in Bayview, which is like a traditionally black neighborhood of San Francisco in the outskirts of San Francisco a little bit and had a lot of crime and then it got gentrified da, 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 da. um I don't know the irony of me like a white person talking about like my black neighborhood that I used to live in is changing because obviously I was a gentrifier too um as I got pushed out of more expensive areas in the city then I got pushed to a poorer area um but yeah in the time that I lived there, I lived there like five years um, on a block that had houses on both sides of the street. There were probably like eight houses on each side and every year there would be at least two that would turn into Airbnbs, I want to say. It was ridiculous. 
Rent seeking behavior should be a crime. Yeah, you don't believe you Twitch is just annoying. Airbnb is honestly one of the worst things that happened to affordable housing. Like just get a fucking hotel. Yeah, that's what sucks is I feel like the concept of Airbnb is like really cool and cute. Like I would love to stay in like a cool artist loft somewhere. Like that would be fucking neat. I, I wanna live in, I wanna not live in. I wanna like, if I wanna travel somewhere, I would love to go stay in a cute little cottage. Um, like bed, bed and breakfast, Bed and breakfasts are like a cute little thing for a reason. Like it's, it's a cool idea. Um, but then everybody saw how much money they could make with um, very little effort, and then everybody fucking ruined it. Capitalism, yay! Like initial idea, cool, and then it becomes this like demonized monstrosity this horrible incarnation of what could be like, could have been a nice thing. Uh, just ends up being this hellish, hellish incarnation that just brings struggle and pain. Thanks capitalism. Seriously, I was thinking of moving here permanently, but there's never any affordable houses on the market because they're all marked as city vacation rental with a QR code. So even if you could afford it, they'll just run out their second home. Yeah. Yeah. I've just given up on the idea of, uh, a few years ago, I thought like maybe I could eventually save up enough money and like buy a house in Fresno or something, or like maybe in East Bay some somewhere, but no. There's no way. I just will be struggling for rent my whole life. Yay, capitalism. Unless, like, universal basic income or something makes a real big turnaround or something. Gets real popular real soon. There's a $3 million home here. You could rent out the guest house. Yeah. You're just living in your parents' basement, which is incredibly embarrassing, but literally can't afford anything by myself. Yeah. I don't think it's embarrassing anymore. I think maybe like 20 years ago, that could be valid because there would be ways to like get a job and get out of your parents' house and anybody staying in their parents' basement was either staying there just to stay with family or because they didn't have the drive or motivation or desire to get out of there. But now a ton of people have the drive and the desire and motivation and do try to like make enough income to like not be there. But you just can't. It's not in your hands. It's like completely out of your hands. It's not that like you're lacking in the desire or ability or ability to do so. It's not that you're lacking in the desire to do so, it's just that it is incompatible with like the current state of society and capitalism. Okay. Like, I feel like for my gener- I'm a millennial, so I feel like, uh, I don't know, I know a bunch of you guys in here are like millennial or millennial adjacent, but I feel like when I've looked at how people are doing financially in my like peer group, it is a complete toss up whether somebody's doing like exceptionally well, um, like if they're in like tech or finance or something, um, real estate, shit like that, that and they're doing great or they're fucking struggling to survive. Um, and there's some people who I've seen go through like dramatic shifts and swings in both directions. Oh god, I hate the touch gesture. <laughs> Why is it doing it? Uh, death and destruction. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's a complete toss up whether. Like if you got lucky enough to get into the right industry, even people who like went to college, 
and like there's some people I know who like went to the right colleges, studied the right things, and still didn't find success. Um, The nuclear family created the modern family and with it the commodification of housing. Mm. <sighs> Yay. Capitalism. Um, what was I going to say? I had something to say about housing. Um, this kind of ties into like what we were talking about the other night about how um, Feminism has changed things for women, but men haven't had like a similar um, shift. They're still being like sold the same like bill of like, just be a provider and you'll get a wife and uh, and you'll have a perfect happy family kind of thing. Where it's like, no, women can provide for themselves now, so you gotta bring a little bit more to the table. You gotta be like somebody people want to be around, that kind of shit. Um, and, uh, and more than that, not just want to be around. You got to be somebody who doesn't detract from somebody's life more than you uh, bring to it. But along that same line is like how uh, now that there not everybody is existing in like a nuclear family setup, things like maintaining a household and like a garden and staying fit and stuff is inaccessible to so many people because there's just not enough time in the day to for like one person to do all those things um, unless you have a very unless you're extremely rigid in your scheduling and don't have any like health issues or anything don't have any mental or physical issues um, if you can like control your schedule while you work like a 50 hour week enough to um, like work out garden maintain your house have a perfect clean household do reading do self-improvement I feel like the people who can do that uh, do not have very demanding jobs, I feel like. Or they're extremely um, regimented mentally, like they control their brain and are just like, nope, this is this is going to be my lifestyle and I'm just going to accomplish this despite like how beat up or tired I am. Like it's not impossible, but I feel like it is inaccessible for a significant majority of people. Because when you're when you're like working like a minimum wage job and you're just like barely struggling to make ends meet it's hard to maintain that level of kind of like optimistic kind of like stick to that is required to like maintain all those things when sometimes it just feels nice to just be like i'm just gonna like have a fuck it day just for your mental health and i feel like those are necessary for some people in a lot of uh jobs and stuff a renaissance, a renaissance for men. Honestly, the major reason you became a contractor is because it gives me an actual chance at owning a home someday because you can just build a house. The materials and land are expensive, but a lot less than if you pay somebody else to do it. Yeah, absolutely. That was going to be one of, <laughs> that was going to be one of my goals too was um uh one of the potential ways that I uh could own a house is <clears throat> my mom um does architectural design and rendering. One of my uncles builds houses and does electrical, but he's dead now. Um, and my other uncle does plastering for houses and ornamental plastering and stuff like that. Um, and he has some plumber friends too. And I was gonna like try to do as much as we could in the family and get that shit done and have a cabin up at this lake because a bunch of the... My great grandparents, uh, um, that's where like the family splits into like the rich side and the poor side of the family. There's a bunch of rich farmers, uh, and then I'm from the poor artist side of the family, basically. And uh, both sides of the family, all the all the rich side of the family has cabins um, at, at this lake, but the uh, the poor side, the peppers. We used to have a cabin, but then it burnt down and we were too poor to rebuild it. And then they were going to buy the property. The cousins were going to buy the property and like keep it until we could afford to rebuild on it. But then some dude like swooped in and bought it out from under them. So we lost the property too, which sucked. Uh, and my goal was going to be to like try and get that back. I was like, 
because that place, it's, it's just that place is part of my childhood and I loved going to the lake up there. Um, I'd love my mom to just like retire and fucking live up at a lake and just paint. That would be so chill. Now with all the forest fires in California, maybe not so much. Um, that's, that's put a little bit of a, a little bit of a damper on that dream. But yeah, now like with the cost of everything everywhere, there's gonna be no fucking way. Like even lake properties out in the fucking boonies are so insanely expensive. But yeah, that would have been like such a cool family cabin and we would have all worked on it together and stuff. Like that was my dream. And then that dream died. It's funny, I've been learning about the Greeks and Confucianism and both believe that people could improve but that some people were just built different and that people should try to be the best at what they are capable of. But also that people should stick to the class that they're in, essentially permanently stratifying classes. Mm, interesting. This is my interpretation of what that means in their societies. Yeah. I, I do agree with the whole, like, people should be, try to be the best at what they're capable of. That goes, uh, I'm not sure it's, if it's what they meant, but I feel like, um, one of my, like, ADD kind of epiphanies was that a lot of times I would be like, it is so fucking easy for everyone else to do this thing. Why can't you do this easy fucking thing? The people who are objectively dumber than you can easily fucking do what you can't seem to do. And instead of just like berating myself about shit like that, just accepting that it is not easy for me to do. And that if something is boring, I likely will struggle to do it and I should try to automate things as best I can and just work within the reality of what my capabilities are. Work within reality rather than what reality should be. Um, boy, that made a huge difference in actually like being able to function in life. If that makes sense. But I want to be perfect? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, same. It is insanely frustrating when there's something like super simple and I know it would take me like five minutes to do, um, but I, it either only gets done when it's the end of the fucking world if it doesn't get done, or, or it just doesn't. Or if I have to like automate it away. That, that's basically, those are the options. That's it. It's just ridiculous. Yay, weird brains. Love how super functional my brain is. I mean, I actually do like my brain. I feel like my brain is pretty chill. I feel like if I had kids, I I feel like I'd have a good handle on how to like help raise them to way better than I got raised. Oh my god, so much better. With like more knowledge of how to work with uh, this kind of brain than against it. Because definitely the way people tried to teach me how to use my brain growing up was not a good or effective method at all. Did way more harm than good. Why is this like this? That's why I hope that ADD will be um, reclassified as like a, as like specific individual impacts on like the various areas of of how it impacts your life and executive function rather than just ADD so people can get more specified treatment for it. I feel like that would be a huge step to make that make sense and be better. Because like some ADD advice is not applicable to every person with ADD. And then when you try and enact it into or, or put it into action um, and it ends up not working, it's even more discouraging because you're like, I'm trying the ADD things and even the ADD things aren't, aren't making my brain work kind of stuff. Brains are just tricky and I hope we get better at learning them society-wise. need a lighter color for this. Hmm. Boy, we've danced around topic-wise quite a lot tonight. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, 
it's just not gonna show. Oh, every cat is asleep on the bed. That's so cute. They're such good little munchkins. move over here and I keep thinking it's the chat but I don't know what's in my peripheral vision maybe it's the discord window in the back room oh man I'm tired I will stay awake to exist Maybe a bad take, but I feel like a lot of people are diagnosed with ADHD or autism and it makes me wonder if we are overdiagnosing. If we are not, then maybe we need to reconsider what it means to be neurotypical and if that's even a thing we should keep around. So that's one of the things that's interesting. Um, ADD is one of the most under and overdiagnosed disorders at the same time. Um, at least it was at one point. I don't know if that still holds true now. But I know that there was a period in the 90s and 2000s where it was heavily overdiagnosed in young boys. Um, basically any young boy that was hyperactive got riddled and thrown at them. Um, but boys with ADHD who were quiet or well behaved um, slipped through the cracks. And like no girls were diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just suboptimal. Then there's also been studies showing there's been there's like actually a class action lawsuit going on now about how taking Tylenol during pregnancy can contribute to uh, kids having autism. And so I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why another contributor to why we're seeing a huge boom in that is because a lot of pregnant women probably took Tylenol because it's the thing that their doctors said was safe. Um, and then it turns out we all ended up with ADD and autism because of it, which is super chill. Um, but I do think there is something to it where it is more prevalent. It's I think it's more prevalent for a reason in modern times because we have the diagnostic tools for it and there isn't a stigma for it, but also because of the impact it has on people's lives, whereas like, Maybe, I think that, was it Tab that was talking about this the other day? Um, maybe if you were like just a weird, if you were like an autistic person who was like really fucking loved animals and was good with goats, you'd just be that like weird dude that herds goats and people would come to you for goat stuff and they'd be fine. But now, because of the way society is structured, it's much harder to, there's a much narrower range of how to participate in society and it makes it harder for people who can't participate in, in that in that narrow way, basically. Um, I fucked this up. That's not the right colors there. This is way too much of a harsh delineated line. This needs to be blended softly a little bit more. And that needs to be darker. But yeah, I feel like it's much harder to exist as a uh, non-neurotypical person in modern society than it probably has been in any other society. Just because of how rigid and formulaic um, you have to operate within society. Raid is done! You have my full attention and jackbox whenever you want to do the thing. Okay, let me finish up this flower and let's see who wants to play. Who is down for some Jackbox? Let me see if Purple and Zaros are available too, because I think they wanted to. Yay! Oh, awesome! I was going to ask about that! Hell yeah! That's good. Uh, when would we need to start for Harry to join us? Because I will stop painting this flower and just try to gather a couple more people. If, as far as the ADHD goes, I think a partial contributing factor is that media targeted children is getting more and more hyperactive and random, which I don't think is very good for developing attention skills. Yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like that's contributing to a different problem. I don't think that necessarily contributes to ADD. I think maybe it'll contribute to an overdiagnosis of ADD, possibly, but I don't think it actually contributes to people developing ADD. 
I think people can have, because it's, it's so strongly genetically heritable that I think there are people who, who would maybe be prone to it um, and wouldn't fall into patterns as much if they hadn't engaged with media like that but would still be impacted in some ways by ADD, but maybe just not as much. Um, but yeah, I don't think media is necessarily giving people ADD. I feel like if it was, we'd see way more. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'll be proven wrong. We do know that uh, like screens for children have been like, uh, have a lot of negative impacts and things like that. Screen time for children, I mean. Um, but again, I don't think it directly causes ADD. I think it can exacerbate things or create like symptoms of, of certain like attention and dopamine seeking issues but I think those can be categorized as something different from ADD most of the time and maybe it's a mistake to have them diagnosed as ADD in some circumstances. Does that make sense? Maybe Amanda would know more about this because um, this is literally her wheelhouse. Harry says like 20 minutes-ish. Good stuff. Okay, I will ping I'll ping purple and zeros and see if it's a thing. If they can come join. I know purple worked, uh, but I don't know what time she closed or whether she closed today. So, Let's see, I'm gonna just finish this little fun right here. people on gaming discord. Oh, the ADD question. Um, oh, stretch. Whether, as far as ADD, the, uh, what Gravitrax set up above, as far as ADHD goes, I think a par partial contributing factor is that media targeted at children, both television and YouTube shit, is getting more and more hyperactive and random, which I don't think is very good for developing attention skills. My take on it is that ADHD is like largely genetic and heritable and um, it may make people more prone to developing issues when they do consume that media. 
but I don't think it's causing ADD in people. I think it can cause probably dopamine seeking and attention issues, but that would be only small facets of what ADD would encompass. Um, that's my like layman's hypothesis about it. Because I feel like I grew up consuming a lot of lol random content and with a lot of other people and not all of them turned out ADD. Just the lucky ones. No, just kidding. And yeah, maybe. I don't know. It would be worth checking out for sure. like they're playing games on mobile or listening to things on mobile, so I'm assuming they're still at work. Spots. insane. I agree. The way we consume media now is catered to ADHD mind bite-sized pieces, and I think kids aren't as prone to develop coping skills to counter their possible symptoms. Some of it can be attributed dis to discipline, but also the dopamine production in the brain. Well, he lanced the piece and thought it was a photo for a second. Awesome! Everything we do as humans is dopamine-driven, whether ADHD or not. Agreed. Maybe not the style you want, but it was a bit of a cat hair problems. Is a Jackbox deal an open invitation or kind of a friend's only thing? Um... Your account was created in 2017. So people are trying to telling me to be more cautious about who I invite in the Discord, and I think that's fair. But also, I feel like Jackbox is fun with more players, and you've been like pretty chill in chat, so I'd be down to have you play also. Just keep in mind that everything has to be TOS and good and stuff like that. I feel like I've had I've had some random people from chat coming to discord and it's gone really well so far we've got seven viewers depending on the game we should be able to get most people in yeah i'd be down to i'd be down to have you in i uh people have been telling me that i'm gonna regret uh just letting random people in so don't be the person that makes me regret it that's my only request <laughs> But yeah, based on your behavior in chat, you seem like a chill person, so I'm not 
expecting a disasters. We might have one or two uh, other people. They're trying to learn a Minecraft mod right now, so they may be knee deep in participating in that, so. But I'm asking to see if they're available. Oh, true. I mentioned I don't need to have everybody join voice. I can just host the main thing on stream and have people play along. I do feel like I feel like I would like to have a lot of people in, in voice. Even in Minecraft in a bit. You have all the party don't feel all the, any pressure. You have all the party packs, so just name the game and I can get it loaded up. I'll share my screen via Discord and Amy can share it on stream. I haven't done Minecraft in a bit. You never know how good chat bots are getting these days. It's kinda scary actually. That's always a fun game to go back to. Oh, so are you guys saying that we should largely uh I've only played Jackbox like talking to people over Discord, but I guess you don't really have to have voice chat. People could just play. What do you guys think is best? How do you guys want to play? If people want to participate not in voice, we can do both ways. People who want to be in voice can hop in. People who don't want to be in voice don't have to be. That could work. I feel like maybe that's the most optimal. Uh, arrangement for all of this, possibly. Why are flowers so hard to draw? You just need a secondary window so you can go to jackbox.tv to join. Yeah, there were a couple of the games that there was like an alien game where you like had to hit targets and jump and that was hard to play with a delay on screen and a mouse uh, when I played it before, but I don't like any of those ones anyways. I like, uh, fuck, I should look up which games to play. I like the lying ones, the rap ones, the, the product development one is one of my favorite ones. That one was, we should absolutely do the product development one. That one's a fucking blast. Only the audience needs the host screen. You should use secondary, which can be on mobile. It's just how you want it, how you do your input, whether it's drawing or typing. Only the audience needs the host screen. All the players play live on their device. Yeah. But yeah, for things like the for things like the product sales one, where you can like pitch your own, you like pitch the product to yourself. The game can do the pitch for you. So I guess the game can do the pitches for the people who aren't in voice, and then the people who are in voice if they want to, can can product pitch themselves. Or not, even people in voice don't have to do the product pitch themselves. People can just play however the fuck they want. All right, I'm pretty okay with, with this flower, finishing it up, it up on that note, I guess. Possibly. Gosh, this looks so much like an old painting of my grandma's. It's really cool. I'm really happy about that. Fibbage is one of my favorites and combines your skill at lying and obscure trivia knowledge. Quiplash is one of your favorite games. I pull it out at every, every family gathering. Awesome. Well, Fibbage and Quiplash sound good. You're the funniest person in that Discord and I will not let anyone deny it. Nice. All right. Cool. I forget what Quiplash is. What is Quiplash? Let's see. Quiplash. The prompts like these. Ah, okay. Yeah, Quip Flash sounds amazing. What is the marketing one game that I forgot about? Oh shit, you guys are already in chat. Let me turn off my music and come lock in. You guys are ready. I just stopped painting. Is it time to play? Is that what's happening? Shit. Hey, 
Hey guys. Oh god. <laughs> You're on stream, you like the drama. The PC is a bitch. I can't there's clearly an issue and won't let me uninstall it, so I'm using the crappy browser version until I delete everything. Oh no. That sucks. You know, it's terrible. The browser yeah. version sucks. The uh, the mobile version of Discord voice chat is still by far the worst, I feel like. In terms oh, yeah. of trying to troubleshoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just preemptively get Okay, it. that's true. Okay. Yeah. I think maybe, let me see if any other participants want to join VC. I like how I turned the Spotify music off, but it's still, I am still playing it in my head. Good grief. Oh, I can't wait till Monday. I want to paint this lady's face with the light shining through the hat. I'm so excited about that. It's going to be so cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love this color scheme. Yeah, I'm really liking this too. It's really weird. I, I know that my grandma has done a painting with a color scheme kind of like this and I want to I'm going to send this picture to my mom and have her like see if my mom can remember which painting it is or like look through her paintings or something oh wait there's a big dot in the center of the screen I can't take a screenshot of that here let me move that um because I know I know that this is starting to look familiar or maybe it's a painting my mom did actually it could be I'm not sure and I'm actually kind of liking it this way without finishing rendering the one in the foreground but I feel like it needs a little bit more rendering just a tiny bit and then I can let it go away um and then I can move on to the other paintings I think that'll be cool but oh my gosh this was such a good suggestion to paint irises with all the beautiful ruffles absolutely top tier suggestion oh before we start jackbox Pastel pink and purple is always good. The ruffles are so satisfying, right? And the thing is, I I like, I love looking at ruffles visually. I love fabric visually. I It's not something I have a lot of practice drawing. So it intimidates me and like stresses me out whenever I try and draw it. Um, so this is very good practice for me to be able to like actually integrate it into more of my drawings and not just studies like this. Also, I'm gonna go get let me see, more tea and microwave some food real quick. I feel like this is a good break point to do that at. So I will be our Yeah, I'll be back in like two minutes. I'm reading through all the party packs to see if I can find the one with the product thing. Oh, for Valentine's, I was thinking we do um, a fancy mass restaurant in San Jose. I've got a list of ones I'm going to see. Maybe a lovely little museum trip. And then Ant Man, obviously. Sounds good to me. And I don't die. Oh, my um, cardiologist likes. 
Oh, well. Um, the Greek restaurant that we went to in Monterey. graduate to the warmer, warmer jacket now because it is quite chilly. This is going to be my power jacket for being good at a, being good at a jackbox. Wait, did my headphones DC? No. No, we can hear you. Oh, good, okay. Just making sure. Oh, no. I think I found the name of the one with the marketing thing. I think it's called Patently I I Stupid. I yes! I think so, also. That sounds about right. Also, I have crappy little wine that I'm going to drink. I'm already drunk, and I haven't even finished my first glass of wine. Perfect! I will I'll be there shortly. Hi, Delilah. Why do you think you're going up here? What are you doing? Okay. I'm going to hit stop recording. I'm going to save. Oops, no, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to save. Then I'm going to hit stop recording. Hi, Delilah. Would you like to come sit up here? Is that what you're trying to get me to figure out? You're not going to have any of my food. Doing, ma'am? Can I help you? You're such a butt. Hello. Hey. Hello. All right. We should probably go into general, so it's like random people join. You know. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I'll drag everybody in there. Okay, Delilah, you coming up? You gotta jump. Right. Yay. Good stuff. Okay, which of the three? Quiplash, patently stupid, or fibbage? I am down for any. Uh, it seemed like Quiplash seemed like a... Uh, people were a big fan of that one. We can do that one. Alright, let me get this started up here. Okay. Do you guys see this big fluffy lady who thinks she's going to get some of my food? Mm-hmm. She's being so cute and so sweet. Because she's such a sweet little lady who deserves all the food because she would never pick fights with the other cats. <laughs> she would never do anything. No, definitely like wasn't just doing it early. Yeah, definitely not. This is this is my own fault that she's this way. Um, and I'm not making the same mistake with Thumbs. Delilah was like a huge, huge beggar when she was a little kitten. Um, or like by kitten. When she was younger, she was like a year when I got her, I think. Um, she would always bother people for food and stuff. And so I was trying to do a thing where when she would be chill and nice, I wouldn't give her food when she asked for it or when she was being beggy, like annoying. But then I would give it to her when she was being like chill and patient and a good little lady not bothering everybody. But that apparently, um, she didn't process that that was when she got food. She just took that as intermittent reinforcement. So that means she should try to beg for food all the time. So, mm -hmm. it was not a successful experiment. 
unfortunately. She is a manipulative monster. I feel like all cats are manipulative monsters a little bit. But they're also adorable little lovable fluffs, so we tolerate it. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, my stream is started. Okay, let me load it up. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, I know that there's a way to pop out the video so I can put it somewhere. How do I do that? Ah, I see. Oh god. There we go. Good shit. And let me see if it's showing up on stream. Oh. I should Not change yet. the layout right. to... Uh, wait. Full... Wait. No, that's not it. This is a suboptimal way of doing this. Maybe I should... What's the best way to do this? Let me figure out which... Okay, that's display capture. Let me duplicate that. Can I... Is that a thing that I can do? Add... Display capture... Maybe, okay, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay, this seems good. This seems to be good. Alright. Oh, I should close the bell. Maybe. Yeah, let me see if I can close this real quick. And then I'll have a browser window open for actually playing jackpots. Okay, yes. Oh, we should start entering the room. The code is already up there. I'm just a derp. E. And oh, me too. SR. Yeah, so if anybody in chat, go to jackbox.tv and then enter UMSR and you can also join in. I don't think I have rights to drag you into the channel. Yeah, I need to- I'll- I'll, I'll mod you, Amanda, cause, yeah, definitely don't have any hope with this word stuff. Cause I am a scrub and a boomer. Alright. I think, Harry, we're just waiting on you to load in and then we're good to go. I'm being the cruelest person ever by um, stirring this bowl of food in front of Delilah and not letting her have any. But it's spicy, you'll die. When I'm putting more spicy stuff on it, you'll extra die. Yesterday, Ferbert was trying to eat spicy hummus. I was, I was telling him that he was gonna absolutely regret it. Are you fan of cheese? That's pretty great. That tracks. We all set ish, maybe? Smart. Oh, smart doing last call for joining. Very smart. Smarter than I, for sure. Sometimes I'm smart. Oh, I can select my character. Yay. 
Delilah's also gonna contribute. I don't know if you guys can hear her little chirping and meowing, but she's gonna have, uh, she's gonna offer her input on occasion. All right. Let's roll. And everybody's in. Mm -hmm. I've never played this one before. I don't know if I have either. I'm not sure. They all run together for me. I have no <laughs> idea. Hey, welcome mm -hmm. to Quiplash 3. The Quips take Manhattan. My name's Schmitty, according to my socks. And remember, you still get to vote if you're in the audience. Type Ooh. in that room code to join. Don't look now, but it's round one. You'll get two prompts on your device to answer any way you please. You'll go head to head with another player's response and everyone okay. else votes on their favorite. Sound easy? That's because it is. Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer. So make them count. Oh no. Be as unfunny as you like as long as it's within TOS. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask, is this an off road trip? Dead double stream. Yeah. I just realized my keyboard was on caps lock, so apologies. Good stuff. Wait, oh, I it think... changes it all to caps yeah, anyway. I was gonna say shit, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> oh, never mind. There were 20 seconds left. I thought it said two seconds left, and I got stressed, so I just my second entry is <laughs> a panic time. one. Don't forget your safety it's not very good. Can I edit it? No. Oh well. Eight seconds. I shouldn't edit it anyways. It's fine. Oh man. I'm just gonna can I hear my food. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's start with... In a pinch, this can serve as a life raft. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Solid choice, whoever that was. We clearly all have the same sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> shops always get names wrong. They should just hold up an order and shout blank. And the fun part. Pick your favorite whip. <laughs> Hell yeah. And here we have who knew police give tickets for blank? This dragon house of six of Now it's time to vote for your favorite. One is like the dark answer, and one is like the cheesy fun answer. And I'm like 50 50 split on which I'm, I want to go for. <laughs> right? Mm hmm. Dark humor. I'm going dark humor. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sorry, bro. I, was, I appreciated it. <laughs> Next on the docket. Something so much worse than hair to find in your food. <laughs> All right, people, it's voting time. This was, yeah. Thanks, Jaros. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> The pity much. That was, yeah, that was my like, oh god, I thought there were only two seconds. We just have blank. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. Ah, uh, the irony vote. 
I was say hoping Royal Idiots was gonna be one. Mm -hmm. the, the British guy <laughs> chose freedom. Excellent. Moving right along. If you're being honest oh, with no. yourself, you'll never be brave enough to blank. <laughs> now it gets real. Pick your favorite. It does. Yeah, the idea of biting into a worm is cursed. Absolutely cursed. Target is my public restroom. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Round one is behind us, and the scoreboard awaits. I don't know if you guys can hear Thumbs dragging her toy across the floor. <laughs> Okay, round two is knocking on the I door. could hear her attacking the bell earlier. Oh, yep. That's the... That is attached to the toy. That's good stuff. My favorite part about this is that uh, Grammarly wants to fix my grammar on whatever I write. Oh, God. <laughs> Another feeling. It's judging me, whatever I do. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's doing its best. We're giving it a run for its money. Time's almost done. Save your bacon with a safety quip. Hmm. Got this. Nice. All right, no time like the present. The first one had me stumped for a bit. The, the second one had me stumped. Is the title of the most Bruce Springsteeny song that doesn't exist. See, this is bad because I, I don't know. Okay, I'm bad at music. Someone so. Oh God, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it random because I don't know and Max, what Bruce Springsteen's music is like. Your geometry Instagram. teacher's favorite pickup line. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, choose your favorite. Okay. <laughs> Honesty and pickup line. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, great. Oh, I forgot I had tea. It's sad because it's true. <laughs> it's extremely good. <laughs> Let's keep it going. What's considered self care for ancient warlocks? <laughs> All right, vote for the one you like best. We'll ever get realistic and funny answers just next to Philip. <laughs> and we're split on the answers. Let's see the next one. A dangerous marital sex game. Oh you god. Put yourself to the bed and they blank. I hope I'm not going to this one. Okay, everybody. Both of these are so good. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. This is another toss up, but I could really have gone either way on this one. Both were so good. Oh. Listen, yours was solid, Amanda. <laughs> I appreciate you. My mind was drawing a blank, so I went for. 
realism. <laughs> oh. Next up, something you never want to oh, hear shouted from a restaurant kitchen. <laughs> and now, pick your favorite. Hmm. One is actually horrifying. One just triggered meme brain for me. I expected Harry to have the it's fucking raw. That was a round two for the ages. Let's see how you did. You deliberately would not vote for me. I get it. Aww. No, I, I voted for you that round. Mm -hmm. And she's saying she like, wasn't influenced by Bella. She thought it was truly the best answer because she thought you did the other one. Each of you will be sent a prompt that requires three separate responses. Oh one boy. of you wasn't paying attention. The rip yeah. Did you use my brain? Mm hmm. Oh, God. Okay, For someone who has a lot of poop jokes, I drew a blank. All right, choose your favorite. A lot of these are like, yes, this makes sense. Why don't we have all of those things? And then some just make my brain giggle. Both are solid. Fuck. I gotta vote for flying cats. Very excellent. I thought we were supposed to stick to poop joke. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I would I would pay for all of those things. Lost oh god. <laughs> Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. <laughs> I gotta go with the yeah, solid. Poor Tina is probably always shunned because her Three name doesn't start with a K. You should never leave in someone's bathroom. Yeah, aw. Oh, you no. did well with it. Time to pick the one you like best. I feel like the uh, the thing is happening again, where you can probably tragedy, tell which one is mine the by the length scores. of the the entries, <laughs> the number of characters. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. Nice. She's streaming. That's fucking. Yeah. Fake. <laughs> Streamer damage. <laughs> it's fixed. It's fixed. <sighs> I'm gonna bask in it, regardless. Do we have any late joiners that want to go? I don't know. Host advantage? Yeah. Listen. Alright, I'm gonna click new players instead of same players. That way, uh, if anyone wants to join, I'll give them a window to do so. Are you gonna do Quiplash again or a different game? We'll do one, one more round of Quiplash. Okay. W X Q. X Q. Oh, 
I'll be the same little one. Or maybe I'll be this one this time. That one's cute. Adorable. I picked the derpier one. <laughs> Which one goes with my color scheme? I don't even really go with my color scheme that much. They do make little fart noises. It's pretty ridiculous. Not Travolta. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not a lie. Of course not. No. <laughs> I mean, you're just being honest. Exactly. You know, <laughs> honesty gets you everything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how all all the Jackbox games are supposed to be played. Just as honest as possible. Alright, last call. Say something in chat or something if you're trying to get in. Also, I hit count. Be dirty, queen. We can take it. <laughs> yeah. You can be dirty with NTOS. I believe in you. Oh yeah, also, yeah, what do you guys think of the, the whole gloriousness of this uh, amazing cat jacket? I love that jacket. I love everything about that jacket. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm clicking everyone's in. Go for it. It's just cats, cats, cats. It's amazing. It's also now my like good luck cat health jacket because I would wear it to the vet as like a lucky jacket because it's like full of cats. And so far, all my cats and are still alive. So I think I think it works. The importance of being stupid. <laughs> I'm Schmitty, and oh, I'll be this is my rant. Excellent. <laughs> someone will probably talk over. Oh shit! He just called us all okay, out for that. Wow. Round one. Oh yes, points. You score points based on the percentage of voters who like your answers. Clear enough? Sure hope so. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Oh no, I could be so... Oh, I thought of a horrible one, but I'm not going to type that one. Hmm. Oh, all I can think of is horrible, horrible things. Oh no. I mean, uh... you're an amazing person. <laughs> Not my most clever round. <laughs> oh no. I didn't know that there were two prompts and I just like completely phoned in the second one. And time's up. There were so many say, horrible options for for the one I did, and I'm gonna have to Let's tell you guys how restrained I was for this one. Fool me once, shame on well, you. when it comes up. Price, <laughs> okay. <Choose a plan. laughs> I love it. I tried clicking on the stream video like an idiot. I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that almost every single time. It's good stuff. Damn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. First question. It was a solid answer, it but is. I had to go with the funnier the one. Mm -hmm. The best marketing slogan for your butt. All right, people, it's voting time. That got a genuine guffaw. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
Okay, there were so many every marketing slogan I could think of. Like, when you're here, you're family. Uh, have it your way. There's just, there were so many horrible options that I couldn't pick. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. That's another solid one. Very excellent. <laughs> All right, check this out. The secret thing cats do when we're not looking. <laughs> All right, vote for the one Aww. you like best. I like to be even more adorable because that's the truest one. I mean, they're both true, but I like that one better. <laughs> That I was the one I, <laughs> I absolutely phoned in because there were like 14 seconds left. Oh, because I had decision paralysis friends, on the first one. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make oh, it blank. <laughs> what in the? Now it's time to vote for your <laughs> That was pretty excellent. Oh man, we have like we have like. The stream channel and stream discord memes. This is so good. Surprise, memes Shrek hasn't prepared. popped up I in know, these answers say, yet. I'm so glad there's a the meme besides Shrek. We should Thank add God. To the US. Cat hair. Oh no! Oh! That's oh, okay, I win by default. That's hmm? the best kind of winning. I would have voted for you. Yeah, I feel like... State of denial is perfect. Doors. Pretty good, yeah. Very solid. Very nice. See, where's the where's the streamer advantage now, guys? All Welcome these have been uh, completely uh, on his game. Not over the yet. Points are doubled and the pressure <laughs> right. on. I'm gonna get it again. I'm coming for y'all. Hmm. I feel like this is the most obvious answer, but I mean, it has to. Hmm. What a weird question, huh? Are you getting pandering to the crowd? Yeah, I absolutely was. <laughs> lick bots, always lick bots. They do. It's ridiculous. Every I feel like every time I try to take a cute picture okay, of them, they'll be cute for two for seconds, and then next. they'll immediately start licking their butt. It's absurd. Starting off, a new casino game. You're definitely going to lose mm -hmm. money on. <laughs> Have at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's funny because I feel like I feel like some of these would win with uh I feel you know how like different circles have different types of humor and stuff? I know yes. circles that other answers would win in. <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh boy. Okay, everybody, pick oh. your favorite quip. Oh, man. Both of these are really solid. I hope not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, bonus Let's points to Amanda going. for that one. That was solid. Phrase for a haunted <laughs> toilet. I hope oh, not. Oh, no, you hope not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now it gets real. Pick your favorite. <laughs> that 
That was one where I was like, and here we have somebody else is absolutely going to say really this. should cancel high school gym class and replace it with blank. <laughs> wow. And now one is funny, but one is like the realest of fucking real. Oh shit, my headphones are dying. Where am I? Isn't that what high school is? It's not very good. I don't know. I mean, both of those. <laughs> She's just... Oh, I didn't yeah, learn I how like to function yours. as a human. Yeah, me neither. All right, check oh, this out. If you guys say anything, if there were a ball Olympics, the most dangerous sport would be blank. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus okay, Christ! Choose your favorite. <laughs> no memes. <laughs> Solid split, that's good. Let's see the next one. A country is only as strong oh as it's blank. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Time to pick the one you like best. <laughs> I know which one Harry wrote. <laughs> there you go. Honestly. I want cheese. I need to get some cheese. I went to the well, farmer's market two, and I didn't have cheese there, really which makes flies, sense, huh? but Let's I need to get scores. cheese. I love cheese. Me too. Cheese is the best. I'm not see? last! See? Where's the streamer advantage? And now Next one. Oh shit. I forgot there's three rounds. Chance to make <laughs> your mark. I'm going to send each of you a prompt that requires three separate responses. What? You got this. Bitch, what are you doing? Thumbelina. Thumbelina! You were crazy. Oh no. Oh god, this is a interesting one. Hmm. Tick-tock, time's almost up. I can't think of one. Uh... Hmm. Right, this one is not very good. It. Two are okay, but one is not very good. Three things you should never Life is difficult. I ran, a, ran out of steam halfway through my... Yeah. Jesus, both of these are good. My, my favorite part of all Jackbox games is how, like, sometimes both answers are good in entirely different humor genres. It's excellent. <laughs> Very excellent. <laughs> the three things every oh, no. orgy has. Cell phones, Mogwise, and your mom. <laughs> Honestly. Oh my no, god, check to on DVD. Wow, amazing. I'm doing it for the memes. I'm wow, sorry. I'm doing <laughs> it for the memes. But, hey, I would have voted for yours, but I had to do it for the meme. Listen, Shrek is life. That's what you get for not following the stream. That could either be for a dog mm -hmm. or an adult toy. <laughs> Max two oh, fucking killed me. <laughs> oh wow. That's good. Even split. 
Yeah, Charlie, I don't even know what I was doing with the third one. I thought the first two were solid, but you I literally it. couldn't think now of another name for dogs in time. Scores. Other than, like, really cheesy ones that people, like, complain about on the Name Nerds subreddit. Damn! What a comeback! Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Home stream advantage! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Y'all wanna do another round or play a different game? Play a different game. I like switching it up. So there was do you the, wanna class, do... There was the lying one and then there was the product placement one? I haven't played the lying one in a bit. I'm down to do any of them. I like a lot of games. Let's do the lying one because okay. I know there's a new edition with the most recent. Ooh, excellent. Alright. Oops, I scrolled down. You were very funny. Dishonest. You you absolutely crushed it. Oh my god, that guy's bald head startled me. That's very scary. Oh man, this is the one with I've played this one before and this one was difficult. The uh that roommate one was brutal. Okay, yeah, we should definitely play one normal and then fibbage enough about you, I think. I don't know who Gravitrax, we'll find out. I can't remember. I know I've played it before, but I forget. Oh, I should join the room. I'm dumb. Fry sounds like, um, something that people would name there. Like, some thinking that they're creative, but they're actually not. And Junktopia, I do like Junktopia, but it's not the product design one. It's more like a salesmanship of like the items you get one, which is also fun. I do like that one, but I think I like the um, the product design. <laughs> it just gets so stupid, which is great. It gets stupid in the best ways. I'm excited to try it. Like the what only ones I've really played are Fibbage and Drawful. Mm. I do like Drawful also. Alright. Everybody in? Patently stupid, yeah, dishonest. That's the one I want to play. Last yes. call. I can't type. Call. Junktopia is a VC must though. That's very delivery based. That's how the product placement one is. They can they can the product the product design, the patently stupid one. Um I don't know why I said product placement. Product design is what I meant. They can do the pitch for you, but I feel like I have a lot of fun doing the pitch. Which is wild, because in real life, I fucking hate selling things. I hate anything in that line. I hate selling myself, I hate selling products, I hate everything. But in this game, it's really fun. Alright, I've clicked the button! <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> I'm Cookie, and I've eaten nothing but baked beans today. So oh my I'm god. Three minutes before, well, let's just hop to it. Looking at you all reminds me of what my mother used to say. You're not very bright, Cookie, but no one is a louder bowler than you. <laughs> and if you're stuck on the sidelines, why not join the audience? Audience members earn their own points by fooling the players. Let's play. Okay. That's ridiculous. This is round one, and that means you earn 500 points for every player you fool, and you'll score 1,000 for final. Oh, uh oh, let me turn it up. All right, choose a category. Is that better, Grab Tracks? That's me. All right, question one. Not what you'd expect. 
A YouTuber oh, okay. by the name of Kawami Japan made an engagement ring from. I'm so oh, sorry. Okay. Now, use your device to put in a lie that the other players might think is the truth. Mm -hmm. If you just can't come up with anything, use the lie for me button to get a suggestion for half the points. Get to it. Okay, good. <clears throat> Yeah, I just took off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the choices. Guess the truth on your device now. Mm. Oh, God. There's some horrible ones. Why? Yeah. He has a really good YouTube channel. <laughs> <you know>, <laughs> I haven't seen his YouTube channel. Is he unless he's the guy that makes knives? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Damn. The Japanese vlogger Beautiful. collected a year's worth of fingernail so clippings, compressed them into I've a seen all of his videos. <laughs> and the stone to set into a I've seen a good ring. chunk of them. Well, I, I, they're they're good stuff, yes. but I have not seen that one. Horrifying. You now I know what's getting pretty for Christmas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll stop collecting. Yep. Now's the time. Hmm. Here. It just floats through the air and attaches to my face. <laughs> oh, forget it. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Florida man Brian Raymond, a resident of Fort Myers, took matters into his own hands when he filled an infamous pothole with blank. Mm -hmm. All right. Type in your lies. I'm so glad that the shrieks are funny because they're like and they're programmed in at like a base level of my existence and I have tried to get rid of them and can't. Hmm. Shoebill store pet on a cat, right? That's fucking excellent. Yes. Okay, these mm -hmm. are the choices. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tough choice. Yeah, this is rough. Also, I really like the color changing background of this. Maybe I should make the background of my stream color changing. I made like the color changing wavy stripes, but maybe Let's I should, what you picked. instead of the stripes being wavy, maybe it should be the whole thing should change colors. Oh man. That was a good lie. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that was <laughs> a good lie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is a banana oh. tree in a road better than a hole? I certainly find it more appealing. Okay. 
Wow. I'm peeling off. Wow. <laughs> Good grief. I'm glad two people like my dildos. It's very solid. <laughs> Time to rewind and be unkind. And those you do want to be solid, so. I feel valid in saying that. <laughs> oh, crap tracks. Focus up. Hi, Mr. Davis. Did you fix the lamp? Oh, don't worry about that. It'll live. Hey, what's with the speech? You going on TV? Well, I'm giving a talk to the payroll savings canvases at Treadway Iron and Steel, you know. You can make a fine speech. All you need is to be sincere. Oh. You sound just like that electrician. This poor man finally gets help with his payroll savings speech from an mm. unlikely source. He is given some advice by blank. Submit your lies now. This is such a obscure one. Hmm. This one is hard. I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> Time to seek the truth. <laughs> the <customers. laughs> oh man, all these are solid. I'm just dying at the ghost of Christmas past from the future. I was thinking of <laughs> doing something like that. <laughs> Logic. <laughs> Love your diabolical laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to click that. <laughs> How's it sound so far? Oh, this was a guess. Pretty bad. Oh my god! Oh, he's from Mr. Ed! Got it. Jesus Christ. That's I know crazy. I've seen Mr. Ed as a kid, because I my mom has referenced it, I feel like, but I don't remember it, and that looks terrifying. Jesus. <laughs> it was scary, man. I love the dancing fish in sweatpants. Ready for round two, Those look like comfy sweatpants, too. Ooh. Hey, it matches my stream color All right, choose a category. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing at the name. I like how many things become memes from a yes. stream. It's good stuff. Ooh. How about this? It's a bird! It's a plane! It's... DC Comics character Floyd Belkin, who is the alter ego of the unpopular superhero Blank Boy. Write your lies now. Hmm. <laughs> I have a good one, I think. <laughs> oh no. I have to say, the trivia in this edition is much harder than the previous edi edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these are tricky. I think I just, uh, maybe I'm tipsy, but I think uh, I'm winging it with this one, but I think I got a good one. <laughs> maybe it's only funny to me. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm normally pretty good at picking out the truth. Yeah? I'm not. The horse one was a fluke. Now, which one's the truth? All of these. <laughs> All of these are terrible. Why can't I pick a best one? <laughs> oh god, all these are so good. Hmm. I am doing that one. I don't care. I know I don't care if it's wrong, it's good. Let's see how it shook out. Yes. <laughs> nice. 
Fish boy and lava girl? <laughs> Good grief. Bloody better be. Please, that's the truth? That's the truth?! What of the course, fuck? of course. Nice I actually know this. It's unarmed. ridiculous. Bro, that I thought one of you guys was. You know how it's like kind of like anti humorish? Where it's just kind of yeah. dumb? That sounded like a joke that one of us would make. That's a real ass you thing. Know, just because you're dead doesn't mean you stop. I don't know if I like it less or more now. I can't decide. <laughs> Good shit. Good stuff, when right. he was 25, Julius Caesar was kidnapped by pirates. During his time in captivity, he forced the pirates to increase his ransom, keep quiet while he slept, and flank. Okay, enter those lies. This is good. That sounds really cool. Hmm. Have any of you guys had um, chartreuse, the liquor chartreuse before? Never mind, okay, we can focus on find this. The truth. Oh, Jesus. Everybody pick. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, I guess we should. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh man. Very nice. Oh. Come on. Has to be. Damn. I'm pretty sure that's what the whole bit in Hitchhiker's Guide was based off of. <laughs> mm. I probably should have spotted that. <laughs> yes, disappointed. Give me a category. Oh, you know what I just realized? I haven't updated like the title of my stream because it wasn't letting me do it in OBS. It still says stuff that is not relevant anymore. Let's see what we get. I always had to do it manually through Twitch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. In 2020, a woman named Amethyst Realm called off her engagement to Ray, who was a blank. Enter your lies now. I wasn't sure whether it was gonna be or that I would have already had enough time to go down and make uh, a drink with Stray Trace in it. But I think I would have if I was really fast. If I had just gone when I finished entering the uh, thing. Go down and grab the ingredients. Okay, Ooh, which smart. one's true? Hmm. Oh boy. Feel like I know this one. I don't, but I'm hoping that the, my guess is correct. Moment of truth. I had no idea on that one. Thank you. <laughs> nice.
Legit. Do it. Yeah. Gotta be it. That's what I was thinking. It has to be, right? Yeah. She called off the wedding with we Ray, who is a ghost, after a recent trip where he it. kept disappearing. Major oh red god. flag. I guess you could say he ghosted her. Oh my god! Uh, get out of here. Kick her. I need to make a timeout channel in here and drag <laughs> people into it. Oh, except you got the video. She's immune to that. This is the final finish. Host it's advantage. Question, and I'm giving out triple <laughs> points. Have fun. Okay. Mm. In 2022, West Bengali students in Durgapur were found to have become addicted to blank. And to test his hypothesis on himself, in 1802, Stubbins Firth sat in a sauna of blank. Now you're gonna write one lie that sounds like it might fit oh, in no. of these two blanks. Okay. That's double the chance to fool your fellow players. Or if your lie gets picked for both <laughs> blanks, tell you what, I'll throw in a bonus. Mm. Sound good? Don't worry, I'll put a little extra time on the clock. Phew, thank God. Damn, y'all picked one already? Jesus, okay. <laughs> I should probably think longer about my lies, but when inspiration no. hits, I can't stop. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty solid, yeah. Alright. This game is all about being spontaneous. Share some inspiration? I don't... Oh god. You've used half of your time if you care about that sort of thing. What a nice. I have nothing. Oh, I could have clicked quick buy for me. No, that's... Okay, these are the choices. Oh, God. Our two questions have two different truths. First, let's take care of this one. Select the truth for just this question now. I don't know if... I'm so concerned. Second guessing myself. Yes, yeah, and condoms even a thing question. in 1802. Pick the truth for just this question now. There's some cursed answers here. <laughs> yes. I like the variety we have with piss and urine. It's good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> One of them has to be right, right? Could be. Right? I would think so. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. I hate you so Nicely much. Done. She put the scientific answer to trick us. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Real layers to this one. That's worth a bonus. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, the ones that are left are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I also use a scientific name for poop. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. No! Please, no! no! What? That's not a real thing! What is what? condom juice? What is wrong with people? Because there's a different name for that. Do they there are different names for what Stubbins that could be? Injected black vomit into his cuticles and eyes. But or I guess it's the combination of condom students, lube and did not steep it in water oh, to make oh, that's awful. But I was thinking that can't be an answer. That's a joke answer because there are names for both the things it could possibly be, and it's not condom juice. I am so upset that that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. My brain has that in it forever now. Congratulations, Zaros. <laughs> I'm still scarred by this thank knowledge. You, you. Jesus. 
We should do again or different game. We should do the fibbage, uh, the the second kind of fibbage. The, the second like, kind of fibbage. Enough about uh, you or f enough about you, whatever it was. I'm am so, so distressed. Man. What is calling him juice? I gotta Google I'm this. Terrified. Yeah, on, on that note with the condom juice, I need to go cook some food, and okay. that's making it hard. Because you're looking thing works condom juice. Flavored condoms. Flavored condoms and soaked in water for a long time are known to release hydrocarbons and alcohol oh. similar to those found in glue. Oh, it's just, Please. like, fucked no. up chemicals. It's forever chemicals. Okay, so it's not the things that I thought it was. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you guys that's, later. Thank like, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the condom like, juice made you hungry, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking excellent. Uh, okay. Oh, feel free to change. It works best to use your own name. No, I am gonna use my name. What? Say otherwise. What do I want to be? I want to be the cat with the death belt. No, I'll be the little hermit crab thing. What are the things that you thought it was? I thought it was either like a lubricated condom, so like the lube in the condom, or I thought it was. Can I say come on Twitch? I don't know. I thought it was that. <laughs> <laughs> come on Twitch! <laughs> yeah! Hey! That was that was a good one, Amanda. Actually, while we're doing this, I'm gonna go grab- I'm gonna make a chartreuse drink really quick. Here. I will also be RB.
Jesus Christ. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. That's, what, that's what's fun about... There's gonna be so much Shrek. Oh no. <laughs> this will be enough for anyone we aren't familiar with. I've never played this version of the live out ourselves. I mean, literal condom soup. Yep! Yeah! So you have to suss truths about your friends, but like if you don't know someone, you're just guessing. We've been attending streams together for a while. Gonna be so much Shrek. No! That's true. Good stuff. Alright. Hopefully everybody's had enough time to join. It was it was a break. If anyone Grab wanted in, they should have joined by now. Did say BRB, but I don't see him back in here. Grab a tracks, are you joining? Oh he says wait. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I said something. Mm-hmm. I thought we lost more than Harry. Okay. I made a cilantro garnish. And I muddled a little cilantro mm. in this, but my garnish is not behaving properly. Okay, now it's making it. Someday I'm actually gonna make a cilantro salad, like that's all cilantro yes! and onion. Yes! That's... With like a, a lime juice that's... vinaigrette. Oh my god, you are speaking to my soul right now because I literally do that. <laughs> It's, it's the stuff that they put on street tacos. It's amazing. It's yeah. so good. Yes. Amanda, moment after my own heart. <laughs> Here's to you. Did I tell you one time I made a cilantro lime jalapeno tequila sorbet? I, I let the oh tequila my sit so the alcohol evaporated off of it, and so it was just the flavor. And so then I combined all that with a little bit of just a tiny bit of jalapeno so it wasn't like so that people who are bitches can eat it, basically. Um, <laughs> and then you finish it with sea salt and it's so fucking good. It's one of the best mm. things. I gotta make that sorbet again. It was really good. Okay, we're all in. Yay! Soap right, salad? Start in the oh no, dishonest. Are you one of the people who have the bad cilantro gene? You have the curse? I'm so sad for you. I'm very sad for her too. You lead a cursed existence. Without Welcome the crisp freshness of cilantro. You provide the personal truths. Your friends provide the... I learned that it's technically genetic, and hey, apparently no one in my family people. has the cilantro oh, yummy gene, right, so I don't know how I have the cilantro so yummy gene. Wow, what a fucking good blessing okay, that is, though. You can still right? Congratulations, yeah. Well, actually, me and my brother both have cilantro yummy, but both my mom and my dad have cilantro soap gene. Huh. You guys got lucky mutations. Very, we very both lucky. got switched at birth. Oh, you love coriander, <laughs> but you can taste what they mean. Works. Interesting. You're gonna see a question about right. yourself on your device. Just answer mm. as honestly as possible. Okay. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and one of the questions about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Mm, got okay. all that? Good. <laughs> Submit your honest answer. What the fuck? Literally nothing. I feel like this could almost be like a dating game now. This- this answer has layers. <laughs> <laughs> like nachos? Gone, parfaits? Oh, parfaits nachos. have layers. And I want parfaits now. Onions oh, have layers. I could go eat an onion. I got some onions at the farmer's market. It was very good. I got some fancy blue eggs there too. I haven't used okay, them yet though. Listen I'm gonna up. try them. One special thing about this player's hometown oh, is God. blank. Submit your lies now. You actually do know someone who eats onions like apples? No, I actually slice them up and then I put salt on them and eat them like chips. 
Also, does anybody even know what my hometown is? Number one. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yeah, onion is delicious. I feel like I've Trader really Joe's has onion there. chips and they're amazing. Really? They're like the they're almost like funyuns, but they're made with real onion. Oh my god, I would like I would crush those. They're like freeze dried onions, not like uh, the French's go. French fried onions, Incredible. but like puffier. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm going for the meme answer. Come on, show me what you picked. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Nicely done. Oh, mm -hmm. I feel like we've You're from about the this South? Before. No, I'm from Fresno, which is like the south of California, basically. Oh, touche. Mm -hmm. Whoever did the over the oversaturated school colors, a fucking plus. That was good shit. <laughs> good callback. Try I like this that. One precise. <laughs> this player's perfect night in always features mm. blank. Write your lies now. <laughs> hmm. You love onion, but you don't know if you could eat it by itself? That's tragic, you haven't had good onion. I- actually? No, I think I could eat onion by myself. I just prefer it with salt. I think it's good. Yeah. No doxing. <laughs> Alright, pick the truth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of these are solid. Y'all know me that well <laughs> from just following me on streams. <laughs> oh man. You have a presence, you okay, have a vibe. How do we do? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Good try, Zaros. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Ah, here's a good one. If you're dating, this player would do anything for their love, but they won't mm. blink. Okay, enter those lies. This is tough, yeah. I, I'm going for... I'm not going to give away my answer. Spot oh, no. the truth. <laughs> to that is a good answer. That's pretty funny. Where's the condom juice answer? Oh god. Alright, who picked That's gonna be the worst meme. Solid lie. I believed it. Ooh! Mm hmm. Wow. Oh, okay. oh Jackpot's got two lies? Yeah. And you all missed it. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Val. I know. Yeah, uh huh. Nusha, you match my jacket. Nusha and I are color coordinated. Try this one. Pretty big. Oh, one. kitty. A childhood book this player read oh, more than once mm. is blank. All right, type in your lies. I feel like my answers are getting dumber as time goes on. What do you see on the screen, Nusha? She looks like she's curious about what's happening. <laughs> you, <laughs> you almost bet I'm sucked. Oh, it was my hand, Nusha. I shrieked and then I touched her paw with my thumb and she there got all go. startled. Find Aww. the truth. Hmm. It's true. Yeah, okay, so there's in-game points and then there's there's like flex points, I Moments feel like. Of truth. <laughs> I didn't know that was a book. I don't think it is. <laughs> That's why it was a dumb meme answer. Uh Good stuff, Zaros. I was just memeing. Damn, what a good Jackbox line. Believe it or not. Valid. You a millennial too? Cavatrix? Now listen up. If this player met an oh alien, my gosh. the item they would gift to sell them on humanity would be... I don't remember what I answered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Uh... Hmm. Mm. I remember now. I think this is the first time she's sat um, with me when I've been wearing this jacket, and I've gotten to see how well she color coordinates with it. She's got all the colors that are on all the cats in the jacket. It's pretty excellent. Come on now, let's get truthy. This <laughs> is Matt's baby toy sign emoji. Oh my god, all these fucking Christ. See what you picked. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a good lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do it for the memes. Amazing. Look who's so oh, smart and fancy. I mean, is also so smart and fancy. Both you guys are so smart and fancy. Hi, what are you doing? The do the other one, same game. The another one. I feel like two yeah. two rounds of each is is good. Yeah, Zara's always ends up slaying. He's a funny dude. All right. I tried to memorize which, where each one was located before I got too drunk. <laughs> Smart thinking. <laughs> Solid planning. What are you doing, little munchkin? Oh my goodness. Zeepledome is the one that sucks. Madverse City is also good. Split the Room was interesting. I liked it. It's tough, though. It's difficult. Apparently stupid, I love. Oh, I gotta get the tablet outfit. Oh, 
Oh no. Wait, I oh, I this. hated this one. You hated this one? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's so know. good. This is my favorite one. I don't know what's wrong I with know you. It is. <laughs> it's so good. Don't update my browser settings. So the only problem is I have to join using Microsoft Edge because that's my tablet doesn't work in Firefox. Jackbox TV. Oh, we haven't loaded the room yet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's still loading. Yeah, good stuff. God, Nusha sheds so fucking. Apparently, much. my computer is upset with me. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. It was dropping frames a little bit. Just a wee bit. A little laggy. Oh, Nusha, what is your deal? Why are you scared of my hand? Do you not like my nail art? What is wrong with you? She keeps getting startled when I touch her with my nails. Why? Okay. It's gonna be the funniest thing ever if uh, it can't load this game. I mean, it wouldn't be funny. I would also cry many tears, but but it would be funny because I uh, you don't have to talk in this one, but you can. The you can tell it to sell it for you. But I like I like doing caramel the latte also. for the baby who can't handle real coffee. Yes, I'm the baby. Here you go. I'm Have the baby day. who can't handle real coffee. I'm the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to know what happens when you call that number. My number? Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Bottom right, need cash. How bad? Would you burn down my dad's house? <laughs> uh -huh. I need someone to call that number. I googled it. Belongs to Margot Frost. Why does this seem like an actual human phone number? I don't know, but I, I screenshotted it and put it in general, just just in case, for later. Very smart. Yeah, because I definitely want I'm, I'm curious about that now. I thought I was going to Google it and it would come up with people being like, Oh yeah, this is like a phone number for Jackbox or something. Mm -hmm. But no. Cafe Zarus? Mocha and a glazed donut for Innis. Cafe mm -hmm. Mocha and a glazed donut for Innis. Oh, that threw me off for a second. How many people do we have? <laughs> Five, I, I think this is all of us. I think this is all of us. Nice. Oh, you're on it, Graph Charts? What does the phone number do? <laughs> it's a voice. I gotta message, see. Not anything special. Ah, oh, okay. Anything funny? Oh, it just refers to oh. the Jackbox website. Okay. That's cute, though, I guess. Alright, let's roll. Large Americano for Albert. I'm so hyped. I'm gonna draw on your face with this tablet pen. Hello, welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, God, I forgot about we that. are about to change Lena. your lives. That's right, Lena. I'm looking at like five like lucky people with amazing futures Please ahead of them. Lena. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple, by unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. <laughs> now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market research. On your device, you're going to receive two so fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it. Okay. I 
pretty sure there's cat hair stuck on it. Oh yeah, it was on my filter ring. On everything? Yeah. Nusha sheds so much. We're halfway there. She's a sweet, lovable baby, but she sheds like a motherfucker. It's cursed. My drink is up here. So I used some raw honey from the farmer's market in this, and it didn't really dissolve very well. Maybe that's the difference between raw honey and regular honey. It's not filtered, so there's little bits. Interesting. How does it Take taste, though? Time's running out. The honey tasted fucking delicious. The drink also tastes delicious. Um, but that honey was... It was the priciest thing I bought at the farmer's market. It was like my little indulgence for the day. Um... But it's good. I now can see look why at your it's... device. You've got oh somebody else's okay. problems. Been there. Simply mm. pick the one you want to solve. We're halfway home. This is excellent. Fantastic. Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This, Ooh, this is might the be pivotal tough, moment I think where I have you to bring drag... your designs to life using nothing but a pen I have and to drag paper. The window over but and we ran be able out of paper, so you'll have to screen. use some cocktail napkins. Uh -oh. And don't forget to spice it up with a little color. Maybe I'll make I'll I'll turn off the the display while I while I do the thing. Oh shit! Why is it still there? Oh, there we go. Oh god, it's, time is going by. We're halfway home! Hey, let's wrap those drawings up. Oh, good grief. You are all naturals. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people say, take all my money, take it right now. Let's go. Way there. I like the pop up tips. You like the what? The pop up tips? The yeah, pop up nice. tips. Mm -hmm. Someone will probably do worse than you. This is Quick probably not away. the strongest one stopped. of these that I've done, but I'm still, I think it'll be fun. Uh, we'll see. Great! Now, each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. You can exactly, pop in chat to sell this if you now, want to sell it yourself. See those inventions. I'll drag you in. I'll drag either of you guys in. It's up to you. We got this covered. Hey, Tobes, 
seems as if you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I just wish I could get back my this. That is a problem. <laughs> but I think I've got just what you need. It's just a little thing called... Oh, yeah, that sounds oh my great. God. But what does it look like? Incredible. Glad you asked. Take a look at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. Beautiful. This looks great, Lena, but without a tagline, I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this. Beautiful! Darn straight. <laughs> and that's how it's done, everybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Are you tired of getting attacked by birds every single day? Well, I have a solution for you. Anti-avian drones. With a fleet of drones following your every movement, birds will be a thing of the past. Everywhere, there will be no more birds ever again. Clear skies and sunny days forever. Please buy our product. I can't go two feet without running into this. Well, I've got the fix. <laughs> Just call it. I'm excited already. Let's see it. Ready? Take a look. Well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. <laughs> now Wait, show me that oh, sweet, there we go. sweet tagline. <laughs> Here it is. Hell yes. And scene. This is excellent. You stayed within TOS? Perfect. I just want to feel more comfortable <laughs> this way. Well, I've got the fix. I'd like to call it. I gotta see this. No. Take a look. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> no. This is a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And scene. No! <laughs> oh, there needs to be a timeout channel. There needs to be a timeout channel <laughs> so bad. My friends don't, don't have the mental fortitude to present my own. <laughs> well, I've got a solution. It's simply called. <laughs> That's it. I mean, oh my yay. god. Take a gander. A plus. Oh my Whoa. god. Okay, lay that sweet, sweet tagline on me. <laughs> Get ready. And scene. Where did you get this picture of my life? <laughs> Great so job, weird, everyone. Dang. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Ooh. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Got all that? Good. Let's go. Ah, hmm. uh, man. I feel like there's a few that are tied. Great. Now let's see which inventions got people excited. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Interesting. Sorry, Charlie. Horrible. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> well done. Excellent. Ooh, a swing and a miss. That's fair. I knew this was one of my worst. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Really? My heart hurts. This one definitely deserves <laughs> it. Way to yeah, go. That's solid. Very solid. Surprise, surprise, the hair toilet fit. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Okay, for the final round, oh, let's switch it up that. a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. Was it like this before? Dun, dun, dun. I didn't remember. We're going to give you more money to invest, but huh. now, there's a higher fund.
standing bar to clear. Good luck. I think I'm going to die. And who should choose that final problem? How about you? Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. Oh boy. There you go, Zaros. Our fate is in your hands. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. If it sucks, we're all blaming you and we'll never forgive you. Ever. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, you all know the drill. Let's draw. Okay. We're halfway there. Okay. Did I submit it? Did Only I get a few submit? seconds yes, left to draw. Okay, let's make those titles and taglines. for one of these, but I didn't know. to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. All right, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. I find it Sorry, very no, dangerous to do <laughs> this. Then I've got the perfect solution. I call it Show me those speed art skills. Let me show you. I feel like this is too mosquito. Now don't screw it up with some lame tagline. Here we go. In game. And that's how it's done, In everybody. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Why does that gun look like a dick? Oh no, man. Oh my gosh. Hello. So um. If life gets too dangerous, uh, it's just a gun. Oh my okay? god! Find a copper, do it yourself. Several ways to play. It's just a gun. Great minds think alike. I'm you for copyright infringement. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's me. Okay. Do you find living to be incredibly dangerous? Well, guess what? of a phone? Just curl up in a blanket, in a comfy chair. The world isn't real, everything is fine. A phone. Everything is fine. I 
find it very dangerous to do this. Well, I've got a plate full of fixin' for you. It's called... What's it look like? <laughs> well, take a look, silly. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> <laughs> I like that things were very thematically similar all the way across. It's very, very solid. I find it very dangerous to do this. Well, I've got a solution. Just call it. You've got my interest. <laughs> <laughs> well, looky here. Wowee. Tagline oh. time. Well, you're in luck. And seen. Trouble living? Not anymore. How am I supposed to now pick? Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's break the face, <laughs> shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, Ooh. but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. Clearly, we have all we all have issues. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> hmm. Gosh, I don't know. That's half your time. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. No. Nice. Way to go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she in. Yeah. Thanks for your support, guys. Close, but no cigar. I'm sorry your dick gun failed, Zaros. It's okay. <laughs> Nailed it. That's it. Oh! I feel like this happened last time we played too. Did it? Went from first in the first now round to last news. in the second. You might have missed the print on the flyer Listen, that I'm grants us the rights to any and all inventions created what here today. Do? Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. So, did you guys like that one or hate it? Because. This game is good? Yes! Another person who likes it. Fuck yeah. I enjoyed it, but it's difficult. It is. I also need to uh, disconnect and reconnect Discord right quick. Okay. I am so glad that uh, other people like this game, because I think this is one of my favorites. How do I play right. <laughs> you wanna play again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like my tolerance level for a lot of the games is like probably like two like a one game and then a repeat. Um so this game I'm definitely down for repeat for sure. Yeah. Wait, you're back? What do we do? Just stick to the script, I guess. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, Lena. Yeah. That's I'm gonna right, talk Lena. Like that on I'm looking at five the lucky people with amazing futures ahead of them. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, Maybe let's I get down to brass tacks. How no, are we going Are to you? make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, <laughs> the doors are securely locked. So Kicking them can only injure you. So let's get to it. Oh shit, I forgot this one. Hmm. These prompts are either going to go well or over like a lead balloon. I'm not sure. But bless you, Butter, why are you sneezing? Illegal. 
Where's the other cats? Thumbelina and Misha are missing. Missing? Or having shenanigans? Having shenanigans. Undoubtedly. No hurry, but that's having half your time. They're ridiculous. Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. <laughs> Simply pick the one you want to solve. Oh no. I don't know. How am I gonna solve this? Let's draw. I just like it. Oh god, okay. This is not a TOS. That's half your time. I love the inspirational quote. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get a move on, folks. Time's oh almost god, over. Oh god, oh god. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, everything's fine. I clicked it in time. Okay, time for titles and taglines. Oh god. Should I mix up the title and tagline? It's fine. Oh, no. Okay, you should be halfway done. those inventions oh god okay all right i got this have you ever wanted to safely dismantle the establishment oh no <laughs> safely dismantle the establishment <laughs> safely dismantle the establishment well i have some good and bad news for you uh so oh wait Safety is a lie. There are opportunities everywhere. Just do what needs to be done. I can't believe I couldn't say words. Hi! Do you annoy people when you exist? Well, how about turning off your phone? The power button is right there. Dumbass. <laughs> this is all we want. This is good. <laughs> As I get older, I want more access to this. Then I've got something for you. It's simply called. Make my eye holes mm. happy already. Take a look, see. You don't get that in Quiplash. But it's all poopy without a tagline. Let's see it. One. And scene. I need one now. I'm worried because my <laughs> family needs more this. That's going around, <laughs> but there's a solution. I like it's true. It. It's an, an it's a it's a plague. Let's see that drawing. Let me show you. 
keep that toast. Now stick the landing with a tagline. Then take a gander here. And that's how it's done, everybody. God, if only. I would eat so much cheese. I don't know what I'm doing. I believe in you. So the prompt is, uh, I thought it said was, all I want is to be an MD. So, presenting now exclusive from Social Media Facebook University. You can gain exclusive knowledge pertaining to politics, uh, social media, social issues, public health, and all of the above, just by browsing Facebook. I'm sold. I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> and so oh, is I your mom. <laughs> I feel like great. I picked one now of these let's see which hungry. inventions are destined for greatness. Let's see how you did. So sad. Oh. Nailed it. Close, but no cigar. Oh. Good job. Everyone loves cheese. It's true. Maybe next time. Not everyone loves dismantling them. That's uh, it. What was I dismantling? Okay, hey, for the hey, final round, let's so, switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, oh you'll all tackle the same problem. Oh. <laughs> We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher oh, funding bar to clear. Good luck. In the Lena voice. And the honor of choosing that final problem <laughs> Why? goes to you. To be more cursed. Simply select the problem. Why does Zaras keep getting to fucking pick this shit? Bullshit. I don't know. I always start <laughs> strong and then it goes terribly. Did he get the most money for cheese? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why. Zara, stop crushing it first round. I'll try. Good choice. Oh, God. Hey, okay, you know what's next. Let's draw. Oh, yeah. We're at the halfway point. Oh, drawing time's almost oh done. Oh god! Okay, everything's fine. <sighs> I always get panicked and almost run out of time. It's very scary. Okay, let's make those your streams not sharing the screens. Oh yeah, I turn it off whenever I'm drawing because I have to drag the monitor over to the middle of the screen. Oops. Mm. What? Oh, okay. There we go. Now 
let's see those inventions. Oh my god, why me in this first again? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be in the Art Hall of Fame? Wait, I don't think I'm high pitched enough. <clears throat> Have you ever wanted to be in the Art Hall of Fame? Try money laundering. Almost all fine art is crime. <laughs> So you want to be in the Art Hall of Fame, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the plan is simple. What you're going to do is you're going to steal <laughs> your own art into the museum at night. <laughs> I love that we came to the same conclusion from a different direction. <laughs> I simply want to be the best at this. Well, I've got just the thing. I call it... Let's get artsy fartsy. Very Take nice. a gander. Nice. Let's bring it home with a tagline. Well, you're in luck. And scene. Amazing. I simply want to be the best at this. Well, I've got the solution. <laughs> Just call it. I'm with you. Let's see it. <laughs> Ready? Take a look. Ah, it hasn't loaded yet. Oh, no. Now wrap it up with a tagline. It hasn't Ready? loaded yet. Oh, there it is. And scene. <laughs> Very excellent. That's art. Oh, boy. Want to be in the Art Hall of Fame? <laughs> I present the Shrekinator. Simply draw more Shrek, and instantly you will be inducted into the Art Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! With exclusive Shrek prompts. Amazing. All right, gang. It's time to pick your favorite. I always get cat hair in my mouth when I laugh. It's a curse. How am I supposed to choose? These are all good. Oh, man. <laughs> Life is hard. <laughs> Ooh, a swing and a miss. The pep that's you comment? Cursed. Murder. That's how it's done. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, too bad. Bless. Good job. It's just true to life, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> of That's course. how it's done. Of course. That's it! Majestic. Nice. Fucking killed it. Congratulations. And once again, <laughs> your intellectual property is ours. You oh, do amazing. realize we're scamming you, right? See ya! Alright, I feel like I'm too tipsy to continue unless we do like a real dumb person game. I don't, and I don't know if there's a real dumb person game that I would qualify for. We'll see. If somebody suggests one, in like the next minute or so, I'm down for like one more round for my AZMK. That's almost. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a dumb person game. Okay. Two cats need a home. One of them is a person. Never mind. Just to let everyone know. We I do feel like oh, the rap battle one is good. And then there's another one in this module that is also good. I forget though. So there's one called Rumorang I've never played. That's a reality show that players take on roles oh, with a defining trait. That one's so mean. Uh, maybe it's fine with more people. We played it before, and I I feel like it was. 
more... Instead of picking who wins, you had to pick who lost. And that felt meaner. Uh, Which is like... Okay, so... Fine, second but... suggestion is mm -hmm. called Nonsensory, which is laid-back writing, drawing, and guessing game. Players must guess what percentage on a scale of 1 to 10 the, something about the drawing and related to the text prompt. Not or we good. could do Garlic Phone. <gasps> I kind of love Garlic Phone. Garlic Phone? Have yes, garlic, garlic Phone. phone? I would also eat a garlic phone, but garlic phone, it's kind of, it's like a drawing prompt game. Um, it's very good. I like it a lot, but I like drawing. Prompt I enjoyed games. it last time I played. Yeah. Do you guys want to play garlic phone? We can do a yeah. garlic phone. Yeah. They added a lot of new modes. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm extremely down. I don't know how to host the game, so I'll leave that up to you. Oh, okay. I can, uh... I don't know how to do that either. We'll figure it out. We'll see. Did I do it before? Did we play Garnic Phone before? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we have. Okay, let's see. Garnic Phone. Garnic Phone, the telephone game. Okay. No! Is it going to be loud? I'm so sorry. I don't know how to make it shut up. Oh, I clicked on it and that didn't help. Mute tab? Can I mute a tab? Oh, okay. Oh, skip ad. That's better. All right. Uh, I'll post an invite link in the stream chat. Also, be every like two seconds. No, twenty seconds. They added ads to the login thingy. Horrific. Everything has ads. It sucks. It's like that episode of Futurama where even your dreams have ads. Oh no. I wish I would get underwear ads, though. I need more of those. Right? Working on it. I've had an eye twitch all day. Yeah. And of course it goes away whenever you look in a mirror and try to see which part of your eye is twitching. What's compliment? Oh, you like you add on to it? Yeah. I did like compliment and normal. I think were my favorites. I think knockoff was stressful. Knock but off I enjoyed it. it. It gets worse. Your art gets worse as it goes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's me.
Yes, sorry, I'm muted. Are you joining Gravitrax? Thank you for letting me know because I would have left that muted for the entire time because I'm a genius. I wouldn't have known either. I have your yeah. stream muted so I don't hear W. Yeah. That, oh, now he's in here. Okay, so we're all set. Okay, so let's yeah, try it's, compliment, I think. It's super distracting to hear yourself Twice. talk when you talk yeah. and then again on the stream. It's the worst. It's super awful. Okay. So compliment sound good to everyone now? Yeah. All right, sure. let's do it. It's very fun, like, listening to you, though, Pep, and seeing your reactions, like, five seconds delayed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> good stuff. Hmm. I'm going in a different direction this time. Why can't I draw a straight fucking line? Wow, never mind. I'm going to stop trying to straight, trying to draw a straight line because it's a, a lost Get a cause. Ruler. Oh, no. Oh, Harry's back. Wait, are you in the game, Harry? He can join next round. Oh god! Uh, Harry, Harry, we're playing Gardic Phone now. It's a drawing game. But you can join next round. I think I'm too tipsy for this. My, my I, I can't even think so of good. how to draw. Oh no. Oh no, I suck at everything. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Um, okay. Oh no, this is probably the worst drawing. Drawing is freaking done. hard? Why do you do this? I don't know, <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I agree, this is the worst thing that I have ever drawn. <sighs> Just not very good at this. My brother's the artist, not me. It's I okay, I'm not an artist either. You guys are all gonna be the artists tonight and I'm gonna be the not. Is bad. Oh god. You need more drunken art streams. <laughs> yeah. If I could do drunken art streams in the the art app I use, I'd be better at it. This is cursed. Oh lord. Oh lord. Everything's fine. I'm gonna nail this. <gasps> no! Oh shit. Oh, I figured it out. Okay. Okay. Um, no, I don't want that. Is it running out of time? Oh god, it is running out of time. Oh no. Okay. The fuck? Oh, this is cursed. Oh no. <laughs> Everything bad. I can do this. Thank God for whoever drew this one. <laughs> no! I already what is this? Bless whoever did this. Just save my freaking soul. Still save my soul a little bit though. Nope. Nope. Don't don't they go like kinda like this? I like how I'm asking you guys as if you have any idea what I'm drawing. We'll see. Huh? We do. We can see you draw. Oh, shit. Don't they go kind of like this, then? I forgot. Okay, listen. I've been drinking. Yeah. Like they have a little bit of yellow in the middle? I feel like. I don't know what that is. 
It's Bitch. A fruit. Okay. Is it a fruit? Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Oh no. I thought it would be really obvious by now. I'm deeply concerned. Oh god. I know f some fruits that look like that. I think we used to have a tree of it. Bitch! In, I, in my old home. <laughs> this is the oh my god. Well, I feel I'm like dumb. I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen. Are you the kind of person where if I start crying, it'll make you feel guilty or whether you'll feel accomplished? Which, which. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like it could go either way. It's unclear. Oh, do I have time to draw? Oh, this is the dumbest thing I've ever drawn in my life. This is not accurate to what I'm trying to draw at all. Oh well, everything's fine. What is that? Nothing! <laughs> what is this? Um. It's truly nothing. Okay. Hmm. Nope, I fucked up already. It's fine. Okay. Click the right button. There we go. No. Do, do, do. It just sounded like I was singing the Super Bowl. Do, 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 do. Wait, is that the Super Bowl or is that something else? It sounds Super Bowl-ish to me. Okay. That's validating. I feel like all my entries are low effort. That's fine. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Apparently I can't draw any kind of fruit, so, you know, we're, <laughs> we're all doing good. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you gotta come in Discord more. This is the kind of spicy bullying that I'm here for. This is, this is acceptable. <laughs> oh, a purple will tell you how much I bully. I feel like I've heard about this. I feel like... Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have. It's a, it's a self-defense mechanism? I'm sorry. Not sorry. It's a good developed skill, you know? I think I think it's it's good stuff. It's okay, she deserves it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you would say that to the one true shroudist? <laughs> you what haven't drawn any shard recently, so yes. You're slacking. Monday! I did so much on Monday! Yeah, that was so many days ago. Oh my god. At least two. It was, yeah. Okay, I guess... Hang on. No! Oh, I was literally just gonna draw a Shrek and I ran out of time. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make this one cursed. Why can't I draw? What is happening? Uh oh, is my computer broken? Oh, no. Okay, everything's fine. That was super weird. Interesting. I love when I forget that I have the bucket tool on. Just turn oh, yeah. everything black. It terrifies me every time I do that. Am I allowed to cheat? I'm gonna cheat. How you cheat? Go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna use a reference. Oh yeah, no, that's that's totally odd. Somebody purple did like said like 
Tony the Tiger, you're being angry or something. And I was like, bitch, I have like the weirdest vague impression of Tony the Tiger, but I cannot summon him from memory. So I had to Google Tony the Tiger. And then I still got it wrong. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. But I'm not he just good at wants you to him. like um He just wants you to like uh put out fires and stuff. What? No, that's smoking, smoking bear. The bear. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the tiger's like the cross of place guy. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's nice. <laughs> I saw a billboard of him uh, on the bus the other day. Stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna laugh too hard that I won't be able to draw. <laughs> oh no, I gotta finish this. Oh no, I'm not gonna have enough time. I, me neither. Oh no. Just hurts. go bare minimum effort like me. No. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. So <laughs> I'm drawing a curse on. No, this is too thick. No. Uh, I forgot the sun. How could I forget the sun? It doesn't exist, not real. Oh god. What are you drawing? Who? <laughs> you! Oh, I told you I was doing a cursed drawing! <laughs> I told you! I didn't look over. <laughs> it's <laughs> so good. I didn't look at my second It was screen. amazing, what the heck? <laughs> Why is it me? Okay. You guys are I wish, I wish my screen was like touch screen so I could use a stylus or something. Oh yeah, <laughs> am I the only idiot drawing with a mouse? No, I'm drawing with a mouse too. Okay, good. Very nice. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm drawing. Prison, with a mouse. nice. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a robot Shrek? I see the ears. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like. Is that a Pokemon? Rotom? Yeah. Oh, that's the one we were talking about. Yeah. I don't know Pokemon. I'm oh, I'm dumb at really? Pokemon. Aren't you a millennial? That's, yeah, that's like the washing just... machine Rotom. Yeah. I don't know anything about anything. He's got all. He's got all the best versions. That looks like a Pokemon, though, right? A little bit. Okay, thank you. Mm, thank no. you. Zara, shut the fuck up. I already got validated. <laughs> is they have boobies? Listen, I know every weird. Pokemon. <laughs> Brilliant! Nice. Brilliant! Oh my gosh. Oh! Ooh, that one's good. I love it. Yeah, very solid. Okay, I'm also downloading all these. I'm going to put them in the Discord, too. <laughs> oh, don't embarrass me like this. <laughs> ah, it was you. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> nice. I love it. That's A+. Plus. I love it, too. Hall of Fame. What fruit is it? I love how we all did different, a, very similar things. It's a, um... Yes! <laughs> That's so good! It's that one fruit, you know, the one that tastes Bitch. like... Uh-huh. Bitch. <laughs> oh, that's neat! Okay, listen, someone here is creative. At least one of us. Thank you. <laughs> it's Tony not me. Got, wait, hold up. I just read chat. Tony got harass, harassed by horny furries on Twitter? And that isn't a Oh my joke. god. That's amazing. Poor Tony the Tiger. He didn't deserve that shit. Yeah, he it's did. It's too much top energy. Oh, this one. <gasps> Zaros, you're to blame. Yeah. What? Oh, nice! I have, Those pockets look I good. have to tell you something mm -hmm. funny okay. about my squadron. So when okay. I PCS'd here and I got assigned... Each squadron has, like, its own little emblem or something. Well, my squadron is a cougar, and their motto literally is cougar life. <laughs> Actually, no, it's that's cougars in, for life. That's incredible! Nice. I'm so happy for I you. Tell them about the logo. The logo looks like, uh, god, my brain just went dead. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Yeah, Thundercats. The it's the Thundercats logo. Thunder logo. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so good! Congratulations. When she says it looks like it's like it, the most it's plagiarized. A direct it's a direct copy. Oh, that's that makes it even Cougars better. Cougars for life. Wow, Cougars for life. That's incredible. Oh, what a pretty beach! I love it. Ha! I'm not the only one who did like a creepy face feature. That's a really good eye, dude. Nicely done. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all it was cursed. I feel like I'm not very good at drawing cursed drawings, but then I drew that, so I'm actually kind of actually a little bit pleased with myself, because I never draw cursed things. But it turns out I can draw cursed things, so. 
Now y'all know. Extremely cursed, yes. Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, this was like the free space in the middle of the bank. Oh, yeah. Zarus! I hate you. Why it. would you do this to me? <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, Zarus! <laughs> this almost, that was very beautiful. We had a similar theme going on. Yeah. Almost similar colors, too? It's amazing. What? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Uh huh. I was very confused. I was like, "Who didn't draw a thing?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to do normal it's a good game. or compliment? It's a good game. Let's do normal. Let's try normal. Yeah. Okay. I forget what this one is. You just like draw, right? Or does this one have a prompt? a prompt. Yeah. There's a I yeah. Think people write prompts. Mm -hmm. um, oh no. Um. Oh, easy. Oh God. Why did you start a different one? Do you oh, want to join? Do you want to do? We can. Start, we yeah. can how do we leave? I think you'll have to re host. Yeah, here. I, I'll does oh, it stop it's... if the host quits? I just. Uh, well, if it hasn't stopped, then no, because I quit. So if it hasn't stopped, then it doesn't stop when the host quits. Anyway, yeah. nope. I'll post just a, make new a new room. Yeah. Yep. I posted a new link in the chat. I'll post one in the Discord too. Or I'll just link it directly to you, Harry. There you go. Because I think mm -hmm. everybody else is in stream chat. But I forgot stream chat shows up in the Discord because I have the stream chat link. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, no. Yeah. Loud. Yay. Yeah. All right. I'm definitely too drunk to exist after this. <laughs> I forgot that this mixed stream. Oh, purple is... says give her two minutes. <gasps> yes. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. No, she's going to crush us all. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, the good artist has entered the chat. She's gonna. It's true. Who's okay? There's a lot of things here. Okay, I know. Who's upset? To, oh, that's Harry. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll wait two minutes for purple. Oh, thank you, Zaros. Thank you. I'm glad someone got the joke. What did I do? I'm glad it was you. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I miss the show? Yeah. You did. Too late, but... I've been drinking. What I was going to say <laughs> is that I forgot that this this cocktail I made, it's it's a play on my favorite cocktail, Ultima Palabra, which is the mezcal version of the last word. Hello. Just ran up the steps. So <laughs> funny. Amazing. Wow, those steps are so tiny. I know, but I'm out of breath. Oh no! <laughs> I need to do cardio. Me too. I'm sore from walking to the to part of the farmer's market, oh. and walking around, and then carrying groceries. I need to work out more. Um, Where did you put the? Is it in general? No, it's, it's in, in the stream chat, chat. Oh, or stream chat in Discord. Yeah. Either one. Oh! Uh. Hey, German for IKO two. Boy, I'm drunk and that sounded that second half of that word that felt very stressful for a moment there. So, Thank you for following though. <laughs> so so Zara send me the link. Okay. I'll send it to you purple. I got it. No, I got it. Zara, don't do it. Wait, why isn't it pasting oh, when I want okay. to face? Okay. Don't fight over me. I'm faster. No, no. I, uh uh. He I beat you. Wait, he what? beat me? No, no, you did. Yes. Oh my message isn't sending. Uh huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rude. Oh yeah. Well now yeah. you now you're in for it. The real bully has logged on. It's mm. true. Wait, purple's the real bully? Purple. I am the real bully. Oh, now it's I'm the OG uh -oh. bully. Yeah. I didn't know this. All right, let's go. Stupid shit. Purple's gonna crush all of us. You guys are gonna regret me inviting her. It's not true. Stuff. I don't think I can draw right. drunk. <laughs> This bitch can draw with a mouse. She can draw drunk. She's lying. Don't I don't know her. about that. Okay. <sighs> mm. She can draw better with a mouse than I can with a tablet. It hurts my heart <laughs> and soul. Oh, I forgot I have tea, too. But I put the cocktail stick from my drink in my tea. That's very dangerous. <gasps> Is it one of the star ones? No, it's this one Aww. that came from one of those... It has cat hair all the over boxes. it. The boxes? Yeah, before <laughs> from I canceled the them. Yeah. But it has, it has legit Aww. five cat hairs all over it. Yeah, All that right, makes sense. Snoopy at a rate. Bitch, did you do this one? <coughs> Why Just draw. Why like this? Oh my god. Just draw. What is 
Don't worry about Guess it. What? Oh, I can't draw though. I'm not good at this. Oh no! Everything's fine. Wait, I gotta Google Snoopy real quick because I I don't know how to draw Snoopy. Shut up! Oh no, my internet's dying. Uh -oh. oh no! Oh, I got this absolutely backwards. Okay, all right. I can figure this out now. Okay. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honestly. Oh, I don't know how to draw. Oh no. I should have. I should not have closed the window with Snoopy in it. I'm so upset now. Just draw the Snoopy in your heart. The Snoopy isn't in my heart. <laughs> Hang on. Where's that? How much time do I have left? I have half time? Okay, I got it. Okay. I know how to do it. Oh. The tiniest little gap. Okay. Yeah, oh, you were using the fill okay. tool? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the smallest little gap. Just turn the entire the thing black. Oh no. Does he have a tail? It doesn't matter. I don't know. How Real to artists don't use, don't use Does it. have one. a tail? Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do pop culture references when I don't know how to draw shit? <sighs> it's to strengthen your mind. Okay, hang on. Oh, uh, just so you know, I told all my coworkers about you today. Aww! <laughs> Only delightful things. Yes. Okay. Oh, of course. Say that. <laughs> no, it's fine. Every there's time for. Oh God. Oh, I wasn't done. Did it submit? You don't have to click submit. It does it for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. I have a lot of thoughts about this. There's a lot. Why did we on. do this one? <laughs> I always ruin this one. Huh, this is so I difficult. love this one. Uh, Harold. <laughs> <sighs> wow, this is a lot. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> oh no. I sure do. I sure Ooh. fucking do. Alright. How many legs do you chickens have? <laughs> what? Two? Two. Four. Bitch! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. The, the true bullying. My goodness. Four. The confidence with which you stated that too. Oh. That's just... <laughs> mean. <laughs> Bully mode to the max. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, a quarter of the time is already- Jesus. Jesus Christ. Mm hmm No, okay, it has to be this way. I didn't draw this right. <laughs> this is gonna have to be like this. Oh god. Okay. Oh, it needs more opacity. Oh, jeez. Ugh, reconnecting again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, how sad for you. I feel so Crying. bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Damn. Good effort, Beth. Good Thank effort. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm drawing the This bitch using opacity? What the fuck? You can. Always. You can. <laughs> what are you, uh, an artist? How dare? No. I thought, but I was wrong. <laughs> okay, I just got the ears. And. What, else? what do gems look like? That is. Gems? A tough question. Lots Faceted? Faceted and sparkly. Shut up, timer. Fuck off. <laughs> 
Oh, I know how I'm gonna draw this. Okay. Okay, I was reconnecting for like half of this one, so mine's oh. bad. Oh. Excuses. That's gonna be bad. It's Where's the excuses. Normal? Listen, it's fine if you you don't have to be a good artist to play with this Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the stuff you create is usually really fucking like good mm -hmm. and entertaining. Oh, I ran out of time. Oh god, damn it, it's a Pokemon. I don't know what Pokemons are. <laughs> the plural of Pokemon pep is Pokemon. I know. <laughs> Hang on. I think I'm better at so quipping sorry. than I am at drawing. Pokemon I'm so sorry pet. for my answers with this. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's... I'm not. Hey, is somebody, is anybody in chat, <laughs> somebody in chat tell me what this Pokemon is. Somebody look at this drawing and tell me what it is. Chat won't, I chat could, won't I cheat for you. you. <laughs> they did so. Oh, yes, I'm in there. Thank you. Amanda! <laughs> what the oh, fuck? <laughs> oh, I typed it in the wrong thing. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> How many colors does a chicken have? <laughs> Done, Sparsu. <laughs> that question broke my brain. I don't know. How many colors does a chicken have? Oh my have? god. I'm gonna cry. I can't. <laughs> I don't know how many colors a chicken has. It has too many. <laughs> oh god. Okay, this is gonna be okay. <gasps> That's the wrong way. Shut up. I'm not talking about your drawing. Oh, okay. It's like, what are you doing? Already fucking me up. No! Everything's fine. This is a fantastic game. I know, right? This it's is a great really... game. Yeah, okay. Da -da -da. No, it's wrong. It turns out drawing is actually kind of fun. Mm hmm. Okay. You don't say. Yeah. Now I, I know why you idiots do it. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. What are you talking about? I quit. Right. I quit. Right. I don't do it anymore. Fuck it. It's gone forever. Wait, are we allowed why to cuss? You... That's why yeah, you used course. to do it, is what I meant to say. I'm pretty sure I cuss all the time on this stream. You just can't okay. say the actual do gamer you, words. That do you think call me bitch? Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't say gamer words. words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah, I even call thumbs bitch on here all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. true, that's true. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, because she is being a little bitch, if we're being clear here. Okay, yeah, this is true. fine. Everything's fine. I can draw. Oh, they videos. finally added an undo button and a redo button. How good? Yeah, yeah. Have you spent you enough time that? being cozy on the couch lately? Because this seems to be a theme tonight. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be cozy on the couch. On the, on the green chair. Yeah, I need to be cozy on the green chair, but I haven't. The green chair. No! It's important. I fucked it up. Hang on. Oh, no. no! I fucked it up more. Everything's fine. Why'd you make it the orange chair? The because... orange chair isn't as comfy as the green one. Because normal people couches no colors. Oh, God. That was English in <laughs> some way, shape, or form. Where? Where I'm is it coming cold. from? No! 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 So close. What is going on? <laughs> This is the hardest game I've ever played. Screaming. I couldn't finish drawing in time. This is some high stakes shit. Oh shit, my cap. No, I don't care. This is how it's gonna be. It's a dunce. I totally ruined my. Oh, that's an interesting drawing. Uh, I totally ruined my drawing right at the end. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can I voice over the sentences? No, I can do that. A These are fun because I, I love the like, quips. <laughs> you oh. bitch. <laughs> Absolute bitch. That was that was going to be my my exact drawing. God damn it. That is Mr. <laughs> I kinda got it. I did kinda get it though. I mean you nailed it. Where are the colors? Zarus, what the fuck? No no that's <laughs> It's a cocktail. Zarus. <laughs> Oh, the who the fuck? Oh. oh my god. Yes. Wait, I know who. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for getting my joke. Uh huh. Instantly. Yes. Of course. I've also been adding O's to the name every time. <laughs> That's A plus. Tainted oh Okay. 
Okay, you of course. I, knew. I should have known that it was you. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, well, <laughs> I forgot I was in the chat. The oh, but it worked! <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you so much, Camtrax. Thank you. SDR! <laughs> <laughs> Harry, oh my god. It's so Those accurate. Those teeth are hard. Those teeth are fucking amazing. No, no honestly. Wrong. The teeth are good. They're they're very cursed. I love cursed teeth. <laughs> Shrek's on the beach. Shrek's on a beach. Oh. I wish I, I would have gotten this. Oh, Damn. My god. There's I think there's I think there's gonna be a running theme of brown Shrek bikinis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he wears a vest. He's a vest. Shrek in a bikini sunbathing. I got the ears. I did it. Nice, nice, good. Sun very this is very like avant garde with like the representative words. Death I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was blood. <laughs> Too <laughs> <laughs> much dum dum dum. Listen, it's understandable. <laughs> Pet plushy <fleshy> shirt. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. You don't get to see your prompt drawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it began. Oh. 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 Okay. It all makes sense now. Yeah. It does. Good try. Good try. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> It's what I've always wanted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're so cursed. You don't want one. Get everything I'm except happy that. Serious. It is a cute one. It is. If, if I could, could donate like mine, that. I would. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah, you can have mine. I don't want it. Yeah. Like so it. If I have a choice now. Yay. You have Should options. I yeah, options. Did I click download on that one? I'm gonna be so upset yeah. if I didn't. But this is recording, so I guess that's fine. Oh, yeah, true. Dirty hurdy gurdy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> a hurdy gurdy not... is like it's like the string instrument version of oh, a bagpipe. Wow. Oh god. Oh, I've oh seen I one see one of those. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the couch bread? Listen! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is really bread. Now I want to eat some bread. Listen, if you made it the green couch, it wouldn't look like bread. Just saying. Ponzu, that uterus looked like a sunny raspberry running with a straw. <laughs> it did! God. Ponzu, why aren't you in on this game? Yeah, yeah. Sweet garlic lounging in a straw. Ponzu, don't like the bed. draw? Oh! Oh, it's a walk. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I, didn't I forgot that's the eyes. I already warned you guys. <gasps> Purple, that's, that's awesome. the least. Sizzling Jewels is such a good band name. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. I already warned you. Don't have any oh expectations for me right now. You're a thousand percent invited. Get in here and draw cool stuff. If you want to. No pressure. No, there's pressure. Ponzi, draw. Ponzi, draw. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do pressure. There's so many under pressure. pressure. Draw Ponzi. Um, <laughs> also, I'm looking at this and now I'm seeing that it's definitely a garlic. See? It's see? Just... <laughs> so much I thought pressure. it was bow. That okay, no close sense. enough. Okay. Yeah, listen. I don't know why I thought it was a fire entomol. Oh. <laughs> entomol. <laughs> And to more. <laughs> when there's literally fire behind there that's colored in, but the the middle thing that I thought yeah. was fire elemental is uncolored colored in. Good, you should be intimidated, Ponzu. You can <laughs> you say yes! That's what I was going for. I feel like I nailed this. Do you, you see that he has the yes. shutter shades? Thank you. Oh, I'm so awesome. Awesome. Perfect. 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 Mm -hmm. Aww, that's such like a happy, peaceful version. That's also nice. <laughs> Gazing into the unknown. Aww. All of these are so uh. wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep. True. I love it. I was gonna say oh, stupid. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Extremely solid. Alright, Ponzo, you got you got uh Ten. Nine. No wait, no, that's me. No, three. <laughs> twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. You're gonna count all those numbers? Wait! Sorry, don't put it in the chat! 20, Does he have the link? 18. 16, we already put it in the chat. 14, oh, okay. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Eight, seven. He says he's not joining. Six. He's making what? Alright, fine. Next. I even used my eyebrows. <laughs> Alright. Do you want to use those eyebrows? Got power. Do you guys Which one? Do the wave with my eyebrows. I can also kind of do it in reverse. It's just not as good. <laughs> one very fast. Reverse is not so good. Okay. <laughs> So, do we want to do knockoff? Okay, Ponzu, I forgive you for now. Sure. Okay. Wait, but other people said knockoff was stressful. Mm, I'm fine with whatever. Yeah. I'm just here for fun. Okay, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Knockoff is pure chaos. Pure chaos energy. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I have so much time. What do I want to draw this time? I want to paint my nails. You can't do that on garlic foam. I know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was so sad. I feel so bad for you now. No. It's like my gel would ruin them anyway. No gel nails. Do gels. Yeah. They still may be going to get ruined. But not as fast as real nails. True. I feel like if I can keep gel nails... At a warehouse job. I feel like I believe in you. I have tales to tell you guys. We're not stream. Oh god. Mm. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I um... drank with my managers. <laughs> oh fuck oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not going to be, We're like, worthy of how much time I'm spending or how much time I have for the thing on this, but it's going to be cute nonetheless. It's going to be a good drawing. No! <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I don't know how I fucked it up, but I did. Sounds like it's going great. It's going... Perfectly. Everything's amazing. I'm trying to redraw this meme from memory and it's not going well. Okay, I fixed it. They gave me so much time. Yeah. What am I going to waste it on now? Yeah. Try to make it as complicated as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's the point. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh. What does that logo look like? Oh my gosh. If you know, you know. Uh, I don't know. I've I think you'll know. Too much. Most people know. Okay. Yeah. I believe in you. Did you guys know Thumbs has... She doesn't have full polydactyl. Thumbs? What? Sorry. I have Thumbs. thumbs I have, have Thumbs. thumbs. No. no. Thumbs mm -hmm. has polydactyl on her front paws, and I thought she didn't have polydactyl on her back paws. But she has one fucking extra claw on the back of one leg, like halfway up one of her back legs. And when she tries to jump in my lap sometimes, oh no, it claws the shit out of me. It's very mm. suboptimal. Rit. Yeah. Oh, I found out. So you remember how I told you that one of my friends has a cat with uh. her extra thumbs? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I found out that that her cat has like three extra toes on each hand. Oh what? my god, oh my that's god. so yeah. awesome and so many. Holy shit. That's so excessive. Calm down, cat. That's why she is oh the mittens. Oh. Have I posted? Okay, there's a video that I need to post in the um in the chat in the Discord of thumbs Where's... trying to bat yeah. at a leaf. Oh. And it's with her mini paws and the sound oh. it makes. <laughs> It sounds so muffled and clappy. It's the best thing I've ever heard in my entire life. It's pretty excellent. It's amazing. So I, I can't wait to to share it with you guys. It's it's great. You don't have thumbs? I'm impressed. You're doing so much good art without thumbs. I guess you don't actually need need thumbs to do art. I just thought you might, but maybe mm -hmm. I'm wrong, you know? 
I don't know anything about anything. Well, I'm running out of time, but I still have some left. Guess what? <laughs> it's fucking potted plant time. Unless I run out of time real fucking fast, which I might do. Oh, I fucked it up again. No, I am going to run out of time. It's just going to be a pot and no plant. Oh, no. No, I imagine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All pot, no plant. <laughs> Rip. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's mm -hmm. fine. Oh, God. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. All right, listen. <gasps> okay. Oh, no. no. Take this. Do you guys want to know that I just tried to take a screenshot with my brain? Like, my brain was like, you should control print screen this, and then you'll copy that. Why did my screen just get smaller? Go away, Ad. Can oh, I we have that? a decent amount of time still. Nope. Drawn well, like I have is... two seconds. Okay. You wish. When door went you didn't see what I had to see. Okay. <laughs> what? You think we no. have enough time? There was a something at like a... I don't remember. I don't either. What Everything's this, bad. Uh, weed plant look like <laughs> chicken, cow, rooster, water. How many legs? Fifteen. Okay. Did you say fifteen? Alright, listen, yep. I mean... Oh. oh no. If there's fourteen or legs and the other one is the um... Actor? I'm sorry. I'm so late to this party. This is fine. I think I drew yeah. it. I don't remember the rest. Me neither. Was it like this? My other friend also has an accent. He's in a band. Nice, nice. From the UK. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's you know this friend Trump. also. I do. He's playing with <laughs> Lincoln in like a few days. I, I know. So exciting. I know, right? I got to we see love Kelly our friends too. doing well. Yeah, I got to see Killington. Uh, oh, no, I drew that oh, weird, like. but it's out of time. It's very good. There was a point in time where I was trying to save enough money so we could surprise them in Japan when they went on their Japan tour. Ooh. Didn't happen, obviously. That's unfortunate. Japan would have been sick. Right, could you imagine them being on stage and then they just look down and it's me and Will. <laughs> what the hell are you guys been. doing here? Very good. Extremely good. This was a good drawing, and I'm about to fuck it up. I Do eat it. Up on. Destroy it. Oh, no. I want to go to Japan so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All my professors are like, you should study abroad. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm graduating this semester. <laughs> Which broad are you going to study? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. A That's gay one, hopefully. Gay <laughs> good nonsense. I fell asleep. Jig it. I don't like that. <laughs> I can fix it, but I don't want it, is what I hear. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember this whole picture. I forgot like half of this. <gasps> okay. Oh no. What, okay. the f what the fuck is this? Who drew this? Are these all the same drawing? <laughs> I don't know anything. Okay. I forgot this one already. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. There was a there was a part beforehand that I forgot. There we go. Whew. Save that. Nice. Uh, like this. <laughs> I'm struggling. Like this. Oh my god! I don't remember what this rat looks like. Oh no! I know there was something else over here, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, bad. I've been like forgetting full sections. My bad. Oh, this person has a very long torso. Oh, uh, and no face. Okay, I can do this. I can do this oh, one. Red burgundy. Okay. Okay. 
I already forgot it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Everything's um, fine. There was something else. I don't remember what it was. It's like a, a line, a, a squiggle, um, a gun. Did he have a blue shirt on or something? Uh, <gasps> no, 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 don't undo that. Redo it. Undo it. Redo it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. This is. It was a line, I think. <gasps> the next okay. experience. Oh, I can do this. <gasps> All right, I got this. Okay, right, I got this. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think. Hmm. Watch me get these completely wrong. I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so dumb. It's fine. Okay. No, I'm gonna make these even. Oh! Nobody saw that. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. As all of it is recorded. Shh. shh. Nobody saw that. Shh. Shh. <laughs> no! Oh. Okay. What, what the fuck is this? Okay, this uh, is fine. I can do this. I can do this. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna take some artistic what license. What I and be actually like... be able to do? Oh, I fucked it up already. Uh, Everything's fine. <laughs> Fucking it up is so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it happens. Does it? Mm -hmm. I'm perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that is. Thank you. Okay, I did it. Wow. Imagine. <laughs> Why? Why does it keep going? There's so many. But this one was like the same as the last one. <laughs> the pep scream is hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm yeah. I'm actually legit. Pause. You're gonna play next. Nice. All right. Let's go. I added to this one. I had time to add to the drawing. Oh. I did two for a couple of these. Oh. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, it's I'm sorry. In a oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I did not get to draw that. Oh. oh, that's really good, though. I like how you did the, the bright outline of the pot more than me. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, this makes sense now. Oh. Uh. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see where this is going. I, see. I love that they just like <laughs> base elements. <laughs> but so, so cursed. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Wait, do I end up drawing this? In do you end up getting your own drawing back? Uh, or no? I don't, I don't think know. So. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. I like Why how I you? got more detail as that <laughs> went on. <laughs> like, incorrect detail. Yeah, a I'm couple of the later ones. Cherry. It feels like you guys like synthesized it down to its like most mm -hmm. simplified components, and then the person that got an X was like, "All right, awesome, I got it. Now I can yeah. densify it." I think what happens is like you remember like one aspect of it, so mm -hmm. you like really focus on it because you can't, oh, you don't remember anything gosh. else. True, true. Is how oh, it it's went? a ditto. Oh. oh okay. Oh, this uh, this got kind of turned around. This was not a ditto when I drew it. Yes, it was <laughs> not a ditto. Oh, you don't no. ever think so. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even use the right blue. Jesus. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Thank you. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Something Here happened. Something happened. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. This really like became like an alternate universe thing. <laughs> question mark. I love how avant-garde that is. Question mark. It's so like, oh, just representative. It's very, uh, it could go in a museum. You belong mm. in the museum. That's what I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. This is okay. beautiful. Alice in Wonderland. I like it. Oh no. Oh no. That I, means... I messed up my. I messed up two oh, of them. No. Oh good. At I least he got to the second person. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes. I think you, it I think you do just. That. If someone leaves it empty, you just get the prompts. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Like, good. All right. All right. That's yeah. Good. Like the previous. Oh, ball. that's this one. Oh, it was a snail. I Fuck, did it I wrong. Yes, I'm. We lost the character. <laughs> no, we gained them. I was so confident. Third I was wife. like, I got this. This is easy. And I put nice. your own color. And I changed things forever. Yeah. Whoops. Listen, it's fine. Everything's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. That's. Oh, no. Purple. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The details are still <laughs> on. Listen, you gotta get the logo in. Mm-hmm. I feel like I spent the most time on the computer chair out of all this. <laughs> Our sun win. Our sun yes. win. Yeah. You gotta, it's, again, distilled down to the mm -hmm. most important Our sun win. 
The funny thing is, is because I used like, a very popular meme, like everyone knew what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. These are all so good. I feel like we need There's just like a ones later on. gift I channel. What the fuck? fuck? I don't think I ever <laughs> got this one. That's because yeah, I, I ruined it. Oh no. What did it become? Oh. oh. <laughs> These are like become? both increasingly and decreasingly cursed. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Oh, oh. oh. No, it, I like how both of us are like, oh, okay. We get it now. Yeah, okay. I, this was close. Children of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I got the basics. It was representative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just made a disc that stores 65 million blocks. You're ready to draw. Nice. All right. Sounds good. I... There were two. Two? Were... That's okay. why. That makes sense. Oh. Okay, I got it mostly good, My one is drawing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, father. <laughs> oh, no. You... You what, man? <laughs> oh, this is all so good. Wow. Oh, I didn't get a time, chance to draw the the, the bubble. Mm. Oh, they look Aww. like they're friends awesome. now. Yeah. Yay. Aww. Well, one looks like he's friends in both of these. The other mm-hmm. one looks like he's perturbed. <laughs> I drew a lot of hats at the end. Yeah. Mm. I feel like there's been a lot of hats featured in a lot of these. It's all because I... You bitch. I, I ruined this serious. early on. Oh no. This Why? fucking maniac. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I think it's incredible. One. I didn't get to finish. I'm sorry. Mm. I don't even think I saw this one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I know which one it is. <laughs> oh, Way no. to remove the detail. <laughs> oh. my desk either <laughs> i should can you shift the screen over we bet you can't see the drawing oh yeah yeah sorry sorry my bad is it a mouth or a dress oh god did i fuck everything up mm. where did the hat come Overalls. from oh. so where did the hat come from something oh, horrible happened this one. Shit. Okay, hang on. do I not will. share my Without cell or share my personal that. info <laughs> okay how about i go like this hang on yeah. let me click the thing Okay. I gave him a straw. There we go. It looks like an arrow. Okay. <laughs> Elastic man got online. Narrowed to the face. Listen, I had. Oh, like that's 10 what happened seconds. to this one. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! He's okay. not dancing. He just he's just lying. Yeah, dancing. listen. Mm-hmm. Okay, your turn. Ponzi, you joining in? Get in here, Ponzu. No. Ponzu. Wait, I'll copy the link again to make it even easier. Get in! <laughs> no room for excuses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which one are we gonna do next? Pause new. I don't know. I like compliment, normal, knockoff. Secret is fucked up. Secret is difficult, but it's also Secret funny. sucks. Okay, <laughs> we won't do that. It's funny. It is funny. We could do another normal, because I feel like that was nicely chaotic. It was mm. like a pleasant level of chaos. It 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 has chaos, but it doesn't have quite the level of stress of knockoff. Mm. But man, I like all of them. What's crowd? Faster mode with fewer turns. Try it. no, I don't want fewer turns. I like a lot of turns. Sandwich, start More writing, turns. keep drawing until the end. Finally describe the last drawing. Let's try sandwich. I don't remember what this one is. We're doing it. Mm-hmm. Let's go team. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a Oops. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have come up with something more creative. Oh, I can finish the rest of my food. That's nice. I like the prompts because I get to be funny. I like making people suffer. <laughs> she does. It's the <laughs> we all know from Jackbox. I am not funny. Where? <laughs> no, you won one of them. Two of them? Three of them? I don't remember how many. I know that one you were like, ugh, I am categorically the unfunny, and then you were like, you crushed all of us the next round. Oh god. Okay. I think you're thinking of uh, the oh. other me's are ruse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I can't do sketchy lines. I have to do the real lines. I am. Oh no, why does it do this? I don't know. I don't know anything. Um, oh, whoops. Oopsie. I forgot um, what this looks like. Me too. I don't know anything. I know that this is a meme. But I forget how to draw it. I think it's something like this. We'll find out. We'll see. Oh no, what have I done? Why does it like that? Oh, never mind, I fixed it. Okay. I don't know if the fact that this program is like very crude with drawings is better or worse. Better. <laughs> oh, you should have been here for the Jackbox. The napkin game would have been so good. I've drawn it. It's good. I like it. Mm hmm. It only ends in suffering. I didn't do very great with the prompts this time, but I still had a really good time with them. I, I, I really wonder like... why. It's almost like drinking makes it harder. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I, I, I feel like I still had fun delivering them, which is good. like 50% for me. Mm -hmm. Did you do one of the like pitch ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the pitch game. It's so good and so fun. Oh, no. I think that this... No. Uh-oh. I didn't realize the time was up. Okay. Oh, my God. Confused farmer, maybe. Okay. Um, got it. Do you? Oh, the lack oh, of no. answer. <laughs> <laughs> so one is. I'm real. thinking. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Why is that like that? Because it is. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> Very fair. Valid. I forgot all the colors because you doubted me. Oh no! I also forgot most of mine. So you know. Maybe Karma this is one? a bitch for me. Like, what would you, what would you want to eat? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it looks like this. Was there? I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. This one's really bad. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not. Oh, done. poor Ponzu. Oh, Welcome Ponzu. Ponzu. Sorry. He's Dude. been sitting in the waiting room for who knows how long. Oh, Ponzu, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. I don't know. I there's no music? Wow. No, no, I was enjoying the elevator music. <laughs> welcome, Ponzi, welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> Listen, I don't know this... who's I got, but it was just, what the fuck, I don't know. That's, I feel like that's most of this game. I feel like <laughs> that's this game in a nutshell. How the fuck did this end up like this? No. Ridiculous. Absurd. Oh, hi! I'm just decorating oh, it at this point. No. Hi, Ferbs. Did you- Ow! I recreated it perfectly and stopped. Ferbs is stabbing me! Oh, okay, hang on. Come yeah, on. I just drew what I remembered. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> they, call they call me the the human photocopier. <laughs> do you make the noises? Do you make the noises when you do <gasps> that, it? That that is the most important part. Yeah, there we go. There you go. I was showing my coworker photos of Ferbert. No. You were drawing your coworker as a Ferbert? No, no, I was showing her photos of Ferbert. Oh, that makes much more sense. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, all of the cats. But yeah. Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? Oh, excellent drawing. Excellent drawing. Mm hmm. I'm gonna give the this drawing some pizzazz. Some um, pizzazz. Yeah, I see. By taking some artistic uh, liberties. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sam. You don't say. Mm-hmm. They doubt me. <laughs> and they're gonna get it. It's not like picking up some of my brush strokes, which is really annoying. Yeah. No excuses, like excuses. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch. Mm -hmm. God, every time I hear that word, especially like that, it just reminds me of that Key and, Peace, Key and Peel sketch. Mm. Where he's like mm -hmm. trying to talk about his wife. But he can't call her a bitch in, in front of her face, so he's like whisper it far away. <laughs> Another feeling. Oh shit, am I muted? <laughs> 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 and I looked at her right in the windows of her soul and I said <laughs> he looks around okay I'm a good artist yes you are thank you Ferbert is helping me well good job right, Ferbert good boy good boy mm -hmm. How Ferbert cool, also a great artist wow is he? The yeah, bad. definitely. Okay. How dare you doubt him? What the fuck? My bad. Ferbert genius artist. Oh my god. Oh, um... Clearly neglect. <laughs> How dare. There you go. Stifling his creative energy. What is wrong? Wow. It's okay, Ferbert. I believe in your artistic I am vision. adding a signature from Ferbs. It's very fancy. Oh, good. Excellent. Perfect. There. Thanks for it's what collaborating we, it's what with we me deserve. Honest, buddy. You're a good collabor artist. Collaborist. <laughs> Why do you smell like cat food, you gross boy? Just he kidding. loves cat food. Mm -hmm. What else is he supposed to smell like? Not fish. Oh my god. Dust and sunny <laughs> and concrete. Turkey. He smells like dust and caramel corn <laughs> and face. sunny concrete. <laughs> oh. I see a cat here. What in this skeleton is this? <laughs> That's a good line. I like that. I'm going to use that in the future. Oh no, this is going to go by so fast. I am in trouble. Everything's fine though. This is fine. It's all good. I remember what I'm drawing. Well, Ina sent me a TikTok. Ina, a good bean. Mm -hmm. She's a great bean. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard. <laughs> you can meet her when you visit. Yay! Hell yeah! We can all be beans together. Mm -hmm. Good beans. All in sequence, a sequence mm -hmm. of beans. That's an awful color. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh. What? <laughs> Ooh. You gotta stick with it now. That's the rule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's how that. No. <laughs> oh, that's how I'm going. Yeah, seems right. Seems accurate. I follow upon. I don't rules. remember what I was supposed to be drawing. <laughs> wow, sounds like Purple's a bad artist. <laughs> wow. Damn. That's why I quit! Oh no, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Full of it. Full of... I'm Audi. Why did I want to say full of potatoes? <laughs> oh, I wish I was full of potatoes, man. Yeah. Oh my god. I could get full of potatoes. Yeah, I, potatoes I wish I could be full amazing. of potatoes. It's 2.30 yeah. though. There's no place with potatoes right now. 
Did you have something? Don't you have a p Wait, time's up already? Yeah, yeah dude. time goes by really fast. <laughs> yeah, dude. So what? Yeah, no. it's fucked up. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, this is bad. I'm gonna get shamed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're oh, all no. gonna get shamed. It's part yeah. of the process. Yep. These all Just get posted a... to Discord. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Every single what? one. I didn't sign shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh god. How am I supposed to replicate this? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't know what it is. This is difficult. I don't this know. Is, okay. how I this is like <clears throat> image quality. Um. Okay. Um. We should make a game. Karaoke, but it's all advertising jingles. Oh no! Ooh. No, that's what was yeah. happening earlier when when there was the thing where it was like, if your butt had a slogan, what would it be? And all I could think of was no. like horrible advertising things that was like, have mm -hmm. it your way, just do it, just all the worst advertising slogans. Oh shit! I forgot half the text. Oh no! Oh no! Something. <laughs> Oops. Do I have time? I don't know. There's always time. You just gotta start now. That was no, so motivational, wow. Honest. I try to say there's no time like the present. <laughs> What oh the God. fuck did I just? <laughs> what did I say? You're doing great. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I have a burger. Drinking does make it funnier. I used to, I used to do drunken game streams. I should mm. play some drunken scary video games. Oh my God, we I would just cry. Play, we should all play Phasmophobia again sometime. We haven't played that good. in so long. Though. I know, so it'll be scary for me again. <laughs> Will it? <laughs> what? Will it? Yeah. The only reason it isn't scary for me is when I, like, mainline it for, like, fucking days in a row, and then I'm like, alright, I'm confident enough to go in a basement now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then we go to the prison. And then I hate the prison. They redid Bro. the asylum, but not the prison, maybe? Or maybe they did both, I don't remember. I ruined an otherwise cool drawing. Oh my goodness, okay. What is oh. Oh. I see. I should have plugged in my tablet. Listen, I did, but it doesn't really help all that much. It's better for, um... Ferber, why did you bite me? That's rude. Writing words? Ferber, oh, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. He's being such a butt lately. He was being cute. He just wants right? attention. Yeah, he does. Okay. Mom, there, you are playing too much Minecraft. Pay attention mm -hmm. to me. I had to draw one-handed earlier because he kept trying to bite me if I wasn't petting him with one hand. Oh my god. A true butthole. Just mm -hmm. an absolute brat. It gives you less time than a first marriage. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. god. But there's fewer furries involved. Wait, what? Oh, no, not this image that I'm drawing oh right god. now. Oh no. Oh, Lord. There's, there's five furries in this image. Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what image. I know which one you're talking about. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can only imagine what it looks like now. Oh god. I keep encountering ones where I have, like, extra time at the end, and I don't know what to do with myself. 
Maybe I'll do just, a little uh, flourish. Sing one eight seven seven cars for kids. Next <laughs> cars for kids. What is there is another thing as opposed to drawing. Drinking makes it funnier as opposed to drawing with two hands. Okay, listen, Grabjacks. Draw. I do draw with two hands when I'm drawing. On a, oops, no, that's wrong. What did you knock over, buddy? Did you knock over my old sparkling water bottle? You rude. I'm making hip bones on this <clears throat> little stick figure. Oh, now it's gone. What? Okay, interesting. What? I made hip what bones is this? on a stick figure. Hmm. This is uh, an interesting Pikachu. I like the emphasis on the uh, picture. Mm-hmm. Pikachu, yeah. Okay. I have no idea how you drew this. <laughs> Me neither. But I will just AI generators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know that, wait, there's this other program called, what's the other, what's the other one called? Um, Sketch.io. And uh, apparently there are people that use, like, uh, image drawers for that. And, Bruh, imagine. Yeah. Why? I don't I know. fucking know. It was wild, because there was this other good artist who I was like, I wanted to find her Instagram, because she could draw cute things like you could, and I was like, damn, this is really good. Do you have an Instagram? And she was like, no, not really. I just like to doodle. But she had, like, very good, cute, like, anime stylized shit. Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, this is, like, an actually, like, good artist. Um, and then this guy went next, and it was, like, just filling, like, uniformly all over the screen, like, little speckles and dots Ew. all over until it filled in. And I was like, did that? Was that like a robot that did that? And she was like, I'm pretty sure it was. And then another person was like, yeah, I've used one of those before. They, um, you can upload an image and it'll put it in. What um, the fuck? That's yeah. so stupid. The dumbest shit. Like, half, like, not half. The main fun of this is drawing shit. Why would you, there are so many other games you can play that don't require drawing. Just seems absolutely a bizarre choice to uh, to engage in that. I have hiccups. Oh no. Oops, I can't type words. I love adding to the drawing. Me too. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh my god! What? What is this? A pic? What? Hmm. I... Oops. Okay. Wrong language? There we go. I think that makes sense. Same reason people use aimbot in Call of Duty. Yeah, I guess you could see that. Purple, do you see which jacket so I'm wearing? <gasps> yes. It's incredible. But this isn't like a competitive game at all. Right. Yeah, it's not. Yes, well, it is. Well, the other one was. Well, I guess, yeah, this could be if you, if you play this certain way. Oh, it's It's time. always a competition. Okay. Oh, no. Is this what turned in all the furries? Oh, God. <laughs> Probably. I just realized. Oh. oh I think it's the it okay. from. I love it. Mm hmm. Oh. It's so good. Ooh, so mm -hmm. much better. <laughs> Why are you even read last? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Oh, cute the best. It, it, like, went oh. We've gone back full circle. Yeah, I was gonna say it went back yeah, to its yeah, origins. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Beautiful guys. Poor Absolutely cuties. beautiful. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say five, but I thought that was too many. Mm. I wonder what this one turned into. Smiling pumpkin turned into a tomato. No, oh, true. Oh. Oh. Okay, then I titled it. <laughs> oh, so perfect. Even better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, that might be right, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> wow. Wait, did we actually end up drawing one of our own at some point? I don't think so. No. Because I no. feel like some words, some funny. Mm-hmm. Words, some summon. <laughs> With a catchphrase. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm interpreting my best. Ooh, that's what happened. Oh no, ah. I fucked up. Wow. I didn't get all the right colors. I fucked Jesus it up. Jesus Christ, Harry. There's it so was many. Not even green. Why did you add more? Okay, this is. Oh, that I lost the cherry though. So much better. I I got close to this. <laughs> I like the I bowl. forgot the spoon. Shit. <laughs> cherry, you forgot the cherry. And the cherry. <clears throat> Bitch, she didn't. Oh, I forgot the cherry. Forgot the cherry, cherry was lost yeah. a while ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it did become a better looking bowl of ice cream, though. It, yeah, where the fuck the is the green, green coming back. in? <laughs> How did it come back? That is a classic Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> right, Sarah. Oh, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Watermelon, fluorescent, and chocolate. Pistachio. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I did so it. I did this. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Damn. I, I didn't know how to make them fuck though. There you fucked go. Up. Yeah. I made like I moved them weird. That looks That's like a handful like, of bits. I don't yeah. know, man. Oh my God. Jesus Christ! They come oh, Freddy Krueger. I know what this Jesus. Too. <gasps> it's you, Lady of the Blade. It is. <laughs> I even have my I even have my claws right now. It's pretty great. I'm excited. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let these fairies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, oh my goodness. It's perfect. Amazing. Oh my oh, god. No. It has to oh. be TOS, you guys. Oh, this is what turned into this. Okay. Mm hmm. I see. Twitch no bad. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, everyone is so helpful. Oh, Censored, this that's is what I forget. Was. Okay. <laughs> I knew there was more text. I just didn't remember what it was. Amazing. <laughs> How did Jill's become text? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, A plus. Jesus. Very excellent. All right. Why are you like this? <laughs> what made you be this way? <laughs> oh, damn. okay. I remember this one now. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Oh. <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so good. <laughs> the, the gradual transition to where uh-huh. it went. A straight it's line not straight. good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, it's certainly I think something. that might be your most cursed drawing yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh my God! Wow! Oh wow. my goodness! That, that's a little well. targeted. Ice, ice. Damn. Good comeback. Mm-hmm. Solid. Bitch, what? are you serious? What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, fuck, can I select I don't know. that? Oh, I can't. I can't select the text. What's it mean? <laughs> that was the one that Ferbs helped with. Was a oh, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. The, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. That's where it came in. Okay. Now I understand. <laughs> yeah. What it, I was wondering what this was. Oh, no. The fact that everyone got that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I should say what, but I can't fucking tell you. <laughs> Why is the FBI in there? <laughs> mm, that's terrible. How did it turn into the thing again? Oh, okay. I remember. Alright, got it. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh! This is my fault. It was close to it, right? That's I feel pretty like... good. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty okay. good. Oh, hey, Tab, what's up? Good shit. Mine was nothing like this. 
I thought that said dying. Or I remembered it saying dying. <laughs> no, wow. quite. Oh, no. You see, purple is so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't even see the face, though. Mm-hmm. Don't be writing in Japanese. <laughs> Beans. Oh it's Chinese and Japanese. What the heck? No, no, it's just Japanese. No, oh, I wrote. Beans. Beans. No, I wrote Japanese. my name at the top. Yeah. Oh. It's just kanji. Good wow. Yeah. Chinese characters. No, Dreams no, versus no. beans. The Chicago bean. What? I thought it was shinier than that. God. Dreams versus oh, beans. Oh, I think I know this one. Oh yeah, yeah. I I butchered it immediately after this one. Did I? It doesn't gone? have any plants. Oh, you forgot. He's not a good farmer. He's just a forget. <laughs> he remembered. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> he got better. He turned his life My dad. My dad is what? <laughs> My dad is what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I know why I didn't draw this one. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Good shit. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. It's sandwich because it's sandwich you give the prompt and then you... Yeah, you. it mm-hmm. goes and goes Come and goes and then it? somebody guesses. Joe, are you going to join in on this? <laughs> yeah, purple crushes oh, Gardicone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's horrifying, honestly. Yeah. She's the one true artist. No. At some point, I'm going to need to go out for... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Try it with cards of 15 or more. Someday we'll have 15. But until then, mm-hmm. we're going to play. We need to, like, organize, like, a super a sweaty night. artist, like, group. There were... Ch- there's, there's, sweaty. So, yeah, yeah, tracks, like, like, but then Len was in here earlier. So there's, like, four, oh. art, like, art yeah. artists in here. Artists. Yeah. yeah. And sweaty as in, like, like, really, like, get, like, serious. Do our best. Oh my god! I'm people, not capable you're of being gonna serious. You're still going to crush us all. You just want to crush literally, people in an arena. I'm literally no. I'm drunk drawing right now. Leave oh me shit! Alone. Yeah, I forgot. Sorry, Joey. We did the thing where I could so to make it, and then I f- keep forgetting that we did the thing. Wait, why didn't Joey? You're banned now. Sorry. Stay Wait. in the waiting room like Ponzo. Yeah, go in the waiting Forever. room. Why is it not? Why is he not in there already? What are you doing, Verb? Why are you hitting my arm? Don't be a jerk. Don't be rude. You're three away from 30. Damn. What does that mean? You're at 20, mm. 27. Yo. Oh, yeah, you never change that. Change what? Uh, Doesn't matter. I've been Some, east from the uh, realm. Oh, the sub so, shit. Whoops. Someone donate three. Shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> it would be so, so much more pleasant if it was at 30 instead of 27. I gotta the, change the goals first, num- though. There's no... Number. It doesn't make yeah, any but, sense. But that number, it would be prettier than 30. I need you to save a smaller <laughs> size of that emoji you made, because it was too big for me to upload. I tried to upload oh, it earlier. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Everybody got it's real upset about it. They were like, wow, Purple so made a really cool emoji, but then she totally ruined it. It was awful. <laughs> no. yeah, I'm so glad was... you did the cursed one. <laughs> oh, shit. It is real cursed. Hold on. Hold it's on, not a question. On. Why did I open this section? What was I opening? I don't know. I don't know. What were we talking about before I started talking I about know. the emoji? Changing the sub rule. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Wow. I, I don't know All what I that see is. is Minecraft. Dashboard. Sub- Twenty-seven is my number. Manage goals. Subscription goal. Start mm-hmm. new goal. Let's see what you made happen this month. It made me do that in December and it didn't make any sense. You stream for one day. I I feel like I've streamed You've streamed for more than one day. Yeah, I one feel day like and I have. Hours. <gasps> in January. Yeah. Peppa Shrek. Peppa Shrek. <laughs> Peppa Shrek. Wait, you're gonna <laughs> put on a Shrek costume? No, I'm gonna... and everything sir yeah no. i'm gonna wow. draw i'm gonna that, draw that's me pretty serious for only 50 subs but that's pretty crazy <laughs> it's a big goal Full costume and everything god damn it mm. it's ambitious god <laughs> Face paint. damn it oh wait that's oh i can edit my stream, stream info Guard hold on <laughs> there we go 
Cardic phone. Uh, manage goals. Wait, how do I? How do I? It doesn't let me edit it. How do I? It doesn't let me edit it until no, I. Don't. I... It literally doesn't let me edit it. It is Pep as Shrek. <laughs> 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 It is. I'm so fucking upset. <laughs> Purple! God damn it. I forgot to hit anonymous oh. that time. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. This is, this is what happens. This is what happens. Oh, but we need it to, we need it to be 40 now because 32 is not a pretty number. Oops. Oh, shit. Oops. Stop it. Oh, yeah, right. uh, Don't yeah. even. I'm gonna fucking yeah, ban purple. Someone's gonna here. donate it's a, eight. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a. It's an even number, so it's okay. <laughs> it's the. It's, it's not. The no, it's not. Bad. No, it's not. Yeah, it's even not numbers even are good. fine. Even numbers are fine. I swear Listen, to God, I'm really not sure throw their money at her. Somebody besides purple, please shell for this. Otherwise, purple will. <laughs> please, dear God. <laughs> Fun game to play. Leave it at 32. Leave it at 32. 32's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Dude, beautiful number. I like that number actually a, a lot. Both a, of those numbers. It's a decent Where's number. Trevor? It's a decent number. <laughs> it's visible by two. Mm -hmm. Trevor's just as when, bad when as I am. Oh my God, it's almost midnight. When does he get off work? Soon. Oh, 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 boy. Okay. All right. Money ago. So, also, I'm going to be beating on for. Oh, sorry. No, never mind. Too much beating on forever. All right, never mind. So, should we play Compliment, Knockoff, or Normal? Let's do Knockoff. I want Chaos. Sound good? No? Yay, Chaos. Okay, I like Chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos or Normal? Okay, I like. Let's do Chaos. You got a BRB? Never mind. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Hydrate. Uh, I only have alcohol. No, I have tea. Do you just draw whatever in this mode? Mm -hmm. You do a drawing that you make everybody duplicate. So, draw something really fucked up and complicated. Yeah, that's me. There I don't think that's the thing for me. What do I want to draw? Oh, I know what I'll draw. This is going to be a tricky one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. Where'd you go, Ferbert? What are you doing? Don't be a weird goblin. They're kind of craggly. Yeah. Mine's going to be craggly, too. It is what it is. And I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gardic Phone for you. Mm hmm. It's perfect. <sighs> this how it goes. Okay. Nope. Yup. Why is drawing <laughs> shapes so hard? Honestly, mm. I couldn't tell you. It is, though. I completely and wholly agree. Okay. Why did I have cat hair on my face still? It hurts. Oh, God. That's so much cat hair. Life is really difficult. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. It happened again. You. I think I know how the Smurf song gets stuck in my head. I think I just do a little <coughs> hum, and then it gets close to the Smurf song, and then my brain is like, that's the closest thing to what the sound you made is. And just latches onto that. Absurd. Nope. Terrible color. Why? This is plenty of time. This is fine. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Too small. 
How do you make something shiny? Put hard specular contrast, hard uh, little facets of light on it, like little blobs on the upper and the lower side of it. More on the upper side and less on the lower side. Okay, but what if I made it white? <laughs> Um, you done put goofed. dark on it. I don't know. <laughs> That's difficult. Really difficult. I fixed it. Okay. Prob probably. Thank goodness. Oh, man. Because I don't know how to help that for sure. Okay. This is like this. This is rough. No, this right, is beautiful. This is Ort. I can always Wait. tell when Thumbelina is drinking water because the water fountain starts making weird ass noises because she's stepping in it. <laughs> oh my god, do you have one of those cats that like puts their face in the food? She puts her whole fucking front feet and torso into the water. She uh, is not the. <sighs> And then she hops up on my lap, and I'm like, why is the whole front of you damp, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> it's very Madam, alarming. please. Madam, please, indeed. It's it's a lot. This is not my best drawing. I thought I was going to do better. I It turns out I can't reproduce uh, a rocky speed paint in this amount of time. Everything is hard. Oh, no. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Life is difficult. Oh, I drew a flag. I drew nothing. No, oh, it kicked me out. Oh, no, wait, really? you're recreating that drawing. I'm trying, and it's not. Oh no! What is happening? <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. It's TOS, folks. It's a, it's a, I know what you're thinking. It's a flag. <laughs> Who did this? It's a flag. <laughs> uh, it's what? What kind of pride flag is this? It's a flag. But what kind of pride flag is it? I never said it was a pride flag. It, it's definitely a pride flag. I don't think so. I think you drew this can in the wrong color. I'm pretty sure it's a different color. Because I've had this one before. This? <laughs> is this the one that gets faster and faster? Oh, you can pick I an think RGB. So. I didn't know. I that. just fucking realized that, and I played this game so many times. Wait, half what my do you mean? already gone. You can pick an RGB color instead of picking their colors, which would have made this game Mark. so much easier. Oh. You click on it. Um. Interesting. Well, I'm good. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. It's definitely Same. nice to pick the easy colors, but I there are times where I tried to blend easy colors. And it would have been easier to do the RGB ones. Okay, I have plenty of time. I'm gonna draw a little cat. There's a cute little cat. And then there's like, um,. There's, it's like a. Whoosh, that's I need a bigger. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, what no? I know exactly you what know. you're talking about. I need a oh, bigger. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's got like a swoosh to it, like a swoosh on on the thing. Why do I have more time to draw? You don't. I do. I drew a heart. It's over. Okay. Ooh, ramen. Oh what? Yum. Okay. What? Oh no. Oh lord. What so is it's going a, on? It's a flag? It's a flag. <laughs> I just need you to understand that it's a flag. Uh, I. This is not a flag. It's a flag. I drew a flag. If you got not a flag, uh, then you gotta take it up with someone else, okay? <laughs> but I drew a flag. I believe in you. Thank you. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in whatever the heck I'm doing. I believe in your drawing too. 
what is it? Somebody told me way back in the day there's an anime that's like, you don't need to believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. Yeah, it's called Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann. Yeah, yeah, okay. Was there one of you fuckers that told me about this? Believe in the me, me that, that believes, believes in, in you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's, that's pretty solid. I like this. That show's about Oh, no, I wasted too much time. Oh, no, it's just a ball of cloth. I got distracted. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so upset right now because I know I was so excited about getting to draw that too. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, life is difficult. I um, I can't draw this. If anybody gets a bowl of broth, it's supposed to be fucking wrong. I just uh, yeah, it. saw it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, make it, make it bad, make it ramen again. Oh shit! Um, I remember what like else this had. Left. No. No, fuck! Oh, god damn it. I- it's good that I don't remember the text because I was gonna try and do the- Oh! Okay. What is this? What? Okay, this is yeah, fine. You don't I have time to look at the drawing either. Yeah. Just gotta go fast. Yep. <laughs> like Sanic. Why is yeah. Ferbert yelling on the stairwell? Please don't, sir. Ferbert, what's going on? Why? Why are you yelling on the stairs? Illegal. No stare yelling. Okay. Oh god, there's not enough time. I need a smaller brush. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, okay. What the fuck? Oh no, he's too long. Uh, uh, okay. Oh no, I don't remember what the weird face was. It, it was like something like that and then uh, I don't know I don't remember what the burgundy was I just remember it was burgundy weird face pineapple yep. ah! oh okay fish line line okay burgundy weird face pineapple yeah uh-huh <laughs> Ooh. I forget what the other color of line was oh shit I fucked it up I don't know anymore. Wretch. Wretch. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, we're not done. One more. Can do this. This is, um, I know exactly what this is. I think. It reminds me exactly. There's no it. fucking purple. Fucking cursed. Oh my god, of course there isn't. <clears throat> it's fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, Do you I have colors just... I don't have? You can pick colors <laughs> and you can use opacity. Yes! Okay, I finished the word before it did it. Oh. Okay. I think I know what mine became. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Everybody ready for this? Let's roll. No. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's like the speed paint I did the other day. It is. Whoa. 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 This is already going so well. I love it. This is awesome. <laughs> it's still what it is. So. Uh. Technically, still what it is. Ooh, very I like close. the color change in it's the water. Very, it's like, very representative. Good. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say it's it's nice. It's avant garde. We're getting even more avant garde. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay, I see what. Wait, I didn't end up getting this. Oh, okay, I thought this turned into something else. This is incredible. You made it. You made it. It's, it's yours. It's mine. We I lost like a base beautiful. color, but. Oh. oh that makes right. so much okay. more sense. Okay, I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of legit. <laughs> oh. That's why I got a table. <laughs> <laughs> Palms do still look like it though. Yeah, yeah, this all this is all capturing it. See this is where I got the burgundy weird face. Pineapple. Mm. <laughs> well, I like, and I couldn't remember more about the burgundy. I was very distressed. There you go. Was, it's no time. <laughs> what the fuck is that pineapple? Like... <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, like incredible. Seconds. 
We are still going. Chris, I don't know if we're doing another round, but if we are, you gotta get in on this shit. Because I'm down for one more round. I'm tipsy enough to, to keep going. This is good stuff. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Mm. I never saw anything like a shark. So I'm curious to see how this gets to something I saw. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> okay. You do. Oh, fish. now I know what this is. <laughs> so I had some extra time. It's so listen, it's really good. This is what. <laughs> yes, you did. You did your very best. <laughs> I'm going to die. It's excellent. The question, question, <laughs> question is really good. Listen, but it, it captures fish and stuff, water, then something going on on the right. Listen, yeah. It's it's iconic, honestly. So it's a oh, flag. Oh, no. God. It's not oh, a no. It's a flag. It's a flag. Oh, my God. <laughs> Red flag. Told you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Good shit. So that, <laughs> I don't know if it got to me. Oh, I think I know what this one turned into. Okay. How'd that, how'd that happen? <laughs> it's majestic is what it is. That's, I think, the one I saw before mine. So close. Uh-huh. You got a dot of purple. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. It's beautiful. It's perfection. So, that, so the centerpiece is an oyster shell? Ah, uh huh. Yeah, it's a flag. Mm -hmm. There's fireworks going off outside. That's really weird. Yeah, it's a flag. Absolutely, hundred percent. I believe you. It's very convincing. Looks good to me. <laughs> really, oh, Harry? Why, Harry? <laughs> is this why? happy game? Oh, this is something else. Okay. <laughs> I added more to it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why did the cat not persist? Those... I'm a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting choice. <laughs> Thematically the same, but important structural changes occurred. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. oh my goodness. Yeah? Wait. Oh, okay. I thought the person vanished, but a person came back. No, but there was always a person. Why did this shit get bigger? That's. Well, I don't know. Shit. Yeah. I'm Ooh. so upset. I am so mad at myself about this one. I got <laughs> distracted by talking. I was so hyped because I was like, oh, I'm going to draw some beautiful ramen. And then I spent more time drawing the bowl. <laughs> and that was <laughs> fucking it. We still had ramen, I think. <laughs> I'm so I got upset. Ramen. Okay, I'm glad because I'm mad about it. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. But it had like an egg and greens in it. <laughs> I don't is know it what that raining is. Raining on ramen? I don't know. Why. Are you making it rain ramen? <laughs> it's the guy putting salt on shit with his weird hands. Oh, <laughs> what? Is that what? Is that what it was? Got it. It's salt day. Someone's salt day. Salt day. Ah. This tracks. This this tracks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. Oh, that's what happened to this. Right. Okay. I did not get this. I thought that said me nice only, and then I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. What a oh, nice earth. It's so much more wholesome. Damn. Earth what a nice earth. <laughs> we all live on that this little This is so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my earth god. Gen. Wait, it's fucking, Captain it's fucking Captain Planet. I was just going to say. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was the uh, the Tiki guy from the Tiki Punch. Oh, look for pebbles. Ooh, I love that one. Grapefruit. Hell yeah. Yeah, the can is yellow, though, isn't it? It's like peachy colored. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, so orange good. and yellow. Yeah. I did a manicure that matched it once on accident, and I got really hyped, and then my friend took a picture of my hand holding the... The can and I was like, yes, I am a bougie white girl. This is perfect. Mm. Listen, where did got, all the color go? It it disappeared at some point. Listen, grayscale is an art. We're doing value drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 
This is an art learning channel. We're learning structures. Why and am I here then? <laughs> Harry, you're an artist. I don't know what you're talking about. Why no. wouldn't you be here? No. Chris, are you joining? Should I should I invite you? Are we doing one more? Why can't I hit buttons? Then I'll watch. One more round and then I need to sleep. Yeah. I need to like be drunk offline <laughs> after uh -huh. this. <laughs> I sent you the resized one, by the way. Oh <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong button. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me know if it needs to be smaller. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. Well, we'll find out. I like how I said that, like, with full confidence. Completely. Can we do a bullshit. normal one this round? Yes, we can. Why isn't your category garlic bone? Because I don't know how to change stuff. It's just art, yeah. I don't know how to change This is art? Things. This is art? This is art. art. That's art. true. But there is a garlic phone. Garlic phone. Here, let's see. There's like thousands and thousands of people watching Guardian Phone right now. Okay, there we go. I, I clicked on. People are going to start trickling in. Oh boy. They're going to say, who are G these fine people? Guardic Phone? <laughs> is that what it is? Okay, Bureau Words, Emotes. Hold up. We got to add the. This is critical. Okay. Shrek Cat 2. All right, it should work. Wait, I gotta refresh. Let's see, does it work? Where is it? Ah, am I gonna be the first one to post it? Yes, I crushed all of you. <laughs> Get destroyed. I have to refresh. Yeah, I did too. Oh, I need to make his mouth darker. It doesn't read as nicely. Damn. Yeah, well, at least yours rusty. doesn't look like a corgi. So. <laughs> I tried my best. Should I hit start or no? I'm ready. Alright. Let's do this shit. Has it always made noise? Yes. Yeah. I didn't notice it before. Um. Okay. I swear. How can this one be fucked up? I gotta like treat this like a monkey claw situation. Monkey claw? Monkey paw situation. Monkey. Paw. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey paw situation. Where I'm gonna write something and y'all are gonna take it and make it weird. But I don't know how to change this. I think this is good. I think this is fine. I do that anyway. I know! And that's why I'm <laughs> trying to think of a way for you to not fuck it up and make it weird. Because I put a beautiful uh -huh. cocktail. What? Sure. Sure, sure. What? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I mean. Hey, you're running out of time. Come on. I'm ready to see this. Oh my I'm god. See what you're drop. I hate. This is so confusing. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. I know how to draw this. Wait. Make it better. Oh no. Actually, you know this color changing thing is a bad idea because it takes too much time. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. Not enough time. I know. It's bad. This is fine. Whoa, why are people shooting up fireworks? It's really stressing me out. Keep forgetting to change back to the the pencil the after doing the fill tool. tool. After yeah. doing the fill, and then I like change the color of like three things, and I'm like, no. Yeah. Uh huh. If you ever hear me go, no, it's because I probably <laughs> did that. 
<laughs> Almost every fucking time I do it, I swear. Literally every time. Mm hmm This is a baked potato with bananas? I don't know. The prompt was awful. Yeah. Thanks. Sam. Thanks. Thanks. Everyone's cursed. <sighs> Everyone's going to suffer for this. Oh, do I have enough time? Please, please. Ah, okay. Wonderful. No, it's batch. I can make it better. Oh, I can't. Why? Is this another Pokemon? It is. I recognize it, but I don't know how to draw it. Oh God. Okay. It has Green bow tie. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, I just have to describe it. Oh, thank God. Wait, I don't know what Pokemon this is. Somebody help me again. <laughs> I don't know Pokemon enough. Uh, it's Pikachu. Pikachu. Over. Thank you. Pikachu. <laughs> Bitch. It's Rowlet. Okay. Well, send Grandma on the cheese one. God damn, why do I have to reference ready. these things? Is this Yugen purple? I swear, the main person that does these fucking cursed ass goddamn oh. old cartoon character references. <laughs> you absolute bitch. That's not me though. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, somebody else is. You were just mean to me <laughs> for no reason. Imagine. You deserve wow. it. Wow. Oh, really? This is how you treat your friends. This is, yeah, imagine. She, yeah. Wow. She deserves it. And she wow. knows she does. Now Listen. I'm keeping being fucking gaslit. Aww. <laughs> Listen, I haven't. It's because I didn't yell at you for it before. Mm -hmm. You're like the boy who cried old cartoon characters. And <laughs> now that somebody else did, I'm gonna. Yell at you about mm -hmm. cartoon characters. It's something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know that that actively actually makes sense, but it's does everyone enough. does everyone hear how she treats me? Oh mm -hmm. Yeah, what a bitch! Yeah. Oh my god, I know. Well, so cruel. Host privilege. Host privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Host privilege is a myth. I don't know. I think we're seeing it in action right now. No, it's a myth. No. Oh god, I gotta draw the dudes. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Um, this is fine. This is accurate. Close oh, enough. God. It is. It's accurate. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's 100%. If somebody doesn't get that this is Wallace and Gromit from the- Oh shit, I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Listen! Oh, I'm running out of listening. time. I'm listening. <laughs> I don't have a follow-up. Melody. I don't have any follow-ups. Life is Melody. So cool. Okay, this is fine. I... Look, you I already did really way better than I did. <laughs> okay. Who's the- Who's the girl in this movie? No, I thought she I'm had black out. hair. Okay, it's fine. I don't remember. Uh. No! <gasps> Fuck! Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't. Mine was difficult. This is why I need to practice all my art stuff so that I don't fixate on spending too much time on the details like I did on that last one. That's but that's why games like this are so good because they like force you to just draw. You would think they did. <laughs> Eventually, it'll get to you. Oh my god! Whoa! This is a good prompt. Okay. Oh, oh! I did the screen move. Okay. Um. What? Okay. Uh. Thank you for prompt. You did. You did good. Oh no! Everything's fine. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Trying to to pick a color, and it wouldn't let me. 
Well, I imagine. I forgot to push the stupid button. It. Um. <laughs> deeper. <laughs> oh, okay. I realize how that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine. Everything is good in this. I think yeah. my second favorite thing on here is making fucked up eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> just looks so goofy. Now I know who to blame everything on. Oh, I ran out of room. Shit! Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, can you copy colors? You can't, right? Wait, can you? That would be oh, so on, good. Though. Like, you can't use, like, the eyedrop or anything yeah that like to pick tight. a color I that would be tight so. yeah i just wanted to pick like a darker color so i could add some outline to my work work well you can definitely do that i did, like this did you click on the the selected color square and i i did i did good okay. i'm just trying to pick a i hate like the super bright white color yeah, 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 yeah. It's awful, jarring. Yes, it's Intrusive. not good. Yeah. I'm trying to pick like a better color. I like off whites because they're not as bad on the eyes. Mm -hmm. But I used white in my picture, so I don't know if it's a good oh, idea. No. Oh my god! I, like I just heard go. thumbs screaming from like the bottom floor. Like, <gasps> horny baby. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't be a horny baby anymore. She's just a dumb baby now. Okay. Uh, that's. I mean, this is accurate. I don't know what else you guys want from me. Broccoli farts. What? Is that what that is? I have no idea. <laughs> Y'all are cheating if you look. <laughs> You cannot be in here again. You're just a yelly baby. Is that a broccoli? I thought broccoli was all green. <laughs> Not this broccoli. Oh no. What does no. this mean? What That's is this prompt? I, brown broccoli. I don't know what this what prompt you... is either. I. What? It's just like time. Time. What? What's time? Time. It should say time, but it got cut off. Oh! <laughs> Sexy time. Okay, um. What the? It doesn't. I mean, I guess that helps a little bit. <gasps> we scared we ran someone away. away. We scared someone away. Who? Who we scared away? Mm hmm. Banzu. Oh, I don't okay. mean to, uh. I don't mean to scare you guys, but I think there's uh, an owl in the chat. How did I fuck this up so Ooh. bad? Oh, you bitches. Y'all oh, absurd. Don't oh, all funny. of us in this. Thank you. Thank She's the one that did it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There were two participants in the shenanigans. Oh boy. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Close the damn window once I pick a color. Sorry. Okay. Well, Ooh, that good. actually ended up looking kind of good. Okay. Uh, um, but now he needs a gun. Okay, I know how to do Chicken's this. Chicken's got a gun. No, I fucked it up. No, stop. Oh, wait. I think I have the wrong one. Fuck. Okay. Well, whatever. This is the dumbest thing that I've ever done in my life. It might be the worst thing I've ever drawn on here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the stupidest. I'm so mad that I'm drawing this. Oh, man. Okay, wait, there's a I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not. This is so bad. This is so bad. What is that cursed <laughs> drawing? Jesus tech? Christ! It's, it's, it's so not... good. <laughs> I did my best. Good, she's tired of soup. Okay. 
Pep said, I see, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. I see. <laughs> Why does my space bar not work? Oh my god. Oh my god. in voice chat where are you oh shit is it is it keyboard yeah, or is it drunk it. brain no it's keyboard because it deleted i think i touched my tablet and i think it deletes stuff i think it did some some terrible oh. terrible shit okay i don't know what it oh i'm so upset okay what happened what did y'all do to this one <laughs> oh that's beautiful beautiful <laughs> parfait. parfait there we go yeah i love it parfait, parfait. 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 Dot parfait. Dot parfait. Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that was <close> Why? <laughs> Why? I didn't understand. He started off so strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I'm saving I could that never... gift. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Mm. Oh no. Was I the first one that got. Oh, good. Thank God. Okay. I tried really hard. No, that's amazing. <laughs> Roma? Why is he naked? Good. good. I didn't have to. You don't need pants on the moon. Oh, Isn't no. this one where they go to the moon? <laughs> I think that cheese moon was excellent. Go Packers. But I forgot. That was good. Go Packers! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Accurate! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my oh, god! No. I have that song stuck in my head. Get cursed. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, okay. 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 You assholes are. I didn't so. get to draw an owl. Because oh, Rowlet is a superb owl. That's he is a superb owl. So cute. That's a good Rowlet. Thank you. That seems about right. He is very round. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a professor. <laughs> the one that I could not draw. I'm so sorry. That was such a good try. <laughs> That's so, cute. so good. Like a lady at a desk. <laughs> Brick. With a brick. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh no. I was gonna pick up thumbs, but my stomach muscles are hurting. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Come here. Yeah, come I here. think this one stayed kind of true. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Grilled cheese? Yeah, or grilled cheese. Slightly burnt. <laughs> what kind of cheese? What kind of cheese? Oh my goodness. Delicious. A delicious cheese? I heard somebody say American cheese is really good for grilled cheese sandwiches and cheeseburgers because the cheese doesn't split. Mm. Does anybody watch the menu? <laughs> oh no! I have to tell you guys. It's <laughs> on my list. I, I need to, to see the menu. I have to tell you guys a story about- Oh, this is the one I fucked up. I'm so upset. <laughs> I typed it- I typed it four times! It was so strong. My space bar wasn't working. Although the menu was still good. Okay. You had your back. So my friend came like over was... the other day, and we were gonna order food, and she was looking. <laughs> she was, she was looking at menus on Uber Eats, and I went, "Oh, have you seen the menu?" And she went, "For what?" <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> they were both baked, and so I was like, "What do you mean for what?" <laughs> and she was like, "What do you mean the menu?" And then I was like. Oh, and it all came together, but it was just the stupidest <laughs> fucking moment I could have possibly I, constructed. It was I amazing. did the same sort of thing. I have about, a clip for you. Oh there was a, there, I, I was at like a, 
a meeting about like drug safety for uh-huh. like night life people and i was talking i was want to make a point about testing testing drugs when you're like at a festival or whatever mm-hmm. and, but i was like hey have you guys seen what's in my baggie which what's in my baggie's a uh a youtube documentary about these guys who go to a festival and they test people's drugs and none of them have real drugs oh nice and but it's called what's in my baggie so i'm like hey have you seen what's in my baggie and everyone looked at me and like no <laughs> what is in your bag you know like fuck my life and i had to like explain the whole thing because they're asking if i like literally uh, yeah yes that's yes. fucking excellent a plus same shit mm-hmm. i posted an excellent youtube video in general that oh, yeah. applies to this exact situation all right i have never seen this but it, i will definitely watch it and... oh hey the sexy lamp test wow there's like three different things that i haven't clicked on that have like um things okay i'll click the next button jesus does my wife really love me or the cat ghost <laughs> i mean i love cat ghosts I'm oh my <laughs> god no it was so wholesome and telling oh my gosh that's such a good drawing though a plus <laughs> i actually forgot the actor's name and i love the actor Whoa. It was in Roadhouse. Crazy. Yes, Patrick Swayze. Oh my god, I forgot too. Oh. Swayze crazy. I thought they were <laughs> leaning over a wishing well. <laughs> I did okay, I, ha- I need to know. Deep lore. Well, well, well. Tighten the well. What? what do we have here? Wow, Amanda. Wow. Wait, what did you ask, Ray? Who's pegging the well? Oh my god. The bucket. Everybody rolling the bucket up and down? <laughs> yeah, bucket. I was wondering if that was a bucket. Oh my god. Uh-huh. No, it's a top. Uh-huh. I suppose. Oh my god. That's perfect. Currently. Dear god. Jesus Christ. What did yeah. this turn into? Oh. I mean, yeah. Beautiful oh, mitosis. So you did it. Well, okay. I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Is that the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell? It seems like it. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, I did my best. Just wait till you see my table. Oh, no. Go ahead. The table's the best part. It's very good. <laughs> Is that a table. microscope? It's, I don't wait. know about what's on top of there. Is it a microscope, Zara? <laughs> I'm going to say on the right side, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Microscope on the right. Because that absolutely... That reads as a microscope. You nailed it. I feel like. Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Why is she a furry? Yeah, wait, what? Oh, this is. Okay, that's. (laughs) Where did the art come from? Furry art? Fart? I don't know. I think so. Oh, no. <laughs> oh Christ! I nailed it. I think. There you go. Yeah, everything is beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Oh my God! Majestic, absolutely majestic. Okay. Oh, All right. okay. I see. I get. I, I see what's happening. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, die. That's okay. Amazing. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Am I wrong? It was correct. It, I think no, you're Bob, correct. motherfucker. Amazing. I misread the prompt, I think. I don't know. Oh no! I'm posting <laughs> a secondary video in general. Okay, oh angry God. chicks make men bleed from butts? The <laughs> fuck? Oh boy. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. This. Chris, you motherfucker. You absolute <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like I did my best. No! Oh no! Split though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm split. Listen, it has the elements in there still. All the elements are still here. Well, no, <laughs> they went away. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
gun. Oh my god. It's <laughs> loaded, I guess. <laughs> but they don't have the gun. Loaded. Oh my god. Data's got a gun. This is <laughs> absurd and incredible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Full circle. All right. Is it bedtime? What's the plan? Mm hmm. Okay. It's bedtime for me, but there's some serious homework in the general channel. Oh dear god, okay. <laughs> oh my god, so much. So much. I need to make- I wish there was a bot that would make like a YouTube- it would take- it would automatically take leaked videos and put it in a YouTube playlist so that when I'm sleepy I can just go play the fucking weird collected playlist from a sometime. <laughs> Cause that's what I need to do. Thanks! Yeah, it was nice meeting y'all too! Good game! Come around more! I need more cool art friends. This is awesome. Definitely, uh... Oh, definitely hang with us, sir. And do more weird weird good art, and weird fucked up art, and weird very punny art, and, uh, more <laughs> Jackbox shit. It was good times. Oh, we yeah. Should, we should play more Jackbox, too. That was a delight. <sighs> that was good stuff. Yeah. And I, even I though... I plugged in my tablet, but it was, like, using the tablet as a mouse. I don't mm. know how to change it to be, like, the screen. You um, know? I honestly don't either. I don't know how to do anything like that. Um. GG. GG. GG's. Until next time. Post the Discord he has to join. What? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Discord. oh, oh. Okay, I think. There we go. Yes. Why does sometimes it... And do a dollar sign and s why does it do weird symbols instead of the hearts? I don't understand. I'm so sorry. It's just the one. It's the same thing. I'm so sorry. You know what? We're just trying to give you options. It's just like, like some randomization here? Or did you put an emoji? I put a heart the on both sides of it. Oh. I put that same heart, uh, Unicode character on both sides, but it seems to turn into other shapes. Maybe I need to do an escape character before it. Would that make sense? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know either. Anyways, can you, oh can you have you tried just using an emoji instead of uh, a Unicode? No, because I, I wanted the. Good night. Thank you so much for. Yeah, that was that was good times. We should do more art and then dumb art shenanigans. That was that was Jesus. good stuff. I like the, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was real perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I like this nonsense for sure. I should have more. I used to do more drunken gaming streams and drunken like art streams, and I feel like I should do like maybe once a week or something like that. Yeah, get in on it for sure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for participating and doing cool art and stuff. That was a good time. It was good stuff. Um, have, a, have a bonus session for just shenanigans. I was thinking about that. Another thing I was thinking about is there's two panels that always happen on Mondays and I want to participate in them sometimes, but I don't know. I feel like I like, I feel like I get distracted from doing art when I'm on panels and I don't do as good art. I do art, but I don't do as good art and I don't feel like I narrate my process as well or discuss it and interact with you guys as much. So I feel like I don't know that I want to do that on stream nights, but Monday nights are the nights that happen. So I might switch stream nights to Tuesdays and then do panel nights on Mondays or something? I haven't decided yet, but I was thinking about it because I want to participate in panels more because I like arguing about shit and I have opinions and I like being opinionated on some shit. Um, I stream Tuesday nights, so I could, uh, but at 8.30, so you could like put me on for music or whatever. Oh, hell yeah, that'd be tight. Yeah, I'll figure something out, I don't know. I might, I like this schedule that I have so far. This is working nicely for me. Oh, you PM me a funny clip? Awesome. Thank you. I will check it out also. Um, this was just like a schedule that I like started with and was like, I just need to start streaming. So I'm just going to stream on this schedule. Not because yep. I was particularly tied to it. Um, so I'm going to, maybe, there may be some schedule fuckery in the future. Messing around with things. But I will do like a poll of some sort to see what, what people, what days work well for people. For like games like this, because I like fun gaming nights like this, etc, etc. Um, but until then, my drunk ass is gonna go off stream for the night. But we gotta find somebody to raid first, so. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this.
Did I? I didn't even export that art I did tonight, so I don't even have anything to link people. If they're like, oh, you're an artist, what'd you do? Because people are too nice and they like ask you shit, and I just want nothing to do with helpful. People. Send them, send them all the images we just made. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you saved every single one of them. You're like, what did you do on stream? Oh, this. I did. Oh Jesus it's, it's Christ! Some block. Wow, that girl. There's a girl that looks exactly like my old coworker. That's so weird. Okay, what do I want to? What? Who is drawing? Not anime titties. Everybody's drawing anime titties. So I want to. I want to, I want to, I either have to find somebody drawing the best anime titties, or I have to draw, find somebody doing something unique. Or join um, their stream. Or join their stream. That's, that's how raids work, Carrie. If you're in this stream and she raids someone else, it pulls you over to their stream with the anime titties. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm just going to take a, um, anime poop and then sleep. <laughs> What's an anime? I, I don't I, know. <laughs> Well, uh, have fun. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. I, uh, thanks Hello. for playing Cardiff and everything. Love you, husband. Oh, you okay, guys are so cute. Cheers, cheers, Harry. Good to see you. Harry! Yeah. See you okay. guys. Love it. Bye, Harry. Bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> oh, good times. Y'all are gems. Y'all are adorable little gems. Ooh, somebody's drawing flowers. Fuck, it's in Japanese. I need to find something even better. Then you don't have to talk to them because they don't speak English. All right, let's do it. Find someone drawing Shrart. Bitch! Oh, there's somebody doing a physical pixel art, pixel art mosaic. I have such a problem with words. Um. Okay, Look, I'm we've all been drinking. I... It's true. I'm going to. Pick a person doing art, and if I can't pick somebody in the next 10 seconds, it's gonna be that Japanese stream with the flowers because because of how I am existing in this moment in time. <laughs> what is that? Let's shake off the art rest and make some. I don't know what they're making, but it looked intriguing, so that's another option. It looked like sea urchins, but I'm pretty sure that this person wasn't drawing sea urchins. <laughs> or, or like making physical sea urchins. They have forty viewers. Pentacle? Octocopy. Vitor loves exploring games old and new. Make some little guys. Okay, there's an ad, so I don't know what it is. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go here. Octocopy. Okay, I can do this. Where did my buttons go? Oh, I found it again. So <laughs> that was, I realized that was a very vague question. Uh, uh, all right. I don't know what they're making. I don't know if this is traditional stone crepes. Well, we'll see how it goes. We're just going there, guys. Anyways, thank you all Cooking for stream. hanging out on the stream. And uh, I'll be back Monday. And Gardic Phone was awesome. Y'all are awesome. I love y'all. Y'all are great. Uh, enjoy this, uh, whatever the fuck this person is making. It's going to be an adventure for all of us. Okay. Good night. 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 Did it work? Oh, wait. Where are we going? We're in. Okay. Ooh, so in the preview, it had tentacles. Whoa. There's so much going on. This person's voice is like wild. Oh, I don't even have the sound on. Oh dude, like they've got like a like a voice modulator. Okay. Oh. That wasn't. Yeah. They're an alien. It looks delicious. It does. Now I'm hungry. What is Delicious. it? Crepe stuff with stuff. German pork knuckle. I think I think we're good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is too much for my brain right now. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, this is intense. Uh, this is a lot. It's time for bed. Anyways, like, GG, y'all. This person just watches YouTube's. 
They just watch YouTubes on stream and they just like talk about it. I guess I thought they were making something. This is insane. V uh, VTuber shit is insane. It really is. I need to make a VTuber for days where I don't feel like getting dressed up or getting out of bed. I think that'll be a good thing. Oh, they were doing art earlier. Okay. They have forty five viewers just yeah. like watching, like hanging out, watching YouTube. Watching them watching yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Wild. Like I get like I get like ten people listening to me play music. Uh-huh. And then this person is <laughs> fucking watching videos, yeah. Watching YouTubes. Oh, okay. Wow, their whole UI is wild. Or their whole... Whatever. What do you call it? Wild oh, stream theme. Wild... Overlay. Oh. Layout. Whatever. Oh, I can't type. Oh, nice. Very efficient, yes. <laughs> Good shit. Oh my gosh. The little UFOs at the bottom are people in the chat. Shit. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, That's like, adorable! You're, you see you? You see you? You're the dice. You're the little dice in the golden one. Am I? Oh my god, I see Kristen there. Yes, we're very cute. That's fucking red. Oh my god. Gabatrax, you're the Pokeball. Oh wait, like you can't you, hear me. Never mind. Like if you, uh, <laughs> uh, grab your Listen, I'm drunk. I'm going to bed. <laughs> night. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> we should do more graphic phone with, another time. Okay, uh, bye. Great. Graphics. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, I made. Um, I'm also not supposed to be this color. Uh, my my thing did not go uh, back. I have a palette swap redeem, but it didn't. Uh, go back because some of my stuff is a little jank and will break uh, every now and then. Let me, um, there we go.